Hello, hello everyone! Hi. Love is in the air here hello. at Lysylvania and we prepared something special for you. Aww. Well, we have our own D&D twist on a classic holiday centered around a beautiful wedding that brings everyone together. Uh, you can expect teddy bears and flowers and wine and everything will be marvelous. Or will it be? So grab a glass or bottle <laughs> and watch us turn TNT into dinner and debauchery. But before that, before that, we see her rolling and we're definitely loving. Uh, we'd like to give a special shout out to our awesome friends Ooh. from at Rolling Chicken Star. <laughs> well, for the magnificent props and painting skills that you'll see later uh, in this session, uh, no spoilers though, but they don't know what, they, what they've gotten into. <laughs> well, keep your your uh, games rolling with awesome terrain, minis, and special items. And now, with a ten percent off discount, uh, you can check out their amazing work at rollinghillscraft.com uh, in the link below using our promo code available for eight months. Eight months. <laughs> That's a long. That's more than seven and less than nine. A lot. Wow, the long-term relationship. But if you take the eight. And you switch it. Oh, it's forever. It's infinite, like our love. Forever rolling hill crab. That fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have the badge and everything. Thank you. Thank yes. You. And as can be heard in the background, we'd like to give a special shout out to Serene's Cave for the amazing atmosphere and music and check them out oh, yeah. at serene'scave.com to boost up your gaming sound at epic levels. Yeah. 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 We okay. are so ready. So, let's start this <laughs> lovely session at Dicevania. Our story begins with our heroes being embarked in a carriage that takes them to the estate of Lord Peregrine Watson. Oh, what a wonderful day, because today they are going to his wedding to um, his beloved named Kelola Quinn. Everyone here has received a very pretty invitation to their, um, to their wedding and uh, they are looking forward to uh, actually participating in the festivities. As the carriage arrives in front of the estate, uh, all of our uh, heroes can see outside how uh, it is a um, very beautiful building made out of um, brick and there are uh, the, the fences made out of wrought iron uh, with decorations inside. And in the distance, there can be heard uh, cheers and laughters and uh, the sound of people engaging. Yay! As you go down from the carriage uh, at the gate, you see that there is a very sharp dressed man looking about 50 years of age uh, with um, a vest and a very uh, nicely uh, decorated uh, blouse that uh, also has the. Um, uh, symbol of uh, Lord Peregrine's uh, estate, which is a silver sword and shield. As you go down from the carriage, uh, he very invitingly motions towards you, towards you to approach as he's being flanked by an army of servants and waiters. Who among you is bravest to approach first? <coughs> yes, <coughs> I am Sir. Ebenezer Derby, and I'm here for this uh, 
Pasi, here's my invitation. Mr. Derby, I am very glad that you <laughs> were able to make it. Of course. Mm, permit me to uh, consult the guest list before we go yeah, on. you do that. Thank you very much. And you see that the, the gentleman looks uh, on the guest list and uh, he uh, his eyebrows just raise, he marks off a... a, 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 a Oh, just a, a paragraph there in the list, and then he uh, puts it away and motions one of the servants, which uh, approaches you with a glass of wine, and uh, he continues, uh, Mr. Ebenezer, yes. welcome to this joyous occasion of Lord Peregrine Watson and Kelola Queen. Uh, please accept this as a complimentary gift from ourselves, and uh, we wish you that you enjoy the party. We'll see, we'll see. As you enter inside, I would like you to tell me a bit how does Ebenezer look like? So Ebenezer is a tiny man, 150 meters. He's gluttonously fat. He's bald in the middle with long white hair. He's, he has tiny beady eyes that are dark and vengeful. And he looks like a, his face is like a mastiff's. The cheeks or cheek muscles are lowered, and he's dressed really sharply. This place is not so interesting as I thought. Mr. Ebenezer, kindly wait until I introduce all the rest of your uh, traveling companions, and I will tell you more about the surroundings. Okay, sure. Thank you for your patience. What? Okay. Um, the gentleman uh, looks expectantly at uh, the next one who is uh, in line at the entrance. Who is it? It's okay. me? <laughs> hey. Okay. Good afternoon, ma'am. Hola! Greetings. Greetings. Madam, may I please have your name for me uh, checking? You, you don't know who I am? Okay. It is not meant as an insult, madam. Okay. It is only protocol that I check, so. Okay, my name is in Habat Tesper. Uh, and uh, as you know, it's a very common name. Tesper is the nobility of the water deep, so... I'm a little bit offended, but just un poquito. Sweet madam, I did not intend on offending you whatsoever. I merely do my job yes. as the gatekeeper yes, of, of this course, wonderful of event. Course. Permit me to also double check the list of invitations so that I might welcome you as a person of your rank is fit. I I have patience, you can check. Thank you, Miss Despair. You do again see the gentleman looking on the list, marking something and... Oh yes, I have confirmed. Please accept this gift. Uh, Here you go, man. Oh, no! Jeez. Oh, no! Of course, I didn't learn. <laughs> of course, it was me. We're getting drunk. Oh, Jeez, you guys. Oh, it's no. only that wine. I would... We have Thank prepared you. napkins for this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the higher forces for the napkins. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I would like to make the toast for the happy couple, the Kelola and the Pellegrino. They have toast? Uh, Miss Tesper, uh, kindly wait until I process the entirety of your companions, until sure, I will show you around the grounds. <laughs> it is a blood. I just need, uh, my custom is to toast before I drink and I'm really thirsty, you see? Of course, Miss Tesper, I, I will not presume to tell you when you should or should not drink your wine. The wine is a nice surprise, though. So, afterwards... Um, what about the description, you guys? Aren't you curious to see how in Haba uh, tested it? Not really. We are Haba curious. Haba Haba. <laughs> Haba Haba. Haba Haba. So, in Haba Tesper, she has long hair, the color of deep, burnished brass. Aggressively brass, you breath, might say. Breath, yeah. <laughs> Unsettling red eyes, impale, blemished skin by a few scales located on her forearms that are also brass. 
and she's slender, graceful, and taller than most humans because I'm playing a human finally. Oh. Oh. And um, she's uh, voluptuous with a narrow waist and uh, she can be seen wearing a black dress with poppy red flowers at the bottom. So we only had to have five interventions for Karina to finally play a human, <laughs> so who does to her and to us? Uh, thank you. <laughs> well, uh, okay, who's next up? Next, uh, I guess, um, you'll see a um, another human fella, uh, a bit tall and quite uh, bulky, mus muscular, though not the lean type, uh, but, uh, you know, it seems like uh, he has seen his share uh, years of uh, drinking and uh, debauchery as well as, um, yeah, he... <laughs> Yeah, you. Mu muscular build, <laughs> but yeah, not that much. But uh, he also has a, um, a nicely sort of well kept uh, bushy beard with um, uh, just a uh, ponytail that goes uh, on on his uh, middle side of the hair, shaved on the sides, and um, wears uh, some sort of uh, runic uh, tattoos from. Uh, uh, sleeves tattoos on his arms and the uh, part of his neck can be seen and um, wears um, a very uh, tight fitting uh, um, <laughs> shirt uh, with some um, bras no, with, <laughs> with some um, suspenders as well and uh, as he's approaching oh, uh, I, sh I should have gotten a larger size but no um, right so um, good afternoon sir hi 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 I'm so good, glad to be here um, the party right drinks everything uh, the good yes, vibes sir. yeah this is the wedding of lord peregrine watson and kelora queen may i please yes. have your name for the invitation uh, right Thank you. right um i'm uh bernie rutsk bernie rutsk <laughs> yeah from the tribe uh, in Osgard up north Good men, good fellow warriors. Unfortunately, Strongly. my list does not say anything about your uh, your uh, uh, tribe, Ms. Mr. Roth, but uh, you are definitely on the guest list. <laughs> Please allow us to welcome you so to the wedding the prank, right? as our honored guest and accept this token of our appreciation in the form of a glass of wine. Um, to nicely go with the beer you have already. Mm. Spells. <clears throat> not quite like ale, but it's fine. It has alcohol, right? Uh, Don't yes, whine about it. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, sir, oh, naturally, this is a wine, uh, Good. a local wine that... Mm. <laughs> you just gulped it. <laughs> uh, sir. Um, that's acceptable, but... Um, <laughs> In there, right? Part. You, you see him like uh, trying to interrupt each time, failing, and uh, <laughs> like he's just trying to to uh, intervene on, on, on you. But uh, at at the end, he actually manages to say, oh, "Yes, sir. Um, would you kindly wait in the back uh, until I have processed all of your companions, so that I might show you around the grounds?" Right. Sure, sure. Thank you very much. Enjoy your stay. Okay. Hello. Oh, hello, okay. and I do a little curtsy. <laughs> he also, the gentleman also uh, takes a bow. Hello. <laughs> Would the sir or madam care to introduce themselves? Uh, yes. Hi, I'm Nissa Auburn. I should be on the list. This is my mm. plus one. Miss He's... Nissa Auburn. Yes. We... Yes, indeed, you are registered as a plus one. Would the yes. fine. And uh, he looks at, <laughs> like, as he looks at you, uh, you see that there's a slight, very controlled grimace on his face as uh, he really processes when he see the situation when he first sees you. Um, and uh, actually, I would like you to tell me what does he see to cause such a grimace. So. What are you playing, man? <laughs> <laughs> All of us. <laughs> I suppose every one of you has seen a goblin before. Oh uh, no! <laughs> it's not a goblin. Wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> Two goblins. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm trying to address <laughs> the cocks. <laughs> Why am I sorry, man? In a tuxedo. <laughs> Imagine of three or four goblins topple on top of each other, and that's how tall this goblin is. So uh, he's standing crouched. He's standing crouched and still has a 
five point eight, five feet eight. And uh, if he were to stand tall, he would be no, very, no, very I'm tall. Taller than you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so um, his skin is uh, with a greenish tint, and ears are long. And towards the back. Um, something right here. Maybe horns, maybe, maybe it's an illusion, you are not sure. So horny, I noticed. <laughs> 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 and <laughs> and um, although he is uh, uh, quite monstrous looking, he has this uh, posh uh, uh, leather outfit. You can tell that he paid a bit extra on it. Okay. And of course, uh, a walking stick, but uh, it's a very uh, luxurious walking stick with a, uh, with a lot it. of reds. It, it has um, uh, a diamond shaped ruby at the top. So you're a pimp. Basically. No, 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 no. That next one. Has the money, so yes, he's gonna be a pimping him. And uh, he goes, uh, he, he assures uh, uh, the, the servant, uh, Vodrun, Vodrun, Mr. Vodrun, uh, I see, our uh, Miss Nisa, and as he uh, you know, addresses you, would you also tell us what you look like? Yeah, so you see a tall young woman with long hazel flowing hair, but you can also see some braids, like a sort of a crown, and you can see some braids uh, coming down her uh, shoulders to the front. Uh, she has uh, light green eyes, she has uh, pale skin, uh, except for her nose, which you see is sort of pinkish red and it will all be explained. Uh, she wears a green and black dress, but she has uh, a dark leather armor uh, on top of it. She has a pair of uh, tall brown leather boots, and she has some undergarments that are also dark, a green, greenish dark. Um, and she also wears a cloak, she never leaves uh, anywhere with it. Uh, it. It seems like she has leaves sewn onto it. Nice. Um, and what and she is always where you can see she has a handkerchief that has two two initials uh, it belonged to her grandmother and as a dear driver this was actually given to me by my grandmother <laughs> mm, <nice. laughs> what so have real cross nice. uh ce uh celine eden was her name it was uh, the grandmother from uh, her mother's side so it makes sense ce oh. ah. so uh anyway um the Majordomo uh, uh, looks towards you and says, um, Miss, uh, oh, no. he also searches, uh, Nisa, yes. um, would you confirm that this uh, gentleman is. Vodrun. Oh, Vodrun. He's Mr. My plus Vodrun. One. Yes. Uh, he's your plus one. Exactly. Is there a problem? Oh, there's no problem whatsoever. We do have to make sure with, with this so that uh, um, no one else sleeps inside the wedding, but. Um, are you please. are you hurting? Is there something wrong with your face? Because I saw you. I don't know. Oh, my deepest do, do apologies. Do you something for your headache, or uh, I, I think I have something whipped up. I always carry medicine with me. I I, I thank you for the offer, kind miss, but uh, I, I I am fine at the moment. Uh, Perhaps, mayhaps a bit tired. Uh, let me present to you uh, with my uh, intention that you have a good time at Lord Peregrine's and um, okay, Kelona's wedding. And uh, let, uh, let us present to you, and uh, he snaps twice, and servants come and also give you a, a glass of, of wine. Let us present to you with a, a, a token of our appreciation for all our guests. Oh, that is the, the vintage that we produce here in Ansbridge. It is called the Raven's Blood. It is our pride and joy what and is a our. Vintage? Hmm? What is a vintage? It is a. It is strange. It, it, like it grapes, is a... but not quite. I have had grape uh, juice, but I never it, had. It, uh, yeah, I already drank it. Uh, it, it, it is a, a uh, type of wine. Um, when you register it is a. a, a... Of juice. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> um, no, she's actually 25, but she hasn't like, not called so far. <laughs> we, we assure you that that the. the uh, you said he's that like she's really... an elf. Half elf. Oh. You see that uh, he's definitely stuttering a bit and a bit confused at this, <laughs> and he continues on. Uh, this is uh, a, a certified uh, vintage, which means that a type of grapes and, and, and a production method that is uh, a specific to an area, but we assure it is of the highest quality. I can tell. Definitely. Well. Uh, now that uh, all of the participants have uh, joined, uh, permit me to address all of you. Uh, my name is um, Beauregard Bathurst. I am the majordomo to, uh, to, to Lord Peregrine Watson. And um, I am here to welcome you to his wedding and also tell you about the festivities that are going to take place. Um, if you'd follow me, and as you follow him inside the wedding, you see that um, the whole uh, yard of the estate has been converted into a huge garden party. You see that there are a lot of groups of people everywhere that are talking to themselves, joking. Uh, almost everyone has a glass of wine. Well, actually, if you start looking at it, there doesn't appear to be any other kinds of drinks here. Only the wine. And... Um, even uh, as you look in, like in any direction, there are a few tables set up with this wine and uh, looking at it, you see that on the label, there is a depiction of a raven that appears to be made out of leaves, uh, twigs and wicker. And um, the, the, the label itself is this uh, black and white sepia tone and the only speck of color in it is uh, the eyes of the raven, which... Um, like give it a, a, a more uh, sophisticated air as it's being a uh, an animal associated with intelligence and you could swear that the drawing is so realistic uh, that you almost feel that the eyes follow you as you go along um, as the as a board guard uh, takes you forward into the party he starts explaining that um, well, uh, this here is the central garden we, where we have arranged uh, accommodations for our, uh, for most of our guests. Uh, you can walk around, mingle, uh, try more of our vintage, uh, even though the, you think that, uh, you see that there's a lack of variety, uh, we do promise that uh, it, it is worth the experience. Um, we also have a, uh, a set of um, gardens that have been especially made in the back for uh, from um, uh, the the servants and the gatherings of uh, Kelola which um, has overseen the project uh, that is where herself and uh, her beloved are uh, receiving guests and uh, I also encourage you that during your stay you also um, go there and uh, wish them uh, a happy marriage um, for anything, I will be at your disposal. You can find me in the, uh, that area over there. He points towards another area that appears to be where the servants are coming from. There's this huge influx of servants going and replenishing food, drinks, and uh, basically responding to any kind of request by the guests here. Also looking around, notice that uh, it appears there's a certain familiarity within the people here. Uh, they, they seem to know each other and are very... Oh, love no. is no longer in the it's air! Just, love is lower in the air right now. <laughs> oh, no. We'll fix it. After. <laughs> there, I <Done>. fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> we know we should be a leader. It's okay. <laughs> we promise that we are actually working on learning mending in real life. Yes. Yeah. But lo and behold. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. That's all that's left. Okay. <laughs> we still have love. We still have love on this side. The love yes. is Aww. already going. Aww. Aww. That's so cute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, as I was saying, you, see, uh, you notice that the people here are very um, familiar with each other. There are jokes uh, yelled at from one side of the garden to another. It appears to be a place like uh, everyone is especially uh, energetic and, and uh, uh, outgoing. Is there anything else I might help you with? Or should I let you enjoy the rest of the party, says Beauregard. 
Do we have anything to eat? Oh yes, of course. There are plenty of plateaus set up with whatever you would like to eat. Uh, in case you have a special order, just please call out and I will send one of my servants to assist you in any way that we can. Thank you so much. Do and you if your head hurts, let me know. I got you. Do you also have vino blanco or is it just the red one? Oh, I'm sorry, miss. I do not... I, I, I am not familiar with... Uh, is it the, the white one? You know, the color. Did you have the yellow, the red, the white Oh, of course, uh, I, I am familiar. Um, however, it has been um, requested by uh, the lovely Kelola that um, she should be the supplier of this uh, this wedding, and uh, this is our biggest air export as far as alcohol goes, and uh, um, we guarantee that it is of the highest quality. Mm, so you say we can only find this red drink, right? So no ale. Uh, no ailing at this event, I'm afraid. Not even a mammoth steak! Um, or a uh, uh, green, uh, green wine. Do you have green wine? Yes, the green is the best! Um, I know that. I, 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 will, I will ask at... Uh, uh, and he also starts. <laughs> you really don't have anything else to drink. I mean, I was just joking. This is just no green a bar. wine. <laughs> uh, sir, I'm. I prefer water. Oh, yes. We all, well, of course, we also do have water. God, I will send. Uh, I, I meant. We meant. Yeah. Water. Okay. I got it. You gotta go. Go. Yeah. If we gel, yes. Jeez. If we gel uh, low yes, enough, will you hear us and come to help us? Uh, you can signal any of our waiters which okay. are all around and ask for Beauregard. You mean? I am the major domo of this place. We uh, understand, yes. Would Ebon is, uh, Ebon is a no anyone here? Like high valued individual? Um, you know what? To roll me a perception check. Yes, the patrol of the day. Yeah. And while the, Too bad is me. So. <laughs> while the uh, butler uh, goes out, I will just uh, lean towards him and say, She's not charmed. Sorry? She's not charmed. C sir, uh, I have meant no implications. And he goes away. And uh, what's your pa uh, do you actually do you keep staring at him as he goes or uh... I I look at him yes uh, from behind to see if he looks back <laughs> after a pretty fair amount of distance he does peek back ever so subtly you can barely notice it like he was very as you do that you see that he also uh, increases the, his step. <laughs> We're at the party now, you're all dressed up As so a man nice. of high class, I have a 21. Oh. So, would I know anyone in this sh shithole? Okay, well... You see me here a lot. <laughs> 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 oh no! I told you not to drink too fast. You're not supposed to do this drink. Neither am I, but I've been used it to drink not the longer. green one. I'll just take a potion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what of the special, the special potions? <laughs> Should I get the guards in there? Are those potions legal? <laughs> oh, they're plant-based, it's so fine. Yeah, that's what they all say. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Ebenezer starts looking around and um, scanning the entire place. And you actually do spot someone uh, that you once seen um, at an auction. Um, and uh, he outbid almost everyone at that auction, and uh, you do remember his name. Uh, his name uh, was Timothy, and he was a baron. Shalame. I'll make my way towards this, Timothy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you you see uh, Timothy, and uh, he's a very actually he's not unlike yourself. He's a very corporeal individual. Uh, that has a monocle and top hat, and he seems like as if he tried to overdress a bit. Uh, everyone else in the place, in the place, to overtake them a bit. Uh, however, looking at his general demeanor and uh, 
and uh, the amount of care he has put in himself, you see that his nails are overgrown and fluid of dirt, uh, his beard is not shaven properly, uh, he looks as if he slapped in a, a bunch of, uh, of uh, expensive clothes on himself, and then uh, tried to impress that way. So he's a tryhard. He appears so, yes. Mr. And Timothy, good evening to you, sir. Oh, do I know you? Yes, we've been at that auction and you have beat everyone. I don't know what you need that relic for, I mean, it's <laughs> so, bloody old. Sir, a moment. I have att attended many an auction and I have outb outbid many a people. Could you please be more <laughs> direct? Well, I can be even more direct if you want. Please, sir, by all means, be but more direct. But first, I want you to tell me, what do you know about these um, individuals? These, uh, individuals? What are the names? Which were individuals? The posh ones that brought us Oh, here. those ones, yes, I can never yes, remember. Uh, do you like the wine, by the way? I think oh, I had quite some of the wine. I, I I I think it is just horrible. Amazing. Your teeth are not, not okay. <laughs> I mean, look at you. You didn't even trim your beard properly. You Excuse me, sir. What are you trying to imply? Also, never try hard. So I beat more in that auction than you ever did, you smart. You took that away from me, and that's not okay. <laughs> So a moment. I, I love the passion. <laughs> a moment. Yes. A moment has passed. Good evening. I have. Do you actually enjoy it? I have enjoyed the, the wine too rigorously, so, and I have forgotten my uh, point. Um, I've seen that. Yes. Mm, quite. So, anything else you need to tell me about this? Uh... What have you approached me for? I wanted to see how you the point. were able to <laughs> outbid us all. And also, if you're ever in need of uh, some assistance, you know, money, things like that. People that can go to and fro just as for Ebenezer. Mr. Ebenezer, I have outbid everyone because I have more money than everyone. Yes, but how and I shall you... take no silence. I am how speaking is your house right now. Is there anyone there? I wonder. Did you left it alone? Oh my God! What are you implying, good sir? I don't know. There are many thieves in Watson. There are many things in the world, the things in the world, sorry, I bet a little too much of this life. So I have arrived here as a businessman, and I shall not be intimidated by a knave such as yourself. Well, so if we you wish to talk see. business, we shall I will see. listen. How is it? Do you like your teeth in or out? I will. Aren't marriages supposed to be sappy? We are not married, not married. you smart. We are right. I'm sorry, who are you and why are you talking to him like I'm that? I'm a lord and you, you are a wench. Oh, lord, so yes. Shh. <laughs> At that point, I might uh, appalling, just go uh, and, uh, you know, like, bro, like, just grab him, like, by his shoulder, like, oh my like, god, like, god. Like, oh, go. get away from don't, <laughs> this is wool from the north, so don't touch me. You uh, seems like you need a bit of cheering in your God. life. You see, you see. As the gentleman has claimed, his coat is of poor quality and it might break. Oh, oh you oh, are to oh, talk, oh, you oh, queen. Oh my. Look at you. How much did that cost? I wonder. Sir, so I will not stand here and hear your big swill of a conversation starter. Mm, okay. You still live there? I wonder. And he takes some notes and do some books. Oh, I am surprised that you can even write. Oh, no, no hi, woman. The blaming <laughs> I'm surprised you can see, given that your eyes are in your ass. So, and uh, he, he addresses uh, uh, Bernie. So, I advise you to keep your old aging dog under control from now on, unless he upsets the nobility in this place. Nobility? 
Oh, well, my friend should come over here and have more. Have you looked at him. yourself, you smart? Yeah. <laughs> As I try to direct him. <laughs> my friend, <laughs> my friend, <laughs> my <laughs> There, there. My oh, God. But um, I have a question. Yes, of course. Um, are we sort of uh, our group at the same table or something? There's no or? tables actually. The only yeah, tables right. are we're in the garden. But yes. like, there's no tables. There oh. are a different. Uh, uh, actually, there are tables, but there's not much sitting going oh, on. Right. There's tables with drinks, with uh, okay. food, with uh, um, some sort of pastries. Okay. Okay, I get you. But it's more like an open air uh, event in which. Uh, do they there have are... chocolate? Yes, they do have chocolate. Oh, on the pastry. Hmm? On the pastry. Mm, doesn't appear to be on the pastry itself. Inside but it have... the pastry, just just how I love it. <laughs> you see me with a platter and just eating from the platter. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> please. Yeah, like, I think there are plenty. Of Thank you. Would you well. like Mr. Panky Man? Oh, no. And I don't eat chocolate. I'm sweet enough already. And it's not just chocolate. There are no, other it's stuff. It's okay. I'm, maybe it's poison. If you want to have some vegetables with me, because I'm allergic to most. I'm not a vegetarian. I thought you were going to say you're not a vegetable, and I know that, sir. I'm not a vegetable, if you ask. Sure. You see, actually, you see Baron Timothy, like he made a few steps in one direction, and then he turned back, and uh, again, he's kind of swaying a bit. It's pretty clear that he's tipsy, and he reapproaches your your group for a, a second and, and stops. Oh, I'm really sorry. I have an inquiry. He looks straight at you. What the fuck are you? I know. What hey, are you? he's Wodrun. Don't talk to him like that. He's What's very a kind. Wodrun? You're a Wodrun. I'm a Wodrun. <laughs> no, I see. Wodrun. He's a mastermind. Second You're a criminal? To me. Yes, of course. No. Uh, I mean, he's a, a, a genius. Wodrun. A Wodrun, yes. You wouldn't know. Me. <laughs> I mean, you can clearly see on his face that uh, <laughs> he has no clue what's going on, and he's just nodding and going away slowly, unless you... Ah, so you know about Vodrun, yes. Of course, I am a man of many books. Where are the books? I don't see them. Under his feet, so he can look taller. Oh, yeah, I heard that's a common thing with me. Nothing is ever tall enough or big enough for men. I know, right? I mean, yeah. all of them which I've encountered, it, you can't be tall as a girl. I can understand. Exactly. I have Are a question, John. Yes. Are you single? Yes. No, no it's not I'm because I'm interested. No, I'm just asking. <laughs> okay. Why are you asking? Just curiosity, I can see a spark in your eyes. Uh, I think that's the allergies, usually. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are pretty red. <laughs> Apart from my nose, which I can probably already Yes, I think I can work with that as well. What's that? This? Yes. This is a... It's a match. Because I'm a professional matchmaker. Oh my god. <laughs> and this is a symbol, I'm not making matches literally, but um, you know. For a spark but, of fire? No, no, darling. I make matches in real life, like uh, you and a handsome. Uh, Vodrun over there. Oh, maybe. I don't think he's interested in me. Yeah, hey, I can see a spark is... as well. <laughs> right? You say you're not single? Oh. Well, I said we were here at this party together, but I, I'm not sure. I, I wasn't sure what he, she meant. Don't worry, I'm here to channel your spark and his spark to make a beautiful match. Oh, sparks? I know about them. Don't, I mean, more. don't burn the house down, please. I cast guidance on you. Sparks. What? He does that sometimes. Some sparks come out of him. Hey, thank you. Uh, people say that my personality is like a firecracker and I spark off, but it's okay. People say that I'm cold as ice. No, uh, 
You're louder than me. I love it. Thank you, miss. I blush a little bit. Oh, look, she blushed. By the way, um, what are your names? I am Bernie T Rusk from the up north in the um, <laughs> in the uh, Utgard tribe. Uh, we are professional. Like we are professional uh, oh, mammoth oh, hunters, oh, and also we wrestle giants from here and then. The giants? Yes. You wrestle the giants? <laughs> oh, 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 I am Timothy, Baron Timothy. To you, I grab his hand firmly. Probably shake it a bit. Has a very weak handshake. <laughs> probably shake it a bit more. Than the... Is is Baron your first name or your last name? Hi, I'm Nisa. I think he's the last. The last. And um, what I what I wanted to ask you, like, um, uh, how how do you get here? Like your relationship with the uh, newlyweds. Uh, what are you know them? together? That's how we got here. We received an invitation. So. I think so. Yes. Oh. My parents actually own uh a la own some lands in where I grew up in in Carver's Ridge. It's a smaller town, but you know it mm. has a pretty fertile land, and we have a farm, Eden Garden, which is named after my grandmother's name. And we grow all kinds of stuff, and we usually bless the crops. So oh. it's organic and it's uh, tastier and, you know. Similar to what the shamans in the tribe do. I see, I see. Oh, yeah. I don't know the shaman. Yeah. Ours is better. <laughs> <laughs> um, you should uh, show me the crops or the harvest. Oh, yes, sometime. I have some here. Do you like to taste? And I <laughs> start putting sure. it to the box. <laughs> well, maybe I was wrong. Are you seeing it? <laughs> uh, when you come uh, to her estate, uh, I'll, I'll show you. It's not my estate yet. Okay. My parents are still alive. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just curious myself to see what happens at these sort of uh, weddings and parties. Oh my god, I've never been to a wedding. This is okay. the first time I'm drinking wine. Oh. I like this. Yeah, same. same. It's, uh, Are you getting tipsy? Mm -hmm. This weird. What's tipsy? Oh, you know, in, in a tavern, I saw a guy uh. giving a tip. Oh. No, no, it's when the okay. alcohol and the blood mix together in your body and in your brain and makes you feel like good. Do, do, I, oh. I have alcohol in my blood now? Just a little I, bit. Oh, I thought I speak you see, because <laughs> after the trip, they, they went into a room together and uh, I believe that's what it means. You are not the brightest, but I can make that work. <laughs> <laughs> as ba as uh, Timothy sees all of this, he just does like a gesture like this and starts walking away. And I'll throw two coins at him. No, no five <laughs> gold coins. <laughs> Here, you smart, take that and do your beard and clip your fucking nails. <laughs> <laughs> you weakling, my god, he let there you any animal here. And this one is really good. As he gets hit with the, the coins. Um, <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, of course. The huh? Oldrich ah, okay. trash, I love no. it. He does not actually immediately <laughs> react to that, like the coins just stung. Uh, yeah, there was no others can see that, so. Other yeah, I mean, people. you did get a bit of attention, but you did see also that uh, the people here have not made a big fuss about it and try to be uh, detached to the conflict yeah. that has arisen. Uh, anyway, as you throw the coins at him, uh, a few of uh, them just uh, ricochet off his body and uh, he stands a bit uh, confused and, and looks at the ground, but there's like two coins and... Ooh. Yeah, that's how gold looks like. Huh? You wouldn't know that. Oh, he, oh my he picks them up and uh, like stumbles forward. Like you see that he's yeah. quite drunk at the moment. My kind of people. <laughs> yeah. So uh, he uh, goes towards uh, the southern gardens. He just leaves. Ciao. Uh, that's yeah, he's way far, uh, way too far away to acknowledge your uh, salutes. Anyway. You make a very cute couple, but I'm so sorry you have to fight. Uh, I'm not interested in him. But I'm interested? only moved by money. Are you Fish. interested yeah. in someone? No, I have a wench at home, so I don't. Okay, bye. Does that mean he sleeps on money? Yeah, usually at this point during uh, the parties we have up top, it would end up with sparring and uh, uh, some fists would be thrown here and there, but uh, I don't know the traditions in here, so um, I'll just... I'll we are on. civilized. 
Yes, we have civilized up there as well. You speak a little bit on me. Mm. Uh, <laughs> apologies, uh, madam. A, a conflict. I forgive you. A conflict here in the spouse is what you just saw, a social event in which we attack each other with words. Mm. We don't need weapons. But isn't it more fun with weapons? Yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> we dispense in the fire. Oh, that's taking it a bit too far. No, it's not. <laughs> and the acid, yes. No, no. We'll or rest. for later. Okay, so, uh, as you keep uh, moving up, uh, moving uh, alongside uh, uh, the areas in the certain central garden. Um, as you are uh, going from place to place, um, at one point, uh, what's your passive perception? Bernie. One second. Uh, um, just 11. Okay. You don't see it, but suddenly uh, a waiter trips and he spills some of the drink on you. And like it, you hear the glass hitting the uh, the rocks on the ground and shattering. And you see him uh, like, like just frozen for a bit. And, oh no, no, sir. I, I, I didn't mean to, sir. I, I'm so sorry. I mean, Let me clean you up. Starts back. I don't know. Uh, it, it's all right. I don't know. No, sir. Please, Is it please. appropriate to take my shirt off? <laughs> Hey, no, but, uh, oh, Omega, how are you under me this short? What's the situation? That's a lot of hair. I mean, can I? <laughs> Ew, no, keep it inside. That's what she said. I, 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 I'm really, I, I'm really sorry. Uh, ah, it's fine. Here, I, I, I help him. Uh, I help, help him uh, stand up. Uh, and uh, you are the he stood up quickly and he started like fighting you down with uh, that's fine. I just give him a friendly tap on the back and be like, uh, just um, uh, I'm not sure I've asked your friend there, Boregard, but do you have um, uh, Boregard is not my friend, sir, uh, he is my, your, uh, is my your boss, enemy? superior, uh, superior would be a, a, even a better way to put it. Uh, I am so sorry, please do it, not tell It's him. fine, all I want, uh, it's uh, maybe, um, if you have mammoth steak, but if not, just uh, some meat. Enough with the mammoth steak! Uh, sir, uh, of course, uh, I, I, will, I will check out uh, at our quarters if we have and... Something... Uh, tons of protein! And maybe maybe bring him a chunchullo. What's a chunchullo? You will love it, stop asking questions. Chunchuyo. Yes. Uh, uh, of course. Uh, how how would you like like the chunchuyo to be pre pre prepared? Very tasty. <laughs> and uh, what 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 should uh, you see him like grabbing you're another very, napkin? And... You're very sweaty. Here, let me. Uh, thank you, ma'am. No, it's 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 fine. I have it. Uh, I would just Miss, like more I, I, details I about. Miss. Miss, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Miss. No, stop it, you're apologizing. I, I'm me. sorry for Why? apologizing. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will get sorry. meat and chunuyo. Chunuyo. <laughs> of course. Uh, it's I, I, a, it's a, in, it has interesting thing on it, but uh, it's very tasty. Uh, and now, so basically, I have uh, wine all over. Yes, you are your kind of okay. uh, And I like. <laughs> <laughs> I smell it a little bit. Hmm. If we is this like what the perfume should smell like? I don't Actually, know. smelling the wine, it's way more perfumey than you'd expect. Mm. It's um, it's Perfume. very sweet um, smelling. Not only sweet uh, yeah. tasting, but sweet smelling and. Um, at least I don't have to get, from what I've heard up north, uh, whale piss to make perfume out of. So, um, this I should would, do. I would also like for you to roll a... Um, Civilized check. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's true that he can pass. Uh, a uh, perception check with... Uh, no, actually an intelligence check. Intelligence check. Let's say straight roll. Oh, auto the map. 
It's a 17. Ooh, okay. um, as you smell it, uh, there is one particularity that you can't really wrap your head around. It smells like it has some sort of ingredient that you've never smelled in drinks before. Even though it's very faint, it's just because you spend a lot of time uh, yeah. really trying to uh, get it out and uh, investigate it. Uh, it's very faint, it's almost like something a bit uh, artificial. Uh, it's a type of, of smell that you have never felt in a drink before. Okay, mm, so not, uh, I mean, I smelled um, grapes a little bit, uh, definitely not berries. <laughs> Um, oh, or not honey. Do you like some berries? I have some. Oh, yes, please. Yes. Like My berries? favorite. I just Sheldon? need to crush them yeah, yeah. and just put them in. Are you Sheldon? Did you make oh. trays with Sheldon for the berry? <laughs> no, these are fresh. Um, and uh, yeah, but I'll, I'll tell to the rest. Uh, definitely mm, something interesting in this drink. Yes, but, I very uh, much like it. And I just grabbed it. Okay. Um, at this point, I have to ask you, would you like to go around and try to meet more people in the center garden or would you like to switch areas? We should, we Maybe should we should go also, congratulate yeah. Uh, yeah, we should go the newlyweds. I can't wait to meet them and tell them all about their farm. I have a lot of questions for them. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you do know, you have been told by Beauregard that uh, they are in the, the um, southern gardens. Uh, the, the ones that uh, uh, he has claimed they are planted and, and cared by uh, Kelola herself. And uh, you, you walk down and you see that there are uh, some passageways that lead into what appears from the exterior as a um, hedge maze. I mean, you don't actually see inside very well. And uh, all, all of you go there and you do realize after taking one step that it's a very simple left, right, left, right that uh, uh, gets you further into the garden. There aren't even more paths you can take. It's just from a pure design perspective. And uh, does anyone here have proficiency with a herbalism kit? Or even alchemy supply? Um, both of us are chemists, and yes. you might have herbalism as well. I know. Okay, it's enough. Uh, I would uh, allow both of you to do a nature check with advantage. Yes. As you pass by these plants, which they do seem a bit off as compared to, uh, as compared to the normal uh, flora of the place. Meanwhile, we search for the goblet of fire. You put your name in the goblet of fire. Yeah, that's not great. I have 12. I have a natural 24, 27. Whoa! Okay. Nice. Son! 27. Okay. So, uh, yeah. you actually look at the hedge itself and uh, pick up a small sample. And you notice something weird as uh, the, the, the sample of the twig that you, you have taken that has also has a few leaves. You investigate it for a bit and you can swear that looking at it, it might even move a bit. It does not move, however, it does change coloration slightly. Oh no. It turns from a pretty bright uh, greenish tint to a bit darker and then it reverts. This is highly unusual for uh, any kind of, of, especially the types of bushes that would be used for decoration. I start picking up a handful of them and... Uh, oh, you with always picking up uh, stuff from bushes. Please roll me a dexterity check. Ooh -hoo! Ooh. Saving throw, actually. Ooh -hoo! Oh, no! Oh, no. Even better. Saving throw. Come on, we Saving have bushes throw. at home. <laughs> the bush is at home. Yeah, yeah just... <laughs> me. <laughs> it's a 12. Okay. Oh, As no. you start picking at the, the, the bushes, you suddenly uh, st uh, get uh, pierced by some sort of spine, which is weird because these plants don't have spines. Uh, you take one point of piercing damage <laughs> and you look at the handful <laughs> of, of uh, twigs and leaves that you have from the, from the, the bushes and uh, you do see that one of the twigs has one singular spine. One, which is weird, again. 
it's not actually a characteristic of these types of plants and you didn't actually see spines in the whole thing but this or this little twig has a spine but, what did you do well but, this situation spiked up uh, but okay you see, give it here they're, they're experimenting with these plants they're well, so shiny for them. yes very interesting yes but look you hurt yourself why are you always getting into trouble? Let me... You made it over. Yes, I get this and I start patching, so blood <laughs> doesn't spill. Oh, guys. I take, you with uh, your tinkering. I take a few of the samplings that I uh, picked, plucked. Not exactly samplings. I have a suggestion. Samples. Okay. You, you can keep the wound to make it better. I don't think that's gonna work. Yes, it will work. Not you, <laughs> <laughs> the oh. other one, the <laughs> Nisa should kiss, Nisa, very beautiful name, you should kiss the wounded hand of the um, Voldrun. But it doesn't work. Not you, the Nisa kiss. But I don't think this is going to yes, work. Look at me, I'm older than you and I know more, so... Yes, but my parents, I think, are older than you and they didn't tell me such things. Yeah, but they grew on a farm. <gasps> so what? <laughs> oh, no. They Did don't know the secrets amazing? of the town. You know me for like 10 minutes. I don't understand why you don't trust me already. Well, maybe I'm not that keen on trusting people just yet. I know me young, but that doesn't mean that I'm naive. You should try. I should try to be more naive. No, just try to make his wound better. Give a kissy. I, I take some, I take some uh, dirt and I, I, I make it better. Oh no! <laughs> now don't kiss it. I was spit on it. Bam! <laughs> I just patched it. What did you do? Why? <laughs> you ask me a why? Well, I, I, as you uh, do this uh, very uh, clean medical procedure to <laughs> save uh, Waldron's life. <laughs> <laughs> which was clearly at stake. You actually continue your walk through the maze of, of, uh, of uh, shrubberies and bushes and uh, we do reach a place where you see that uh, two very elegant seats have been uh, um, set up. Uh, they are made out of solid oak with um, a very nice uh, uh, red uh, canvas uh, over them and uh, you see that sitting, sitting in them uh, there are two uh, humans. One of them is a uh, man that looks to be almost in his 40s. Uh, he has very well kept hair that is split down the middle and uh, runs by his so sides. Um, he has a, um, a, a white scarf at his neck and a, a very beautifully uh, crafted um, blue um, overcoat. This that yellow is. color. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he also is very clean shaven and looks uh, to have a very stern look. Uh, and uh, next to him, so tough. I there, love it. Yeah, he does look like a very serious man. And uh, next to him, there is a female. Uh, she is. Uh, her hair is uh, completely black, and uh, she has um, a, a very uh, cold look about her as she. Uh, looks forward and uh, talks to the guests in a very detached manner. Um, she uh, is wearing uh, also a um, black dress that also has inserts of white and uh, she has a scar on her uh, eye that looks to have been very badly healed. You clearly deduce the fact like by their position and the fact that they are seated while they are talking to, to the guests that are actually in a queue to go see and talk to them, you notice that uh, these uh, are definitely Lord Peregrine Watson and Kelola Queen. After a brief uh, waiting time to actually go and uh, talk to them, um, you see that uh, the man uh, uh, very uh, politely uh, extends uh, his hand, like motioning you to, to come forward and uh, the, the woman looks at you with suspicion in her eyes and he proceeds, uh, proceeds to address you Hello, welcome, welcome to my wedding I don't think I've had the pleasure of meeting you Hello 
Hello. Oh, Mr. Hello. I don't have their currency. Are you trying to shake their hands? Uh, yes, uh, Lord uh, Peregrine uh, shakes your hand. Uh, yeah. a, a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Miss Desper. Um, might you please grace us with uh, um, the acquaintance and, and bonds that we have, that you have, uh, this, be because of which you have decided to grace us with your presence at our wedding. First, we want to congratulate you for this beautiful occasion in your life. Love is always a reason to be celebrated. And uh, what was your question? Because I didn't understand. You have a very weird accent. Um, never mind. Maybe it has been uh, rude for, uh, of me to answer. To which uh, he gets interrupted by... Uh, Kelola and says, uh, Now, uh, what your husband wanted to say was, uh, uh, what's your connection to House uh, Watson? Uh, Miss uh, Vesper, was it? Yes, uh, uh, my house and your house know each other for a long time, you know, his Vesper. I am not of House Watson yet, I am about to be. Of course, uh, uh, Tesper is one of the noble houses, the oh, water sure. deep, and uh, your house also makes the wine and the parties and all that. Uh, you know what you do better. Uh, no? And do we receive an invitation? And I love, oh. love so much, and I wanted to see how you to, to witness your we love We thank you for story. your presence, Miss Tesper. We are glad to have you here. Can you tell me more? My dear, about... might we please uh, meet the other guests? That was she says rude. while he brought, interrupting you. Super rude. Uh, uh, and uh, and you see him uh, being a bit shameless. Oh yes, of course, uh, sir. Lord Watson, Lady Queen. My name is Ebenezer Derby. At your service. As for my appearance here, I'm what's known as a um, repairer of reputations, if I can tell that. I'm here to make sure that... As, as that, you say that Kilona interrupts you. Uh, I'm sorry, repairer of whose reputations, specifically? Of, let's say, let's just say that there's some gossip about you. Gossip? I would no, no, very no, much... Let's just no, say... It was a hypothetical. Sir, sir. I, I meant no disrespect, yes. but uh, might you share some gossip? Well, you know how I, sir, please. You know how know. we want to have a uh, good wedding without any kind of disturbances, yes. such as gossip and uh, untrue rumors. Might you please share with no, us? No, Mr. Timothy, right? <laughs> He's a bit of an ass. The Baron. He said, yeah, the Baron. He said that your wine takes like piss or something like that. Oh, did he now? Yeah, and I don't think that's really true. <laughs> and he was starting to gossip and said, I, I asked him, Hey, see. what can you tell me about these lovely individuals? And he said, who? Those people are not good people. They are not even noblemen. And I was like, impossible. I mean, we saw the invitation, right? Roll me a deception yeah. check with advantage. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's a plus seven, so... Oh, oh no. 14 plus seven, 21. Yeah, 21. Okay. I wanted to know the love story, but Please, it was Please, roll me again. With advantage still. Okay. Oh, no, 17. Okay. As, um... Just as an explanation, when there's a contest in the same roll, yeah. you roll yeah. again. Yeah. Okay. Um... <laughs> you see, uh, suddenly, uh, Kelona, um... Frowning a bit, and... Looking towards Peregrine. My love, uh, did you see what uh, Sir Derby here had to say about uh, Timothy? To which he, he looks a bit back and uh, he shrugs a bit and she, she continues. You know, uh, 
we must talk afterwards. Uh, Mr. Drunk, Derby. By the way. Sorry? He's drunk, by the way. I don't mean he wanted to really imply that you... But, sir, you have claimed that uh, he did not like the wine. Yeah, but, again, he was drunk, so when you're drunk, maybe you tell things that you should. Mm, yeah, I... but you told the honest things when you're drunk. Yeah. I understand. I just uh, wanted to point that out. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, I hope that in light of this uh, good event, it has not ruined your enjoyment of the party. Mm, not really. Nice to have had your acquaintance, sir. Thank you. And uh, you see Per, uh, per being replying, uh, likewise. Of course. Anything um, you need, I And then, uh, looking uh, as you start sort of speaking, like, Per being points a finger uh, at you. Yeah. You, s you have something that. Uh, you remind me of... of I, uh, I can't put my finger... I approach him, I do uh, probably some sort of a uh, thing that's uh, traditional to us up north when uh, people get married and we do this sort of... Oh, sort of this <laughs> movement, this thingy, and uh, we say... Uh, Self-harm, uh, yeah. Uh, and, like a haka. Uh, then, yeah, a uh, haka, of course. And then uh, I say... Congratulations on your wedding, Peregrine. I'm here uh, from uh, you. You probably recognized uh, my tattoos. My brothers from up north in the clan. Uh, I do. Of, I do uh, recognize it. Uth Uthgard, uh, up north. We. Um, I was sent by uh, clan chieftain Ivor, who you you knew. He told me, um, but unfortunately he fell ill recently and couldn't attend. But uh, for in for respect. He sent uh, me instead, as a rep representative of the clan, uh, to wish you well in uh, your um, this future uh, life with uh, your uh, missus here. And um, uh, told me also to present you with this gift. And uh, probably, uh, I mean, I will pull out uh, a sort of uh, drinking horn, uh, just a, a bit ornate and such at the ends with uh, just a few golden inlays and such and uh, uh, this I was to present to the uh, newlyweds as oh, a gift from up north your clan is your clan's reputation is definitely uh, preceding you uh, you have oh you always have a warm spot reserved that uh, Watson estate uh, I thank <laughs> you for your uh, for your gift and uh, I am as saddened as I am to hear by your chief about your chieftain's illness, uh, I am also happy that uh, one of your representatives could have joined us. Uh, please, uh, by oh, with my blessings, uh, have the best time that you can here at our wedding. Oh. And to which you see that Kilora looks at him. Who is this one? <laughs> and he says, uh, "They are some mercenaries that have saved my life." And I owe them greatly. To which uh, she simply smiles, and uh, um, she also do does a small bow with her head. And oh, glad to have you here, uh, Mr. Uh, Bernie. Mr. Bernie. Yes, uh, my mother was very inspired. When she named me. Please be welcomed at our party, Mr. Bernie. Was she burning? <laughs> Okay. Um, I, thank you, I will, I will. Okay. Hello, kind sir, lady. Congratulations for your big day. Thank you very much. I am Miss Auburn. You probably know my parents, Bron and Lyra. We have the farm, uh, Eden Garden. That was started after my grandmother. I have something for you and I pull up... Um, a uh, small gift uh, with vegetables and all, all sorts of crops and with a nice bowl and as a gift from uh, from my parents. Yeah, you know, Green actually extends his hand and takes the um, uh, the basket and he presents it to Kilola and says, uh, "Have you seen love? Look how how healthy these vegetables look like." And as she's glancing over and uh, uh, touches one, you see, actually. I would like the both of you to roll a perception check. <laughs> the veggies die. Oh, it's a dirty 20. 13. Okay. We treat them with the most respect as droids. 
a detail, a very fine detail that was truly meant to be hidden. As she uh, picks up one of the vegetables, you see uh, like a twitch on her hand, like an indication of some sort of pain. As he, she immediately drops it, Oh yes, there, there you have a very nice crop there indeed. Uh, you look to be very skilled at your craft. We bless the crops every full moon, so we make sure that they have the greatest taste and they keep healthy and they help the ones that eat them. I, I am sure that is the case. And you, sir? He is my associate, our associate. He is my plus one. Oh, don't be shy now. How about yes, you present don't yourself? Be shy. Says Go, present yourself. I'm uh, the Vodron. Yes. He doesn't say a lot of words. I do know that merfolk are not known to be the most... Uh, oh, that's what you are, you never um, told me! I, I'm sorry, I, I did not wish to cause any kind of... Oh no, no! Sir, I sir, you. I have, have no fear. Uh, we here are tolerant of any kind of species as long as uh, they are in the company of friends and have good intentions. Please, please, I enjoy the, the, the party. Uh, I... Hope you have a happy marriage. Thank you very much. But by all means, do not feel discriminated against. Nobody will do so, and not as long as uh, uh, we are here and taking care of the situation, right, my love? And uh, Peregrine, like uh, he actually was a bit confused when he looked at you and like studied and said, "Oh yes, yes, uh, right. That 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 is right, my love." Well, uh, she continues. Uh, that's a high passive perception. Hmm? <laughs> that's a high passive perception. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you see that the, the, that uh, Kela continues. Well, um, I, I hope you have a wonderful time uh, at our wedding and uh, uh, please enjoy all of the facilities. If you would excuse us now, we have uh, more. Uh, as she looks at it, more guests to see. Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you very much, and uh, okay. Mr. Rods, thank you again for the gift. Welcome. I hope to see you again and uh, show you again our great hospitality up north. I Probably I should bring you some mammoth steak next time. It seems you're on short supplies around here. <laughs> and if I can say, yes, definitely I would like that. <laughs> It'll go well with some of my vegetables. Definitely, we can pair them up. Yeah. Uh, ah. In this time, I would like to study, not me, the Imbaha, like the, the matchmaker. She would like to study the lovely couple and figure out if they are in love. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Can I... Okay, uh, in this case, I would assume, based on your background and everything I know about you, that... Yeah. Um, I will give you advantage in doing this specific thing. Oh. I think she's delightful. So an inside check. A very incredible person, really. It's Who a dirty lady no. Quinn. Oh no, it's not. It's a, I don't fifteen. know what to say. It's a fifteen. Okay. So, uh, looking at them, you definitely uh, get the feeling that they're in love. You, you see that. Um, well, she was not as warm to him as he was warm to her. Like, he really tried to accommodate all of her particular whims towards each one, every one of you, even though uh, his general demeanor would probably be of respect and uh, uh, pure politeness to everyone. Um, so he did try, he seemed to have gone out of his way to make her feel more comfortable even though she wasn't as comfortable with each one of you. Was he... Did he behave like he was under a charm or a potion? Uh, it would be a bit too much to, okay. to tell from just studying them for a bit. But, if anything, when they looked at each other, they did, they, they did have a uh, kind of spark in their eyes. Oh. He definitely did, even she, but... Maybe, I don't know, she was a bit more uh, distressed by this encounter than he was. Okay, maybe she's under the red moon. It usually passes in a week. I heard the weddings are very stressful for uh, uh, the bride. Maybe. 
I don't know. How, in how my, you know? in my whole uh, career as a matchmaker, uh, nobody is stressed in the wedding time. They are usually very happy and cheerful and uh, full of love. I'm a bit suspicious. Uh, but uh, maybe they didn't like my vegetables. I don't think she liked them. Not super suspicious, but maybe a little suspicious. Just a little. But then to each their own. Maybe she likes meat better. Okay. Well, <laughs> um. <laughs> Right. Moving on. I just realized what I said because <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean it. Yeah. Of course you didn't. Yeah, yeah. Be, yeah. So no gonna, puns come I'm naturally now. I don't want deception. I don't want deception. Okay. So after having met, you see that uh, there are there were a lot of people waiting to to talk to to them. And um, would you like to hang around the gardens a bit more, or maybe try to mingle a bit with the people in the central area, or there's also the servants area that is yet to be explored. Are we allowed in the servants area? It's the area that is like near the servants oh. quarters. It, it is where Beauregard has uh, instructed you to come if you need him for anything. So yeah, you do see people that go and make requests from time to time there, so it's... As right a oh. general note, I would like to follow these two and while walking where they are walking, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, just ask people randomly if they're single or looking for someone and stuff like that. So you just do that? Yeah. Okay. I, like I don't know where they're going, but I'm gonna stalk them. Okay. I was uh, interested uh, there in the garden, would there have been a sort of a band playing or something? Or There are uh, people playing uh, very soft music, it's the same one that you can actually hear from time yeah, to time. So it's like, um, yeah. But, I mean, would you like to like do a quick tour of the gardens? Yes. Mm, yeah, sure. And, uh, Let's explore it. Guessing while we pass um, uh, by the musician, I'll say, mm, you know, up north actually, our music it's um, quite uh, jolly. Here it's, uh, I don't know what that instrument is that he's doing like that. The but, violin. Uh, that one. But in there we have uh, flutes and drums, and uh, they're all like cheerful, and people dance and go crazy. They go on the table actually, and uh, start. That explains why he speaks so loud. Is the music loud as well? But you yes, can, very loud. You can go crazy with the violin as well. And can I also and dance on the tables in here? Yes. Okay, okay. sure. Cool. But I, I don't think... But I need a bit more drinks. <laughs> Just go and get them. Look, it's over there. Uh, more of the, this red thing. All right. This I will have something thing. for you. Mm. And uh, I take a few of the samples that I picked up. As you pick up the samples, like the the the, the police dogs just jump you and I'm joking, <laughs> <laughs> joking. What's that boy? What's that thing? Bless you. Get get that away. Get get it away. You so know I, I think, don't uh, like stuff. Two uh, two samples and. I uh, smashed them against the hard surface, like a table or something. Oh, you're allowed to do! Bless No, it, this was a meta. Children! Yeah. Children! Let's, I put uh, them in a potion. Um, in one of the potions that uh, um, I was drinking from. Well, not from this one specifically, but. And um, I stir it up, and I uh, uh, give it to you. Here, it, it should taste like ale. Does it taste like ale? Yes. Oh, oh. Mm. sweet. <laughs> so it's um, well. alcohol uh, brewed uh, with a magical uh, uh, sense of, uh, with a magical smell of ale, and that has samplings in it. Okay. Then uh, uh, the, the saplings, the samples. The two crushed samples in it. The, okay. the bushes? <laughs> the bushes. <laughs> you I, I'll, I'll bush check it out. later, wait, so. <laughs> okay. And they okay were <sighs> and I'm so glad you know how to make ale, but you couldn't help me so far. My allergies. We'll, we'll work on the potion. We need more books. We need to see if these rich people have books for I, allergies specifically. 
I even tested the potions on myself. Yeah, but you're not allergic to anything. That's why you're a merman, because <laughs> <laughs> the potions. <laughs> well, uh, all, all of, while all of this was going on, uh, uh, so yeah. I, I drank it. Uh, it it's okay. Like, I, I'm good. You're dead. I'm good. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> I'm good. You're good. Okay. You're good. Then after I drink, I, I, I'm there. <laughs> I think I just found my new best friend! Come here, buddy! Uh -huh. <laughs> and I would like you to roll an intelligence check. Hey? Intelligence check. Intelligence check. Just to Ooh, check. It's not the same. That's wood. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Maybe me. it's a mind flare that it's a, this is uh, other types of mechanics. It's a 14. It's a 14, okay. It does taste a bit weird, but since it's ale, yeah, and you would be skilled at producing all kinds of stuff in this, okay, you're, you're, fine, uh, you're fine. Yeah, it, it's just it's an exotic flavor. <laughs> yeah, it's an exotic flavor of ale. Yeah. Anyway, so as this was going along and uh, you were going uh, about the gardens, um, you notice that um, in the line in the queue uh, there is a. Uh, he appears to be dressed as a warrior, as a knight in plate armor, but the plate armor looks to be in very bad shape. Like it has rust on the edges. It's missing a pauldron. Uh, it's it has different types of dents in it, as if it were uh, worn in combat or in a uh, in a in a joust and has not been repaired properly. And uh, wearing it is uh, a medium-sized blonde uh, half elf and. Um, uh, he is looks to be very, very uh, heavily inebriated. Oh, and heavily what? Ine uh, he's drunk. drunk. He's very oh. drunk. Yeah, and he's like stu stumble. He stumbles a bit, and uh, uh, it catches uh, in Haba's um, uh, ear the fact that he's mumbling to himself, and he says, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make her fall in love with me." He's gonna, she, she's gonna leave that hack of a lord, and she's going to, oh, she will be mine. And he's saying this as he's leaning on his great sword, and uh, he looks to be like really dreamy, and he has the look that you definitely notice. I'm going to go gently next to him. He's like, Lean a little bit against his shoulder and he does not react. He and whisper, like Who is it that you're so in love with? Why? I am in love with my. with my love, Kelola. Mm, that's a big that's, dumb smile. That's a very interesting story. Can you tell me how it happened? When you first met Kelola, and how did you realize you loved her? You know I am telling you this, because I'm a professional matchmaker. Oh, you! You have to help me! I'm going to! I'm almost you. next in line, and I'm going to confess. Okay. And take her away with me. Of course, I will help you. And we you. will live. Happily. We Ever. will live happily. Ever. After. In, in my... I, I don't have a house, but we will live happily. Exactly. I don't care. I will help you find the true love and the true meaning no. of love. No. She is my true love. With her. Kelora. With Kelora. We will live happily. Okay. In, of course. In? In a tent. <laughs> Shun. Uh, let's let's my... go a bit back and tell me how did you meet Kelola? You need all the help in the world and I'm going to provide that to you because I care about you and your feelings, of uh -huh. course. And uh, I need more information. I am uh, an attorney. That's where I met her. An attorney. Is he telling the truth? <laughs> At this afraid. point, there's not even a role necessary. <laughs> does appear to be sincere. He's way too drunk that, uh, so that he might actually yes, like convincingly. Okay. So. In a journey, and I was competing. And as I was competing, I had a bit too much to drink. Doesn't matter. 
as I was competing in the turning by, by, by Lord Watson, there we saw each other. I saw her in her grace looking downward from the mud from which I've been knocked down to How many and as want? our love has to prevail as as our eyes locked mine with hers and hers with something I knew that we were meant to be How many moons ago? Yes how, may, how much time it passed since the first gaze of love? I already told you, yes. Yes? He, he just said yes. No, 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 you are right, some moons. Uh, how many? A1, A2? I recognize this language, so it probably means like two months or so. Two months ago? Uh, yes. Uh, Doesn't matter, our love will sing eternal. I have an, another yes, question. Yes? Uh, was she already together with this um, uh, Peregrine Watson? I, yes, she was, but... They I were think together they barely, in yes. a couple. Yes, but they, were, they barely met each other. I, I, I waited see. all my time on this. Uh, good luck to you and I pet him. Right. Let's leave now. Good, I'm up next. I've got a question. When you were drunk, you what did you drink? <laughs> He's not the wine drink. from here or something else? When oh, it's my, it's my favorite drink. Also, it's really cheap here. So you were drunk it's with this free. one when you fell in love with her, right? It's free. Normally, it's free. Did you it's pay? Free. You guys are paying for the drinks. No. Oh, I didn't have much no, money. They, they had, uh, at the third day, they had the wine. I and I drank the wine. And then I won the tourney. Oh, no, I lost the tourney. Let's be fair. I lost the tourney. But I'll win the next one. But more importantly, Mrs. Firemaker, I will... Matchmaker. <laughs> I will win her heart. Right now. I do not believe in you. I believe. Sorry. When you were drunk, you saw any other women before you saw her? There is no other women in my heart. No, 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 no. When you... When you were drunk, like... Blasted. I'm not drunk. Not now, at the turn. Uh -huh. Please for here, folks. Have you seen any other women before you saw her? There's women all around. But, but there's women in my heart, and the women is Kelora. <laughs> That's what I wanted to know. Guys talking. I've got some bad news for you. Are you interested oh, no. in him romantically? No. I don't think he likes it. I think life. this stuff makes us go and fall in love with something. Let's it's invest just the game some more. Can I get drunk of this and see if my mm. you try to go and chug it more? No. How many glasses we actually? Wait, wait, Mr. Ebenezer Derby. Yeah. Let's. I have a proposition. Mm. Instead of you getting the drunk, he gets no, no, no. no. Oh yes. No, <laughs> no, no. no. Listen, the I loud ones. They don't have enough. Actually, you. Yes. You listen no, to me. Okay, ow. I think it's starting. Kaya, to they listen way. to me. We go and we sneak around and we see the people that are already drank. Drunk. I, I think I'm, I'm halfway there. And they, we see if, oh. if they're also in love with the with the Kelola thing or with someone. Let's look at her first. I'm How do you feel? Are you in I love? Feel, I feel great. I love life. Does she feel great? You feel a bit weird because you're like drunk. Tipsy. It's a very weird. Uh, but I've also never. Yeah. Uh, I've never had alcohol in my life. Yeah. So. Me neither. I'm also drunk right now, but not in character. I expected that the yeah. other. Uh, this is some very good wine, thank you. Yeah. 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 This was amazing. Yeah. I never but, drink wine, so. Me neither. <laughs> I leave the planet. Did you hear like the band? How nice it is. It's Porto wine. Ah, 
Yes. Trademark white. So it's Sorry? portable then? <laughs> it's <laughs> both portal and portable. Oh my. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so uh, do you actually do you wanna like focus a bit and try to figure out your current state and uh, uh yes, I'm slightly, I'm slightly tipsy and I'm getting uh, I'm starting to be overly friendly. Look at and Vodrum. I smile a lot. Hi Vodrum. That's my job. Haha, <laughs> your Hi, ears are so funny. Yes. As you focus a bit. Uh, well try to focus Have anyway. You always been green? Yes. He was narrating something, you guys. Uh, I, I cannot get nicer to focus on <laughs> Nisa. Nisa? Yes. I'm oh, not no. playing nice. Nisa <laughs> Jaja Bings. Uh, what oh, 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 oh. Oh. Nisa no like. 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 Well, I, as you do try to focus as much as you can right now, since uh, Nisa has not really been drunk before. It's everything. Nisa. Nisa. Oh my God. Nisa. 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 Yes, but without the end. Nisa is the male. You don't have the sponsorship yet. Let's see. Okay. Nisa. Nisa is the endorsers. Give us the money. Okay. Please give us the money. Anyway, anyway, you yes. see everything around you seems very nice. You're having a good time, even if you're just sitting around looking at stuff and. Uh, like you felt that everyone was so nice, especially that woman. That she was particularly nice. She was so friendly to you, and her skin was really, really soft. Yeah, she did. Do I remember when she touched the vegetable and just shredded? <laughs> me. Ah, I mean, it wasn't anything <laughs> of importance. Clearly, you're sure of it. I'm sure of it. Oh, okay. no. Yeah. Yeah. So, what are you thinking? Do you like the Vodrun or what? I don't know. I think Mr. Peregrine was ve a very lucky man. Because his wife is gorgeous. El Diablo! Actually, I know. <laughs> actually, I know. All of us. Even though she was not really uh, nice to you, she's a good looking woman. You could yes, on but the match meter. She would be very high. I know. Very high. <laughs> I know. I know. Now that you think I'm... of it, she would be really high on the match meter. I I'm thinking, but she already has a lover hmm? that I did not facilitate. So what's my, it's my pride we're talking about. The best I can do is give her a scolding. She didn't uh, look for me when she searched for the peregrine uh, dude. Yeah, but still, <laughs> as a collect, uh, as a collective uh, thinking effort, I mean, they, I, she just seemed really nice to all of you. Yeah, she seems more fine than money. Yes. Well, do, do you think she'd like to talk to us again? You know what she I love the most about her? Her hair? Oh. Yes, the oh. abonis in oh. So... He was so black and gorgeous. Like a raven. Oh, do exactly. you think that's why she called her no. wine raven? The, I think the wine is from the husband's side. No, I think it's from the wife's side. No? Mm -hmm. It's from, from Peregrine's side. You didn't really ask. Yeah. It's just what I provided to you. Yeah. Didn't Let's go more. and ask oh, her. Well, we should definitely ask. Maybe we can touch her skin again. You want I, to I want burn to ask, to ask um, just if, um, like, um, at this point, like, yeah, we realize that she is beautiful and all, but yeah. are we, uh, like, at this point, the <laughs> mad whore? <laughs> no, but yeah, that's the thing, like, are we really. <laughs> Like, in love, like, we really feel that... You're not in love. Desire, yeah. passion. Or... No, okay, no, okay. Just, 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 not. just that, yeah, she's you're, awesome. You're yeah. Just, 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 just in awe. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's okay. just, you remember that you had a very pleasant interaction with her. Okay. She seems to be a very nice, yeah. uh, pretty cool woman. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I'd like her to be the mother of my children as well. Oh, She'd fit nicely in the tribe as well, I think. I but think I can make that work. Oh. It is one of my duties to provide children to the tribe. We are a bit low. And we need new pups. <laughs> Do but you go around <laughs> stealing children? No. Okay. I don't know what to respond to this. As this conversation is taking place, um, you do see that uh, 
the the hedge knight that you didn't really ask the name of uh, goes uh, in front of, of uh, the, the couple and um, you see him uh, standing on one knee and presenting something to, to Kelola and uh, you also see a peregrine very angrily, angrily getting up from his chair and shoving him aside and oh, no, scolding no. him and uh, like really pushing him and you see that the, the knight uh, uh, pulls out his sword and peregrine like easily disarms him and throws his sword on the ground and then calls some guards which uh, grab the, the, the hedge knight and uh, drag him away and um, as he's being drag dragged away, he keeps screaming, No! We were meant to be! No! No! And he's being escorted out. Yep. Oh, no. Tough luck. I knew that will happen. It's tough love. It's yeah, definitely, definitely, like, you would definitely have... Uh, I foretold that. that. Uh, yeah, yeah. You would have, you would have clearly saw it. Apparently, I'm also seeing in the future now. <laughs> I hope I don't see my future. Uh, I see your future. <laughs> it's full of love. Why are you talking differently? Why are you changing your... Are you trying to find a style of your own? You've been through this. Just stick with one. Well, uh, you know, I've, I've told you that I've uh, uh, tested a few potions on myself. Okay, so maybe there's a switch. Uh, well, there's also, uh, this is also the reason why I don't quite look like a merfolk. Yeah, why did she say that anyway? You didn't tell me like you were a merfolk. Um, you see, I was brewing this, this potion and uh, I tried to change my, uh, I tried to transform to change my appearance and it changed my appearance okay but uh, not That's exactly I, I, as i wanted and uh, my throat is uh, still uh, changing from uh, time to time oh i think i understand but why did you want to change your appearance oh. did you, you didn't like the way you how did you look before well you know with uh, Green skin and. But you uh, already have green skin. Was it greener than long this? Years you already have long hair. I don't understand. What didn't you have? Long, no hair. Oh. oh, so that grew extra. It was a thin. It oh, happened so that's why you have a mohawk. Yes, uh, my character has a mohawk, I forgot to mention. So that was a thin, <laughs> and what did you do? Did you go like this with it? <laughs> I suppose. Uh, Were you a punk? Oh, he still is one. Well, as, as you're having this conversation, uh, would you also like to uh, visit another area and uh, try to mingle or uh, just sit in place? Yeah, and, uh, oh, wait for me! I, I have to take a leak! Oh my god! Oh. You need to get yourself checked. Oh, this is the third time in the past few minutes. I think he's the age. Yes. I'm not old! Your bladder is. Yeah. Oh my god. What is um, Well, since you're in the gardens, there's a very interesting thing going on. You notice that um, there are uh, two females that are actively working the garden and planting new saplings somewhere uh, in the back of it. And um, they look to, uh, uh, to, communi to communicate one to another and uh, there's no actual sound coming from like they are uh, like speaking one to each uh, from one to another but there's no sound between them and also they do have uh, the uh, the robes that uh, uh, are a bit similar although in lower quality and not braided with uh, silver and gold like Kelola has do you think they need help planting can I? You can definitely help with that. Do they look similar? I mean, the face. And... One to each other, one to another? One to another and to Kelola. A roll a perception check. That's fine. That might be I would like to send a message. That's Whoa! Dirty <laughs> funny. You look at them. They don't look like Kelola. But, but, uh, but they look very, very similar to one another. Mm -hmm. Twins. Doubles. 
Yes, they look like twins. What would you? What did you want to say? To send a message in one of their heads. Mm -hmm. uh, do you need a bit of help to communicate with your sister? As you do that, you feel a hand on your shoulder. I look it back. And looking back, no, it's actually you look back and you see Beauregard, and he looks at, at every one of you and says. I'm sorry to disturb your uh, your uh, enjoyment of the festivities, but there has been an issue with your invitations. Uh, please uh, follow me to the servant quarters to clear it out. Thank you very much. Right this way. What do you mean issues? But oh, I, I will explain everything in due time. So I can stay? I don't have an invitation. What are you Sir, coming with you me? have been registered you? as... Uh, You're on my invitation. What are you talking Nisa? about? Nisa. Nisa, I'm sorry. I'm gonna modify. <laughs> um, I say to the folk, but uh, <clears throat> wait, um, sir, please. It, it is of utmost importance. I will let you get back to the festivities as soon as all of this is cleared up. Uh, please follow me. I look at him like anything shady about it. Like I try yes. to insight, yes. sort okay. of really? like. You don't even need to insight as you protest. Like uh, he looks around left and right, and, and he motions no and. That you should come with it, like very subtle, like subtle, subtle, like he did not have any subtle gestures until now. Okay. Oh, okay. Maybe we should follow him. Come on, leave the plans. Uh, yeah, I, I'm like, uh, just give him a very Let's go. deep look. At we were here. We saw the okay. total movement. Okay. I'm concerned. As you go into the other side, you see that he is, uh, he's moving in like a very straight up and disciplined posture. But he seems to be speeding up a bit more than you'd expect. Then you've seen him walk around. Boregard, keep up, keep up. Boregard, did you have the wine? Just a second, miss. Uh, we will get to it in a moment. And uh, as you go towards the servant quarters, uh, he starts yelling from outside. Uh, Orval, Bren, Micah, Jack, out, out, every one of you. Go find something else. Uh, I have uh, 10 minutes uh, of a meeting. Thank you. Goodbye. Is this the kitchen? Uh, it's not the a kitchen, area. it's a servant yeah. quarters and it's uh, just like a lobby type of room that you are okay. in right now. And uh, as uh, he uh, enters, he turns around and says, uh, kindly shut the door, please. <laughs> I didn't see that there. Kindly not spill the wine. <laughs> <laughs> we have okay. more maps. He, he, he shuts thing. the door and says, good. I am sorry to place this uh, burden of truth upon you. Um, I am worried that this wedding is not the the happy event that I would like it to have been. Oh, well, oh that's what you mean. Oh, so you want us to bring <laughs> in the my tradition? No, no. no. Uh, sorry, uh, time is of the essence. I cannot be noticed to have been gone a long time. However. I have been thinking, and the fact that you are strangers to this place could be of great help. Um, I have been uh, Lord Peregrine's Majordomo for 30 years. I have safeguarded him against a lack of education and his enemies that I have seen coming. I know no greater loyalty than to himself, and I tell you now, I believe that this wedding is a farce. I believe that this woman has placed a spell upon him. There is no secret that Lord Peregrine has from me, except the way in which he has met this woman, the way they have built their relationship, and the reason why they have chosen to get married so quickly. How long have they known each other? Barely a year. Oh. Did he make this wine before or after he got engaged with wine? I'm sorry, what? Uh, this wine, the one we've been drinking. Yeah. Raven wine. Um, is made before who, they got engaged. Who has the wine company? The Raven's blood is produced by a Kilola's vineyard. Yep. Uh, what is it about the wine? Though? It makes you infatuated with it. The more so you drink. At least we think I find her delightful. It's a very oh, good no. sport. Yeah, we all yeah. do actually. Apparently. Very fertilely. Oh. <laughs> 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 nice. Oh, no. Nice, nice. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> 
And when did, they, when did they announce the engagement? <laughs> One month ago. For what reason? For reason that they love each other and I... I Mr. Peregrine was... Was with many a woman, but... Noble ladies that he didn't he never has thought about marriage until this one uh, regarding the wine She has a winery that is actually close to the estate It's the only clue I have about her in, in any way shape or form that something might be wrong. I Know this is a lot to ask. I I do not want to barge in and ask for this kind of a favor since you are here as guests, but I've noticed that some of you are wearing gear that would be suitable for combat. Oh yeah, I never leave home with it. I, I... Here is my proposal. I think you would have Lord Peregrine's eternal gratitude and a very princely reward if you would help me in this endeavor and help me prove that whatever they have there is a sham and that that woman is some sort of sorcerer that has entrapped him. Okay, I have two questions. Please. First of all, Boregard, have you had the wine yet? I do not consume alcohol, no. Never? No, I, I never partake. And we the second try. one, the second one, are you single? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Miss, I, I think there are more of... Uh... Not for me, I'm not asking for me. Well, uh, Miss, I, I think there are more pressing matters at hand. Tell me and then I will help you. It's better. To tell her. I have a few ladies. Okay. Mm. Oh. Now getting back to. Do you fancy one? <laughs> Miss, please. Maybe he, he fancies more. That's the whole point. <laughs> Humans. Yes, and she does not want me back. Continuing. Um. There is. There. I I know that Kelola. There is a very weird lack of information about her whereabouts and about her business and the wine she's producing. I'm among the few that even question it. I have talked to businessmen, people that are sound of mind and I've told them that it is not possible to have a vineyard, a place of, of, of such that can produce such large quantities of wine close by that we do not know of. It is less than five kilometers away from the estate and yet nobody questions it i feel like i'm living inside an illusion crafted by someone nobody went there before there are people who say that have went but they don't remember anything i'm not i'm partially sure on of how to reach the place but i have not gone so gone there myself can you give us everything in, maybe we can try yes. going there there is a thicket on the northeastern corner of the estate, I, I can just show you uh, on 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 a map, and I can give the location. But I, I cannot guarantee to you that that's how you reach it. But the, the, the only information I got, uh, the wedding is going to last all day today and all night, and I, I have a plan to get you out of the wedding and into this investigation. Should should you choose to accept it. Yeah, definitely. As a corrupt individual. And, I'm sorry, uh, sir, what? As a corrupt individual <laughs> and gluttonous and only moved by money, I will help you, but due to one thing, she is fucking clumsy. I knew what she'd done even before you told us, so. I was the one <laughs> who told about. talks about the wine. <laughs> <laughs> Very good choice. But the wine is so good. Hello. Yeah. Okay, well, um, um, I I'm afraid that... Uh, no, she's clumsy. It's okay. I will help you with clumsiness. Her clumsiness is the, the least of my worries. Yeah. Um, Messed up. Are you guys going? Of course, I Both suggest it. And he comes with me. He doesn't okay. have a choice. I will go as well. I mean, no ale, no sparring, no fist fighting. Uh, Sir. No offense, this party is boring. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm up for it. Yay! I'm glad We're to hear together. that. Um, no. First adventure. First of all, I, I cannot aid you more, but with the little information I have, and I can also offer you this. I've taken it from the house. 
and he pulls out the satchel. And now, please open the chest, the mystery chest oh, on the. Oh, oh, the <laughs> That's why we, we have the chest. I what? thought it was your notes chest. No, no. We, we can it was the DM's chest. Oh, oh no! no. Like, let's hope it's not the. You look that voice. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Oh, wow. Okay, 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 okay. Nice. Wow, what's that? Hey, that guy's my wife. Qué lindo. Ah, qué lindo. Qué lindo. Qué lindo. Oh, my God. 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 Usually, like, you do this. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. They are it's very cute. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, With the biggest I am sorpresa. We, we will wow. put in uh, a, a link here for uh, our friends at uh, Rolling Hill Scraps. They made these very cute oh, potions. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have a display here with them. You just open them and pour them in, and that's your, your help. Holy hell. Oh, and they're tiny oh, dice. Exactly. They're tiny dice in dice. tiny bottles. Like the ones I use, I only use tiny dice. Oh, uh, no, no, they're not tiny dice. Anyway, getting back to it, yep. uh, he yep. hands you a satchel of health potions and he says, uh, These are for the unfortunate events that you might run into trouble. I do not know what this woman is planning, but I fear it so. I can get you out of the wedding when the cake is going to arrive. I decide when that is happening. Make it okay. get the cake to go. I will. What is a cake? You do realize, miss, that I have to roll in the cake as a distraction in order to get you out. But you have to spend cake in the kitchen. It's okay. I have some chocolate instead. You you look like you might need it. Yes, I love the chocolate. And I give you a small piece of chocolate. But and if you could keep us some cake I will... when we return. Mm, I will keep you cake. Thank I will you. bake you another and cake. And some good alcohol, my you man. You have to understand that and some good, whatever you want, I'm sure Lord Watson will reward you kingly for this uncovering of his, of the takeover on his life. Now, can I count on you to gather your belongings from the carriage and... Yes. Yes, you, oh, can. Yeah. you can count. One, it's two, three, time. four, five. Count. Here's, here's a piece of chocolate. Ah, thank you. Well, should I announce the rolling in of the cakes. Sh should I bring it in? People will be distracted by that and they will not know, since they do not know you, they won't notice you being gone for a couple of hours. Okay. Of course. Okay. Also, be honest with me. Is it really just wine you have here? Come on, come on. Just do you bring me the good stuff. Do you I don't think that's water. important, right? Maybe, okay, maybe yeah, Podron sure. can make you some more of that herbal... My best friend. Beer. Her, her <laughs> beer. <laughs> and just uh, 30 seconds. So each of you get two temporary hit points because you've eaten the chocolate. Oh, as part of yeah. uh, my uh, so chef's cute. feet. Oh, nice. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. I'm watching my silhouette so I can't. Oh, I'm, I'm all out of chocolates. <laughs> I didn't oh, want to make way. So, uh, do you agree to go on uh, to go yeah. on with Borgas? Yeah. 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 Yes, okay. So, uh, as you just discussed, uh, like he tells you about the plan to roll in the cake, get, gathers everyone's attention, and uh, you sneaking out. Uh, he tells you that in five minutes this is going to happen and uh, that he is going to, to uh, send in a servant to let you know that the cake is in, which is the code for uh, you uh, escaping. And um, of course that, that does happen and you see that everyone stands up and gathers around the center as Beauregard flanked by two servants who are actually pushing the cake bring out a very very beautifully decorated cake that is on three layers with a white uh, uh, crust and whipped cream and uh, also uh, red uh, strawberry jam and everyone is applauding and looking at it and, and awing and uh, you see that uh, both Peregrine and Kelora uh, walk out and uh, start talking to the people and uh, uh, proceed with cutting the cake. Meanwhile, the servant that actually has spilled the wine on yourself, Bernie, walks into you and tells you that the cake is served and uh, uh, he does a wink and he goes away, prompting all of you to sneak out the gate, which is clearly unattended, go to the carriage 
get your belongings and uh, follow the directions that lead into a thicket of forest. Why are all of you crouching? Are you imitating me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. No. You pressed. As you look at it, it just seems like a, a path to the forest, and um, it, it, it like um, uh, Borgar did tell you that it's about two or three kilometers away, but he was not very uh, sure of the directions, and um, uh, without seeing anything that is suspicious in any way. Um, the party continues going down the trail of the forest, and uh, who is leading the, the group? Oh, was that a treat? <laughs> <laughs> I think there are owls in this forest. Yes, uh, probably I shall. Okay, I'm, I'm accustomed with wilderness, I'll just go uh, to the rest of you as well. Can I, can I go next to you? Yes, yeah. I, I also want the... Okay, I want the dude. Guys. Who yeah. is fourth? I'm the last. Yeah. Okay. But we can like walk next guy. to each other. Yeah. Sure. I mean, yeah. That, that the trail is pretty small, but um, Ber uh, Bernie will confidently uh, step foot in the forest and go forward. And um, also, he's as, leading us. Yeah. Where is leading you? And uh, as mm -hmm. you you walk a few steps, you suddenly see Bernie tripping, falling <laughs> off the ground. And oh, no. as you are looking as to as to what tripped you. You see a vine slowly grasping oh, at your foot. No. And we will be back after no. the break. Oh, no.
and welcome back. Last time we left off our heroes, um, they were attending the wedding of Lord Peregrine Watson and Kelola Queen. And uh, they have made acquaintances with uh, the lovely uh, couple to be and um, they noticed that something is a bit odd about uh, the people's infatuation with uh, Kelola, even maybe Lord Peregrine's uh, love for her. So they started investigating and uh, also uh, everyone has uh, drank some uh, copious amounts of wine uh, that was provided by uh, uh, Kelola's winery. But among this... Uh, Muchas gracias, Kelola. <laughs> this, uh, the, the wine is sponsored by <laughs> Kelola, totally uh, a nice person. Um, but uh, Beauregard, the majordomo of uh, Lord Peregrine, who has uh, taken care of him since he was a kid, uh, has approached the party, them being uh, uh, some strangers to these lands, uh, and uh, came up with a very risky proposition. Um, he... Whiskey? Whiskey, whiskey proposition? Whiskey. No, no, wine. Whiny proposition. He whined, whiny. okay? Whiny. Let's yes. do it. He whined about the fact that um, he does not believe in the fact that uh, Lord Peregrine is actually in love with this woman and that there might be some sort of charm it's a shame. at work. Yes, exactly. And um, he uh, proposed to send a party uh, to Kelola's winery as everyone is distracted naturally with the wedding uh, and they should investigate uh, and see if they can find any kind of proof for his claim that he's very sure of. As a distraction, uh, he rolled out the cake, everyone was um, paying attention to that and, and uh, the party managed to escape the wedding without being seen and headed towards the forest. As they were being led by uh, Mr. Bernie Rusk, the resident barbarian of the campaign, suddenly tripped. And as he was looking at his feet, he noticed that around one of his foot, there was a vine that was encircling his foot slowly. And this is where we will continue from. Um. Fine, no. <laughs> um, well, as soon as that happened, um, I guess I'll probably just want to pull my leg out. Okay, yeah. Um, roll an athletics check. Can I go help him? Like, just uh, to pull the yeah, line? Yeah, you can do so with advantage. Oh, because I was next to him. If uh, Nisa helps. Yeah. Yes. Are you going to sneeze? <laughs> Ooh, bad roll. Oh my yes. god! Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And then I tried to pull it. Oh, I thought no. it was two ones. <laughs> no, no, no. Close. <laughs> one, uh, one was a one. But uh, and the two was a two. <laughs> Total, yeah, it's right. 30. Oh. Okay. So, uh, Bernie starts uh, pulling at the, the vine is circling his leg and Nisa is uh, there to, to help him also uh, breaking free. And uh, with a bit of effort, quite some effort, you manage to slowly, slowly uh, detach the vine that has attached to uh, okay. to uh, Bernie's leg. Um, All right, this, as you uh, hold it in your hand, you see that it's slowly twitching. Uh, hit it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'll just... Um, careful, guys! These uh, seem to be very twisty, twisting. Uh, Vines, tangly. Uh, so uh, I don't know much about uh, these roots. So if you can, are you still holding it? Is it? I'm imagining. It's uh, like imagine a snake, but very slow. Keep okay. that away from me. Okay. I can just chop down every tree we so, see in the path. If you no, want. Uh, no. Now roll me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not an effect you can see. <laughs> it's not. No, it's not. Spores. You're gonna die. Uh, uh, why are you so happy about this? <laughs> I oh, am in no dirty 20. Okay. You're not gonna die. So <laughs> you suddenly feel a sting in your hand and you let it go. And as you let go of the thing, you see that uh, as it lands on the ground and wiggles a bit, you see that it has spontaneously grown a few spines along its surface. You, Vodron, would recognize as being the same type of spine that uh, you've seen oddly on a bush that was in the uh, the garden uh, in which uh, Kelona and Peregrine were having their uh, uh, little garden party to welcome everyone. Oh, I've seen this before. 
can uh, can I take a minute? Just just I want to check it. Of course. Uh, just uh, watch out. It grows uh, spines. Oh yes, I've noticed. So yeah, it's a little prick. It's, <laughs> shit if you ask me, but. it's a bushy situation. Yes. I would like to use my um, alchemist supplies to investigate. And if investigation is the role with alchemist supplies, no? No. In this case, it would be uh, a, an intelligence role with your proficiency added. Okay. It's going to be an alchemist supplies check. So, um,. What I uh, want to check for are any chemicals. So mm -hmm. in the, um, uh, the description of alchemist supplies for investigation is when you inspect an area for clues, proficiency with alchemist supplies grants additional insight into any chemicals or other substances that might have been in the area, if any. Okay, good. Let's, uh, uh, you, you can make the roll and I'm gonna take uh, that into consideration, okay? Okay, great. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. So, very carefully, using one of your tools, you you cut open into the uh, sap uh, of the of the twitching uh, vine. Also, it's a bit difficult to do so because it's still moving. And uh, as you do so, you see that um, dark grayish liquid uh, f uh, starts uh, seeping from it, and uh, okay. it's weird as far as uh, sap goes because it's not a normal uh, color, and also. The smell is a bit weird. It, it smells like something a bit uh, artificial. Um, while you do not recognize the substance, uh, it, you, get, you get the feeling that it might be uh, produced by uh, some sort of chemistry that is unorganic. Is there enough sap to take a small vial? Not really, no. Um, like a few drops, at okay. best. That's some sad sap. Oh, I know a piece of paper, and I soak it in it, and I put it away. Yes, that that can you can add that to your inventory. Yep. You feel like so moving onwards, we'll make sure we don't step on any weird branches, yes, but why things, did it, twigs. Where did it come from? What if it came from the ground? Did, did we see where it come from? It looks to be some sort of uh, root in the ground. Yeah. Then. Uh, we need to watch our steps, guys. And you know what? I don't know what's happening in front of me. Why are you looking at me? I'm sitting in the line. In my ears, as he hunted. Yes, I think we should. Use our eyes. Yes. I'm quite clever. Actually thinking if uh, you maybe could uh, burn every... Um, twig branch thingy in our path. They do, might get upset. Do you want me to burn the things because I have my matches right here, you guys? Do we have any alcohol? And I don't want to to brag about it. it's a weird brag, but I'm a bit of pyromania. Please don't burn out the forest. <laughs> I'll give you this one is thousand what, gold. This is why I also want not to burn the forest, but he keeps on insisting. I'll give you one this thousand gold. This forest is bad. Burn it. <clears throat> maybe not the whole forest. Maybe not all forest is bad. Um, you have leaves on your uh, cape. Uh, they're not actual leaves. And you said you're like... Uh, They're not actual leaves because I'm allergic to, usually. Nature. So, right? <laughs> yeah, but I still love nature. Mm. I'm trying to get myself cured, okay? Don't judge. So you're a druid allergic to the nature. I was born like this. How fortunate. <laughs> uh, she didn't say what class she was. Yeah. I think I did. Uh, yeah, when I... Said you're kind of like our shamans, but it's yeah. just when she said what she was doing in the farmhouse farm, yes. with the parents. But um, mm. well, I'm out of ideas. I will just move onwards, and whatever comes comes. Okay, but let's try to be careful. And you guys don't want me to hack at the forest, not not burn it. So it's not uh, but not that impossible. I mean, there's a trail. No, that is, it's not, it's a bit overgrown, but it's definitely not 
you're hiking through a wall of vegetation. Ah. Um, mm. Also, you do realize that uh, hacking your way through three kilometers of vegetation <laughs> would have a very high toll on your uh, exhaustion. Well, um, shall we? Oh, you like playing with fire, miss, I see. But, no, uh, it's just practicing. You, you can save it for later for what maybe we need to have sure. maybe <laughs> or use a torch maybe the vineyard is dark yes like you i'm red <laughs> in brass i was talking about your inside but sure i you don't know my inside do you want me to I'm not interested in this kind of proposition, but uh, you can check his insides. I already know his insides. We talk a lot. <laughs> what, what did you think that I meant? Mient. 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 Okay. Okay. Okay, let's move. We don't have yeah. much time before somebody realizes that we're gone. Let's go. Okay, so. You can continue going down the trail uh, as uh, per the instructions of Borigard. And, and you are just uh, walking and you do see that this trail is maybe sometimes being passed through, but it's definitely not a well-traveled uh, route, mm -hmm. which is... A, actually, everyone roll me an investigation check. Yes. <laughs> Said the artificer who rolled very high on his... I rolled a total of nine, but very bad on his actual roll. Yes, I rolled an eight. A fifteen, no, quinceanera. Eleven. Eight. I'm not good at investigating. So fifteen is our highest. Quince. Oh my god. Okay. So, you notice that it's very unlikely that, given the fact that at how much. Uh, alcohol was produced as the actual vineyard that it the trail would be so sparsely traveled so there's something amiss here it definitely does not either either it does not match the the fact that they're exporting wine from here or maybe there's another path to which they're doing it but according to Beauregard he this was the only way he knew of you know guys what I find is very weird and crazy is that what? this supposed to be a big vineyard to be sell all over the world and get all the people drunk and the parties but it's only a, such a small trail to produce so much wine is it weird maybe they do not produce it here or the the is some sort of a trickery or mystery or some sort of a taka 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 you know like a how do you call it a device that flies from here Oh, I was thinking maybe they have something underground. Or that as well. But flying, I haven't seen anything flying. As you are discussing this. I mean flying. That's, uh, what's your passive perception? Uh, 15. Nisa, okay. You see, okay. So as you are discussing uh, flying specifically, you hear a sound that goes like... <laughs> A branch moving and some flappings of wings being heard going away from you. As you look in that direction, you see nothing. A butterfly. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> is this the love? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's the love and that's the love. It's on the wall. Yeah. This was on the branch. <sighs> we got our Viva. So we are being watched. <laughs> Mother. Maybe ravens? I don't know. Most likely. Maybe the lady likes ravens and blood and maybe buy the two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I've tasted blood in combat before. It's not like this. It doesn't taste like this. Okay, maybe. Just yes. gather around. We need to be quieter. And I think I have just a thing. All right. <laughs> These two I, are very loud. I and, think uh, he's too He likes. To <laughs> Even when you're quiet. Yes. Um. 
and I would like to... Okay, let's hold hands because that's the way we do it, and I would like to cast uh, cast uh, Pass Without Trace. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. As We're you... not holding the hands or We're what? We're holding the hands, yes. Uh, I cast Burning Hand. <laughs> I'm joking! <laughs> I'm joking! <laughs> I'm joking! Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a tiny. Who needs to to have a combat anyway when? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. When we have ourselves. <laughs> when we have uh, Inhaba with us. Okay. So as you cast Path Without Trace, uh, you see and you look at your skin that starts becoming barky in uh, in looks, and even though it does not change your, uh, it, you don't change your texture on it, you do seem to blend in with the nearby environment very very well. So it's a plus ten. It's yes. Yes. The plus ten to spell uh, checks. Yeah. I'm already green. Now, <laughs> you, now you are uh, You're brown. Forest, you green are you are forest green. <laughs> Army green. Okay. It's so. a nice shade. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move. We don't have much time. I don't know how much this little trick of mine can hold. Okay. Okay. Actually, it's an hour. <laughs> what? It's an hour? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> About an hour later, <laughs> one exactly one hour and one second later. No, so you you, you continue your trek to the woods, and um, as you go on and on, you slowly notice that it's harder and harder to navigate, and not because of the thickets being becoming thicker, which is also a problem, but uh, because of the fact that uh, looking up, you see like uh, the the top of the trees. As you continue going on, they close up, and there's fewer and fewer light passing through the canopy of the, the forest. I would like uh, Nisa to roll me a nature check. I really don't like this type of nature. I prefer mine sunny. I can bring this on. The arson. Uh, it's a 14. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good one. Yeah, yeah. One in, once in a blue moon. Yeah. Okay, so uh, it's not readily apparent, but you do have dark vision, right? Yes. Okay, because of your dark vision and your familiarity with nature, you notice the fact that the trees. Uh, they're not really getting uh, thicker, they're, the canopy is not uh, darkening because of the fact that the trees are getting bigger or have more leaves. The trees have slowly bent around the path and they are covering the sky as you go on. They appear to be twisted and modifying the canopy so as, though, as though they wanted to block out the sun. You are in dim light right now and as you look more into the forest, we do not notice to have any kind of uh, of light source proceeding forward. Uh, uh, now is the time. Yeah, I think now is the. I think there's something weird <laughs> with the tree. And I cast. Mama. I cast control flames. I really hope you cast control flames. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's an Can you also flame. cast shape water on that? So <laughs> it's okay. But you're fire resistant. Yes. <laughs> okay. I will test it on the left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I cast control flame, so everybody has a bit of uh, light in flux. You do realize okay, the fact that I inside this pretty gloomy shaping forest, uh, you casting your fire gives away your position like that. Uh, I mean, it would totally nullify the effects of. of uh, uh, pass without trace. Not only that, it would make you very easily spotable. Maybe again we can. The guys who can see in dark can hold hands and guide the rest. <laughs> this is me whispering. Can can anybody else see? Can you all see me? Yeah, no. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I have some rope. I'm gonna tie it around me. Vodron, you do the same. And give it to the wait. You can see. Okay. And I go to each of them and just <laughs> try to tie the rope like around you need them. A, a bigger rope to yeah, engulf me. Yeah, it's fine. So. I think I have. Plenty. I have another one. <laughs> yes, good I think man, I'm gonna need man. it. Okay. You uh, <laughs> Stick 
close. Oh my god, what are we doing? I just wanted to eat some cake. <laughs> and drink more wine. Me too, I miss the Why cake. am I here? <laughs> okay. And we press onwards. Okay. With only me seeing in the I'm dark. I'm guessing you are pressing onwards with a but very, very slow pace. Yeah, yeah. stealth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well. As you are pressing onwards, the, the forest gets totally dark. There is no light source nearby uh, that you can see. You can barely spot some very faint rays of light that uh, can be seen uh, through the canopy. And um, as you look at the, the vegetation and the trees, they appear to be more towards the... Well, actually, you will not, you will not really see this. You do notice, only you, Nissan, you notice that uh, they kind of change a bit their shade. They are a bit more dark. But since dark vision allows you to see in black and white, that's the only thing you can get from, uh, from these details, uh, from their coloration. And it appears like the vegetation get, getting more and more twisted uh, to the point that you actually have a bit of problems navigating, especially to the dark with. Uh, having four people being led by one and trying to to walk uh, on these tickets. We're doing the forest conga. Hmm? We're doing the forest conga. The forest, forest conga, yeah. conga. Conga. <laughs> this place is so shady, you guys. And I don't mean because it's dark, okay? I can't. Where are we going? I can't even see the trail anymore. What do I see? Can I roll a perception? You may roll a survival with disadvantage. Disadvantage. Yes. Do we really care a lot about our position? I don't care. <laughs> I wasn't talking oh, no. to you, you know. Voice in my head? It's a nine. <laughs> okay, uh, actually you do notice that you can't see the trail going forward, nor can you see it going backwards. Oh, no. We are the lost. Season 4, episode 2. <laughs> Guys, what do we do? I think we've been enclosed by every damn bush in this forest. <laughs> we, we go straight ahead, of course. Okay, do you want to take the lead? Yes. Do you? Yes. Can you see it? No. Okay. But I can smell. You I smell mean... a lot. I know. <laughs> what do we do? He smells very bad. I have no idea. I've never that been is in this situation. <laughs> Do we? we are... <laughs> I'm too young for this shit. We uh, go slowly. I... Usually, the shamans in my tribe they can uh, speak with uh, eagles and seals. I don't and see so... any animals here. Uh, you haven't seen any? No. Do I see any animals? Actually, it's really, really quiet. Oh, it's I can't even hear a cricket. unnervingly quiet. You cannot even hear anything other than a, a, maybe an animal like way up in the distance. But around you, it's gotten very quiet. I There's no uh, rustling of leaves, maybe like a, from a squirrel or a, a small bird. I have two propositions. The first one is to burn everything and go. Uh, in our uh, adventure forward. The second one is go back and have the cake. Go back where? There's no trail back. I don't know how to get back. Uh, I'm straight out panicking. Uh, <laughs> do you need a <laughs> handkerchief? No, I already have my handkerchief. Uh, do you need a Vodrun hug? The hug from Vodrun? A kiss from Vodrum. I need to see the sky again, <laughs> so I don't feel so cooped up. What are we cook. doing? No, don't cook. That's not what I said. Okay. I'm not being cooked. Well, I say we... As you linger on for a bit, discuss <laughs> strategies. You do notice that uh, as you try to move and like, maybe shift positions, Slowly, the vegetation around your feet is grow. It's starting to grapple you and to go around. Ah. All right, Something's that's it. Should, I, I'm I'm grabbing my uh, great axe and start chopping at the things. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's you can even pull away from them with a bit of strength. It's not a, even a check required. Yeah. You just see that slowly they are just gathering and and starting to to grow on you and uh, starting to strangle you. I slowly just approaching uh, from all directions, trying to hack as much as the things I can. Let's yeah, it's you can definitely keep them in this manner at bay. Let's. Uh, sit uh, all to the back of each other like a flower. Okay. And as I'm there hacking, I'm like, uh, I know I don't know much, Just but I know that they don't like fire, so Missy! Uh, can I have the thingy now? Try not to burn us, yes. <laughs> I take out my daggers and just try to... Uh, I don't like this. I, I'm, I'd suggest also like... Uh, well... And they're trying to pull out of grapple and such, uh, like as we're hacking and such, to also move forward. So we're hacking and moving at the same time, trying to. So you're switching positions. That's what they are telling me. Um, you want to advance, but we're sitting like with the backs against uh, one another. So we're creating sort of a circle. Oh. Hey. Oh yeah, we were doing that actually. I yeah. wouldn't uh, suggest fire on vegetation that surrounds us. I would suggest acid. Do well, you want me it's to a do? bit damp, to be to be honest. It's a bit okay. damp. A fire would probably not ignite this forest like that. It's okay. It should really require that the forest is kind of uh, dry so that the fire yeah, might yeah. actually pose the risk of uh, of massive uh, fire. Do you have any uh, acid? Of course. Of course, Vodron has acid. Do you want me to help? Yes. So I get a bit angry and I start puffing smoke out of my nose and I open my mouth and I start spitting a bit of fire at the beginning and then it starts turning to acid. So I'm going to use a meta magic option to uh, um, uh, turn the, uh, the fire into um, acid damage. And fire granted by what exactly? By a dragon breath. Okay, so you cast dragon breath on yes. yourself and use meta magic on exactly. it so that you turn it to acid. Yes. Okay, so. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, it's by touch, so I touch I'm... myself. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, no. oh no. <laughs> The dragon breath. Okay, the dragon breath. <laughs> so, um, You've been waiting all session to say that. Uh, no, <laughs> you don't know my dreams and goals. <laughs> okay, so Inhaba starts uh, spitting acid, that uh, spitting fire that uh, clo- uh, very soon after the fire is let out, uh, it immediately turns into acid and uh, it gets sprayed all over the, the, veg- the thickets that are uh, surrounding you. And how much does that last? Uh, one minute. Okay, so you make very good progress as you clear up uh, row after row after row of, of dense tickets that get... Acid seems to be a very effective way of cleaning a path in, in this environment and you manage to make good progress going forward, whatever forward means in this case, um, for the entire duration of a minute. Um, who is first? Who is leading you? You are. Okay. Um. Well, I'm guessing uh, if you are right now. Yes, not to burn my colleagues. Okay. I'm just pointing her in the right direction by the shoulders. You got uh, a flame, an acid thrower. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's transmuted dragon breath. I know, I okay, understand. just go up front. <laughs> Save your breath for, for the plants. Please roll me a dexterity saving throw with disadvantage. With disadvantage? Yes, because you do not actually see. But I am her eyes. Block. Mm. It's a six. Okay. So as as you you uh, go forward and have uh, uh, Lisa <laughs> to guide you. What? You're the next one blowing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not talking about balloons anymore. I know. Oh my god. Okay. So uh, as you as uh, you're doing this, suddenly. Uh, you step on on a, a, like a, a bush that you just uh, spit acid on and just dissolving, and you fall face down into the mud in some sort of. Uh, you don't. It's not a very big fall. It's a two foot fall. I know. In some sort of denivelation of. Uh, uh, protuberance. Protuberance in the ground that looks to be French. pretty big. <laughs> oh. It's a crater. <laughs> a crater. <laughs> 
Uh, does it look like a foot? Uh, um, waiting a bit for the acid to finish dissolving what you actually uh, use your dragon breath on slowly it does appear to be a footprint a bit bigger than yourself I found the giant footprint with three toes and it's deep into the ground does it look like a dragon? Uh, it's weirdly missing the, the parts where its claws would be like, you know, a dragon would also have claws on the, the tip of their fingers, and you would know that. Like, a dragon footprint also leaves a deeper mark with the claws. This does not have claws. As you would know that? I mean... <laughs> you don't know that I know that. She has scales on her arms. Yeah. And I uh, breathe the right. draconic fire. Yeah. All right. So, I mean... <laughs> and also, I speak with a draconic accent, if you didn't realize. I don't think so. Every dragon is Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> El dragon. <laughs> El dragon is el card. Okay. Uh, this is what you see. Help! Oh. Ayuda me, you guys! Okay, wait, and I pull her up it's, by the way. No, you can pull, your, you can pull yourself up. Only the fact I don't is that. Want, I want but she's dramatic. dramatic in the boot. Ah, the okay. Mud. But you are dramatic <laughs> and like in the mud, like covered from hand to toe in mud. Uh, uh, who has pretty digitation? Mud is very good. I I start cleaning you with my my handkerchief, which is the used slightly, handkerchief. The used handkerchief. <laughs> uh, oh, it's not disgusting <laughs> at all. Uh, no, it's the other side which I haven't used. Uh, yeah. But mud is very good for the skin, or at least that's what my parents said. I can make a very good soap. In how many hours? He means soup, but it's. it's <laughs> A uh, let's investigate this um, footprint. I have never seen something like that. It looks like a giant. <coughs> At a this giant. point, do we have a uh, light source? Because oh. you never claimed to have a light source. Giant. Thank you. Okay. Yes, a giant. I mean... This this looks like a huge footprint. Come come take a look. I think his hand. It... Can you feel it? I... Do, do you see it has like three? Try to look. Very such. Don't look. Try to look. Very feel around the edges. It has three. How many? How many thing? How many toes do giants have? Uh, depends. Yes. Is it the giant chicken, the giant uh, lizard, um, the giant what? Would I oh, be able? I don't know to. Uh, being giant. blind, you would have zero chance yeah. of yeah, figuring out what this why, is. Uh, it's not, there isn't gonna even be a check for this. Yeah, no. but I, I can, can I roll a nature check? We, yes. We can. I can. Turn on matches and uh, do the controlling of the flames with control flames, and uh, we yes. can have the vision. All of that. It's just you 13. would have vision like that. It's hmm? just thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, I wouldn't. Do you also attempt with like lighting up a fire and uh, attempting to figure out what this is, having I'm a light source? Not fire, but then some matches and controlling the flames. Well, yeah, it's still it's still with, fire. Mm. It's just a little, a, a baby. Probably, yeah, just a fire to yeah, see the, the fire shape you know. and the... Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so just a little fire. Just a little fire. Okay, in that case, everyone who wants to investigate having a little fire would have this advantage in okay. rolling this nature check. And uh, it's nature? Yeah. Okay. Uh, being proficient with colors, tools, and knowing my oh, way around the feet. Ah, no, because this is clearly not a foot that would wear a shoe. I appreciate that. Uh, it was better. I see what you did there, I'm but, not uh, a bad blow. Okay. It's a 12. Same. It's a 1. With disadvantage. Yeah. No, but you want it. But. So mine's, mine's the biggest? 12. I have a 13. Okay. 12 squad, okay. So, uh, <laughs> like, among yourselves, you discuss this and you, you gain the following insight about what this might be. First of all, what's weird is that you discover it's only one footprint. There isn't a second one. You do search around, especially you that can see further, there's one footprint. Second of all, uh, looking at it in detail, you notice that it's not really uniform, like uh, it looks almost dug out by something. And there's also some dirt nearby. That's a bit... <gasps> like scooped? Yeah. Maybe someone make the earth move with using the magic. You do not know, however, what kind of species this might be or what it might belong to. It's 
very, very inconclusive. So you wouldn't even have a hunch. Isn't like a shape terrain, a spell? I have a gardener, Miguel, he does this very well. <laughs> so maybe it's not a footprint after all? Yeah, I mean, what would this creature do? Limping through the forest, you can't see it? I have never seen something like this. There's also Maybe. no uh, fallen trees, broken branches. Yeah, this looks like something big. But it's a it, trap. It, 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 is a, it is a trap. It might be a trap. But you already fell in it and nothing happened. So hey. did we trigger something else? Do you think do, it's a trap? I, I, I don't see anything else. I, I think we should try to move on from this, but... Careful not to fall in it again. From a mind like mine. Do I do I see anything trap. else like in front of it or it's any just, sort of trail? It's just the thickets who seem to be moving slightly. <gasps> a bit more than when you had initially entered the forest. No. I don't like moving forests and there's no breeze in here, so why are they moving? Oh they're they're definitely not moving like in a breeze. No. They're moving as in I don't know, maybe a a, a sea animal. Anemone. Uh, and anemone. 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 Are we sure? Anemone. Uh, we can oh, Google anemone? it. Uh, yeah, also, I think. Uh, the wine, anemone, I think. The wine may not be made of grapes, may be made of people. Just say. <laughs> and ravens. Perhaps. I'm uh, still there. Just I may be paranoid. The... I'm very paranoid. But it may be true. So I'm just hacking at the branches trying to approach us. Okay, but you have to stay like really close to, yeah, really I, close to in the animals. Yeah. Okay, so you continue on from this. Okay. Um. You keep going. Do you still have a fire source with you, or do you do the? I don't think we could do the stealth in way. Uh, yeah. Well, you being. Uh, Stealthy? Yeah, you actually there is a wolf howl that you can hear way up in the I distance. Would, I would like to support. The you. sounds are realistic and fit for this exact wow. thing that we're doing. Wow! Thank you, oh, Serinsky. Yeah. Thank you, Serinsky, Serinsky. for being on point. Yes. And creeping out of the party. For being <laughs> no, wait, so here, wolf. I want to talk for to you. For being on point. Oh. Okay, before. you're falling to another one. <laughs> huh? Okay, Thanks. so, um, so uh, again, are, do you have a light source or not? No, 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 no light. I am the light source. Same uh, order, right? Yeah. Okay. And I would uh, spit, uh, sp spill uh, some acid splash in front of her, in front of Nisa. Just oh, uh, be careful! You're doing this blindly, though. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> but over, over Nisa. Yes. This would but have very likely chances of an accident. Yeah, I w know. when I see him doing that, I just smack him. <laughs> yes, stop it! No, I'd rather you give me the acid because I can actually see where I'm pouring it. You him the acid. Yes. And okay. then we'll deal with the plants. So, uh, please remind me what's the order again. I'm, I know that Nisa is first. Uh, okay. Second. Okay. No. And uh, then uh, I, we have less. Hey, I would like to sit very close to them to study them and okay. always. Uh, but you can't study us because you can't see us. Yeah. Uh, like uh, the behavior. The, the breathing, the sound. Uh, also, I would like to say when you suggest that he gives you the um, poison, the I acid, see. I will say that you have to support your partner. Uh, my mother had to uh, had this very beautiful saying from our language, which is draconic. It sounds beautiful in draconic. It's voy a ser la prija basos bajo tu alas, no quien la echa fuego en la fronta. I hope I didn't butcher it, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, we are not and, and now we ask, what does it mean? And you say, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't speak draconic. <laughs> you have to be, it's beautiful, it's like you have to be the wind in the wings, not the fire in the face. It's a metaphor for support. I think she means uh, partners for, uh, for the wedding. Uh, what wedding? Who's the wedding? No. No. Your, your, your. Like your wedding, maybe, but to support them. You're getting married? 
Oh, you never told me. <laughs> this is such a difficult time. I'm guessing that you're stopping for this conversation, right? No, I mean, having it uh, while you're walking blindly would be very difficult. If, unless you are talking louder. All right. Stop for a little bit. Okay. Now, I, now I'm shut up. Okay, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> yeah, the marching order was you, 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 then I'll be fourth, and yep, then we last. So you're second to last? Yeah. Okay. Good. Keeping us. The muerto place. <laughs> It's the wine. The wine. The raven's blood. The raven's okay. blood has beat me. <laughs> okay. Draven. So. <laughs> <laughs> the raven. Oh, oh no. Uh, <laughs> okay. Watch, watch our uh, main campaign, I serve us to know what that means. <laughs> okay, so uh, you're continuing your trek to the forest and um, it's getting slower and slower even with the Bernie's uh, uh, attempts to clear out things in front. Um, uh, if only if you had, because if you in Haba could maintain the acid breath for a longer period of time, maybe you would have more success. But now it's almost down to a slog, and suddenly a, a shiver goes down Ebenezer's spine, and immediately he feels himself <laughs> pull down. Letting out a scream, and you realize that there are several vines that have uh, wrapped around you and are pulling you down into the ground. Uh, who are you connected to? Uh, uh, was, uh, then in front. Yep. So you are in front, Bernie, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. You suddenly feel yourself get pulled back, and you see Ebenezer like almost, <laughs> almost entirely being pulled down. Can I get a hand yes. and try to He doesn't actually see Ebenezer, because yeah, it's dark. <laughs> oh, you're correct, you just feel the rope being pulled down, you're correct. Uh, but can I down. turn around and see? Uh, wait, 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 you have not even noticed all of this. It's just enough that it pulls Bernie down, he's not very down yet. But and don't I hear him scream? You do hear him scream and maybe start looking behind Damn you, are, vines! you are going through a very right. small corridor of, of, of tickets that can you could can hardly see behind not because of the uh the darkness but because, but because of tickets yeah. coming back bernie uh no sorry uh, ebenezer i would like you to make me a strength saving throw oh, no. you're good at those right? natural <laughs> it's a zero <laughs> okay <laughs> You, you feel that uh, the vines are, 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 grass, are grasping you and are twisting around you and you take six points of bludgeoning damage as you pull down. Bernie, you notice him being down and like uh, after the initial scream he starts uh, I, uh, gurgling as being... Can I try to pull like not because I don't see him but I know he's connected to me by rope so try to pull he's the rope? He either he fell down somewhere, that's, that's clear. Uh, he fell down somewhere. Okay. I mean, you're, well, you're, he's being pulled down. Yeah. And you're also being pulled down slowly yeah. in that direction. You have to act fast if you want to do anything. And you'll be the closest one to actually do something about uh, it. Cut the. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I was, Cut the rope and leave I, him caught the thing was, head. No. And uh, leave it. It's well, amazing. If, if yeah. I'm. Um, <laughs> the main friends, man. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm uh, being dragged as well. I don't know, I'll guess, um, first I'll try to uh, pull on the rope. <laughs> was, was it connected to your neck? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was connected to his belly. Here in the head. Okay, uh, roll me a strength check. Yeah, I'll pull on the rope to pull him back up, because I'm feeling the tension going mm -hmm. down. Okay, uh, a strength check? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, with natural one as well. Oh my god! <laughs> you guys! This okay. is what we like. <laughs> As this is happening, uh, Nisa, in You're front of dead. you, <laughs> you start seeing like more than your dark vision can see. And actually all three of you notice this. You notice... Um, Ten small lights in the distance, grouped two by two. They are a very faint bluish oh glow. Uh, and it's from the directions that you've heard the howls. Uh, 
Are they are, are they're in pairs? Yes. Oh no. What's the distance? It's about eighty to hundred feet. Okay. I don't like this at all. Do you want to do anything? Because we're going to roll back and forth between the two segments of the party being in a line. Oh. Guys, I don't. And think you have to act fast, or else I'm, I'm jumping to the other. Oh my god! There's yeah, nothing I'm time for thinking. Some... Yes. Can I? Uh, oh, oh wait, we still don't have light. No, you do not have light. Okay. Uh, okay. It is a uh, delayed initiative between the two parts of the the line. Uh, how far we are there? There again? Like 120. Okay. 100 I... feet. 80 to 100 feet. That's too far. So I don't see anything. You but... you see the dots, and you hear some so struggling from the back. Okay. Um, can I, so Torn Whip can pull 10 feet. Yes, uh, it can. Can I use Torn Whip on the rope so I can pull everyone 10 feet, mm, the rope with everyone? No, because it would, it would just pull based on your own body weight. So it would be the equivalent of you pulling on the rope in this case. It does not grant you extra strength to pull. Mm. Going back. Ebenezer, please. Can I make a strength check to a saving throw to try it? It's gonna be a strength check to try to break free. Okay. At this point, you will have this advantage. As you oh, are... Oh no, it's a three. You are uh, a five? A three. A three. A three. <laughs> you are about neck deep inside and being pulled down. And uh, you will take... One damage. An additional one point of bludgeoning damage. Okay. As you, you can barely you can feel that the earth is crumbling onto your cheeks and your face, and uh, you're being pulled down and held very tight by something. The DM got right. us drunk. And <laughs> yeah. Put us into this no. situation. <laughs> we have no dark vision. We are only once. Bit. You're only <laughs> once. <laughs> With the dice that the DM provided, and if you look at them, it's only once. <laughs> 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 oh, it, it's us now? Wait, I, I didn't finish. So, as you're being dragged down, uh, you hear a voice in your head that says that, that's quite a conundrum now is it what are you willing to trade for this for you getting out of here is your life worth anything no <laughs> <laughs> my family will give you everything because if I die then can nothing so I don't know you tell me. As this is happening, Bernie will probably pull again on the rope. Um, but at this point, are there vines around me or not? Around you? No, it's only okay. like kind of grasping at your legs. But okay. uh, you do feel that like the rope yeah, is going okay, down okay. and then so almost... Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll also rage. Okay. Oh, but, uh, oh you're oh. mad. You're enraged. At, the, at this point, which you could see, uh, is that like while I'm there struggling, uh, pulling the rope, uh, like my arms just grow a little bit in 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 size, and like they get just slightly a bit uh, darker color with a bit of fur protruding out of, but just just slightly for a brief oh. second, as yeah they they. Uh, Enlarge in size and oh, muscularity no. as I try to pull on the steroids. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's the Stop bed. That. And um, ju just the arm. You see, the but, um, okay. the and it's gonna be it's actually gonna be an athletics. You can Athletic. have an the athletics with advantage of course because of the rage. Uh, yes. Um, where is it? I think it's yeah. Okay. Natural 20! Oh, <laughs> for a total of 26. Oh, sorry, the DC was 30. So, uh, no. Okay, so... <laughs> with, uh, like, Me too. with monstrous strength, Bernie pulls at the rope, and you suddenly get uh, pulled out of the earth, and uh, you hear some vines snapping from around you, and uh, you get pulled uh, next, to, next to him, and you hear the, the same voice in your head. Oh. No, what a shame. Fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Meanwhile, as this was happening in the back, 
Uh, you see another two lights appearing. Can I try something? Please. Uh, I slowly reach for my uh, for my short bow, the... like shivering and then Maybe. quivering. <laughs> Maybe you want one. <laughs> Uh, uh, but it's uh, less hostile. Oh, 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 I'm just getting prepared. Um, Do it now! Who, who's in the... Who seems like... I try to pick the two lines that probably are eyes, no? They look like eyes, all yeah. of them. Yeah, uh, there seems to be, in according to Im Imhaba's opinion, the alpha or something. <laughs> like Imhaba has zero opinion. Probably on. position in the center... You know, I don't know. You may pick the central uh, central pair of eyes. Okay. And cast friends. Let me just explain why that doesn't work. <laughs> wow. It was a cheap shot. Um, what's the range of friends? 100. Oh, uh, no, it's on... Range, range yeah. self. Uh, it's on yourself. So basically, you cast it on yourself, and you would have uh, advantage on charisma checks directed at one creature oh, of your no. choice that is not hostile towards you. Uh, I want but to... take into account, and you, you Haba will know yeah. that once friends uh, is uh, consumed, the creature will know that you try to magically influence it. Yeah. Okay. So would you like to proceed like that? Um, yeah, it's a cantrip. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? Uh, hello there. We are uh, lost. And we need the help because the plants are attacking us. So um, we don't mean you any harm. Uh, As you say all of this, the creatures in the distance, they have no reaction. But... Um, you would again from here from above you another sneaker uh, someone is laughing at me uh, do I, I i hear the snigger yes you do i will cast message on the snigger uh, oh, i have to see the creature no yes okay if I, it's if it's a creature familiar to you you might be able to um within range it says. yeah no you, you actually need like you being blinded completely finger. at the moment yeah. No, you cannot locate creatures with message like that. Okay. You need to be familiar with the creature. Who's if laughing? I if I describe, if, do I see the creature? No, it's far further away than your dark Who vision. is laughing? Come here and show your face. Your stupid laughing face. Do you believe in love? Are you single? <laughs> Are you single? <laughs> <laughs> Another sneaker, and then you hear a pair of tiny wings flapping, and uh, some of the foliage being disturbed. But even you looking in that direction because you're hearing the sounds, you see nothing other than a bit of foliage rustle. I, I try to do something stupid light a match and throw it in the direction of the creature. It's above you, it's definitely above you, so you can do that okay. if you want. Okay, so no. you light up a match yeah. and throw it in that direction. Yeah. The match just hits one of the leaves, falls down the ground and extinguishes. Uh, I tried. Uh, it didn't work, obviously. Uh, we can do it your way. I, I, I don't know what my way is. I don't want to attack them so they can attack us. Uh, what do we do? I don't know what they are. I can't see them. I can only see the eyes. Me too. I can throw my axe at them. Uh, sure. And how would you get it back? Uh. Uh, you can... Um, do you think it's animals or uh, creatures with intelligence? I wouldn't uh, realize what they are, right? I couldn't tell the, from, the, creatures from in the front? eyes. Yes. No. And they're more than 60 feet away. They are about 80 to 100 feet away. Um, you can try approaching if you want. Don't you know <laughs> how to be friends with animals? Yes, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a minute. Uh, I will just 
Okay, deep trap them. I'll, I'll put myself on the ground and try to just calm myself with the, with the palms on 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 the earth. And it's a bit scratchy. So it, really, there's a lot of vegetation nearby. Yeah, I know, but I'm used to it. Uh, and I cast uh, speak with animals mm-hmm. and just try to listen to well the sounds of nature that I can't really find any rustling or but just trying to to focus mm-hmm. on. Uh, the memory, and then I just try to. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that, that happens. Uh. Um, and then I'm trying to slow. I'm I'm putting my bow back just so I don't appear menacing, and I'm trying to approach slowly and just say, "Okay, we're." kind of lost we mean you no harm uh i don't know if you can understand me i hope you can hi i'm nissa okay as you approach closer um you're dragging the whole Slightly party behind you closer yeah so uh, within uh, do you approach uh, uh, close enough that they start uh, appearing in your dark vision uh yeah i think i have 60 60 feet yeah that would be yeah, the range yeah, like okay as you approach them uh and you start seeing that location roll me a perception check and if she rolls i have a question um when the we hear the wolf howl they i imagine that they go like this and they close their eyes and they do like Ooh, do no. the do one set of eyes uh, <laughs> disappear from the vision no no they do not they actually appear pretty motionless even now you heard that the eyes did not move in any way not up not left or right i tell you guys my observation they might be not real so your uh, perception check and i also cast guidance on myself that didn't work it's only a 10. okay it's a tentative. It's a tentative. As you approach a bit closer, you um, notice that there appear to be uh, very barky in... Uh... Ha, now I see ah! barky. That <laughs> 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 was not intentional, to be honest. See? They, they, look, they, they seem to have uh, a te- the texture of bark on them. And this is not better. <laughs> no, they appear to be uh, wooden and made out of different types of roots and maybe pieces of wicker and leaves. And they look to be um, a wooden. some sort of... Sorry? A wooden. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they, they appear to be made out of... Um, they are shaped kind of like wolves or big dogs, but they, appear, uh, they do not really move and uh, they don't have a natural look to them. Okay, so they don't respond. It, um, they can't even move. It's like if Pinocchio and the big bad wolf had a baby. <laughs> That's not a bit image. <laughs> yeah, at least one of them had wood. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> Please lay more. Okay, so speak with animals was for not thing i don't think they're real guys i still can't see a thing i mean i can see the eyes yeah, but they, don't they do not really provide enough light so that you yeah. can see the only she can do you you're blind do you think if we move uh, past them without harming them they will leave us alone i'm not sure we can try going around but at this point i'm not sure if they're just a decoy or it's a trap it's a detoy it's a detoy yes it's a detoy so what do you do Uh, we should move on (coughs) yes maybe prepare like an action I'll uh, cast guidance on myself, just in case I need it. Okay, you can barely find your stuff in the dark. <laughs> yeah. I'll cast okay. uh, great axe. It, it, does, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it does last for uh, one, one minute, minute, I think. Okay. So, do you head towards the, this direction of... Uh... Uh, I'm gonna try to stir them, like, around... Is there any way to go around them? or? Just... At this point, there is no path that you're following. Yeah, so then I can go through other shrubs just to avoid them. Yes, 
Yes. Okay. Okay. So you very uh, uh, difficultly make your way, uh, like avoiding them, and you do notice that there is no uh, reaction from um, uh, from them as you move around. They do not turn towards you. They do not do anything. As you also approach, you uh, again you confirm that they are kind of shaped like that, and there's roots and the vegetation that's shaped like that, and nothing else. And uh, after a bit of time, you see that slowly uh, the lights from their eyes like phew, disappear into the darkness. Okay. I like how we work as a team. Yeah, me seeing and the rest of you <laughs> dragging <laughs> behind. <laughs> I was not sarcastic, but okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think I'm a bit stressed. You hear a voice in your head. Oh, Ooh, I, are you sure you're out of the woods? <laughs> oh, wait. My, my, the voices in my head sound a little bit differently. It's definitely a voice you have not really heard. What did you say? Nothing. No, not you. I heard oh. something in my head and I can't... Oh, you heard it too. Oh, yeah. What? It made me an offer. Um, something about my life. One that you can't refuse? Yes. And I usually make deals, so it was really strange. Yeah. Can you repeat? It, it, it said, uh, oh, do, 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 you, do you think you're out of the woods yet? No, we're definitely inside the woods still. I mean, take a look around you. Who am I talking to? Wait. Are you an animal? Not to be judgy, I'm just curious because, you know, I made the whole ritual and stuff and these were just... I, I was barking up the wrong trees, apparently. I am the great warden of the forest and... Hi, warden! Is that your first name or your last name? Um... So some, so sh show some respect! I'm sorry, I don't mean to be disrespectful. Druids hold nature in the utmost respect. I promise, I love nature, even though I'm allergic to most of it. <laughs> uh, ask him if he m wants to find the love. Do you... Do you why? What? <laughs> uh, if he has love in his life. I, the, the, the lady behind me asks if you have love in your life, but I don't know how this is relevant. Young lady, respect me when you talk to me. I, I, I'm Stop! Sorry. Look at the branch in front of you. <laughs> there is a... Fallen brown branch on the in front of you. Oh, 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 what do I see? It's a branch that appears to have fallen. <laughs> Just a branch? Yes, yeah. yes, there's a branch uh, sitting on some uh, overgrown grass in front of you. It's the Romanian branch. Yeah. <laughs> Crack. That is my holy manifestation. Pick me up. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no. Don't drop me. I, 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 Are you sure you have me? Are you making fun of me? Make a constitution saving throw. Oh, oh no. no! What did you do? <laughs> Guess I'll die. <laughs> it's the file. I will be stuck like this forever. <laughs> um, I will cast on myself. What do you think of him? No, you cannot guide, guide you, yourself. I cannot guide myself, okay. No, what do you it doesn't work like this, nor could you have done it for this. That's yeah. resistance. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, it's an 11. Okay. No. Uh, He's not Kartan. <laughs> okay. So, oh, no. you immediately f feel a very sharp pain in your left hand. That no, is like burning, like you immediately drop the, the branch you're holding and grab onto your uh, to your hand and like you you can't even scream at how uh, how much of a pain you feel right now. You will take five points of piercing damage and twelve points of poison. What? Bye bye the chocolate. The poison. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, and all of you. How many? Uh, five and twelve, and that's seventeen. Eight. Seventeen. Yeah. Okay. And all of you around, you just see this, and we for don't you see. We don't see. Ah, yeah, okay. You. you don't <laughs> see. You don't. You you can roll a perception with disadvantage. All of us. No. Her. 
TPK, TPK, TPK. Perception. That's a twelve. Okay, you do I not manage to, <laughs> to catch any glimpse of what happened, apart from the fact that you have a big sting hole in your hand, and uh, you see that there's uh, there's some uh, green pus uh, coming out of it, and your whole hand is numb and it hurts like hell, and you can barely get yourself to speak after this, and then you hear all of you at this point, you hear la laughter in, in your head. Yeah, I told you not to drop it. <laughs> Can I message back this voice? No, it's you. Just all of you do hear it in your head. Drop what? The branch I of did. the of the holy warden of the forest. <laughs> uh, I see no branch. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, me. I kind of blind. Do you think this is a good idea? Going blind to the forest? <laughs> yeah. They were completely blind. Uh, I was I... doing my best. Oh, not doing your best holding on to the branch now, did you? Uh, well, you hurt me. No, you hurt me. How you did dropped I hurt me. You? Oh, no. Well, of course I dropped you. You stung me. What was I supposed to do? Not drop me. I specifically well, I requested hurt you it. In any way. Now don't be so sour, I'm just playing with you. I'm not sour, I'm, sh I'm actually pretty sweet. And you see a poof, and on a branch that is pretty high up, you see this little creature that seems pretty blackish, and uh, it has a pair of frayed wings that resemble that of a bat, uh, a very tiny head with a long nose and some ears, and uh, at its end, like swinging left and right, there is the tail of a scorpion. It's a name? I mean, would you? Uh, you can roll a nature check if you want. You don't but, see uh, it. Yeah, with the oh see. yeah. <laughs> uh, it was supposed to happen something because I don't see anything. You hear uh, Nisa just it's a yelling 15. in pain. Yes. Everyone keeps okay. yelling all the time. I don't see anything. So it looks like some sort of demonic creature. Well, this little demon actually hurt me. I'm bleeding. I'll hurt You're, him, but I'm bleeding show me where. Stuff. <laughs> so you, you can only deduce the fact that it kind of has characteristics of something demonic. You do not manage to pinpoint the species per se. It's definitely evil. Oh no, you're definitely evil. No, I'm not. From my point of view. Mr. And you re as it speaks, you recognize it's the same voice yeah, you've heard like all of you. Uh, Mr. Demonic Singh. Uh, yes, Mr. Non-Demonic okay, thing. Yeah, I got a proposition for you. Oh! If this soul goes well. Uh, the soul? Did you just say soul? Yes. How would you soul. like, how would you like, like to I come like and it. work for me? <laughs> Doing oh. some things you're good at. Making people, you know, no, not have. feel so good. <laughs> you have... You had my curiosity. Now you have my attention. <laughs> Someone please light up a, a, a torch or something so that I can you can see me when I'm speaking to you. We don't have a torch. Eh. You do have torches. All of you have torches. Oh, in your yeah. Stomach. Okay. Wait. And she has. What if it's a trap? Oh, yeah. I think. Oh, I would never trap you. Oops. You already wounded me. <laughs> You see the, the, the little thing laughing and going uh, on its back and uh, it's grabbing onto the tree with the tail and it does like a swing and it comes f uh, comes back in its sitting position on the branch. I don't trust... I, I don't trust that thing. Me or the branch? Nothing in this forest. No, not even the branch? Except for the... Branch. Are you suspicious of branches? I'm suspicious of everything at this point. Oh, it's hurt so much. I love him. <laughs> Well, so you do you actually turn him. on a light? Mm. I would like to check uh, to uh, no. something inside. Uh, uh, me too. Inside? Uh, did you turn on a light? No, not yet. Uh, inside I, on his voice is... No, nah, it just I, seems like it's uh, giggly and uh, it's clearly making fun of all everything, but you just inciting a random voice that you hear, don't know what it is. Nah, it will not work. Hmm. Only I can incite. Uh, with disadvantage. Since Excellent. this creature, while barely having human features, you it's, can't, I can't really nah, tell. it's very hard to read anything on it. 
Well, it's a uh, 13. Okay, you can only... I can only tell you what you see it doing, and it's it's a uh, it looks pretty in, in a very good disposition, and it's on the branch, and its uh, feet are swinging back and forth, and uh, his tail is waggling. Why it seems amused and entertained. Why don't you make the lights? No, I, I said it first. Uh, yeah, but we're not powerful to make the light. We don't know how. We're blind. We're scared. It's so dark in here. Yes, you seem to be all knowledgeable. Why don't you guide us? Why don't us? you cut the crap I've seen you creating light before? Come on. Uh, we're out of spell slot. Okay, well, that that's your problem, <laughs> I guess. So, oh, about that offer. Yeah, so, you'll have to scare people, you'll have to manage them. Oh, what do you think I'm doing right now? <laughs> yeah, but not us now. Not, not Why us. not no, you? No, no, no. Now you can first us. It's okay. I am. When I employ you, <laughs> you'll have to do it to others. For the money. For the money. For souls. For you the can money sacrifice influence. family. I can give you them souls. You would pledge your family souls to me? Yeah. How I hate a lot of them. Oh, okay, how would you enforce that? <laughs> Give me a knife. I don't have a knife. Then when transform into a knife. Yeah, transform into a knife. Uh, that's not how it works. What do you want to do? Give you my blood. Oh, I can take that. May I? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm six years old. What the fuck? <laughs> you hear some flapping. You do see the, the thing like a like an arrow flying down and grabbing onto Ebenezer's hand. You no, see that with, with a claw, it huh? starts staring into your the, the palm of, and and, and uh, you're next to him. Catch him. And, and uh, he would not be uncatchable at this point. Uh, and plus, again, I don't catch see you. Catch him. You could. You could. You could. Do that if you wanted to, mm. easily. I still don't see it. It's a strength check, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. You can uh, gel for I would, I would allow you, in this case, to use acrobatics if you want, or no, actually sleight of hand instead of strength if you wish, because <laughs> sure. this creature does not appear to be very powerful. Oh, uh, advantage is advantage. Normal. A uh, normal, just okay. normal. It's gonna be a contest. Come on, baby. Oh shit! Uh, oh. Uh, what? What's that? I will help. Uh, it's a twenty-three. Twenty-three. Oh. But not like you know, trying to. I really want to make a deal <laughs> with this devil. <laughs> so just grab him by the scruff of his neck. But not <laughs> tightly. Okay. So, yeah. sure. so I, I, as you try to grab him. He uh, moves away, but he flies into your other hand, and you do manage to grab onto the scruff of his neck. Now, I don't try to harm you. And he immediately goes limp, and you see Sorry. Uh, that that's happening. I will sting you. I not, again, I will sting you. I that. still want he, this to go on. Really we are still making the deal, you and I. I will Hold count to five, and if you don't release me, I will sting you. Hold it there. Hold it there. Can I try? You're blind. I mean, yeah, that's why I don't think you. Okay, uh, but don't harm him. I don't want that's to harm him. him. I take some far. rope and I just. So you do. You do can try to uh, to uh, capture him. Uh, just to restrain him. You do see that he is has raised his stinger because he's not grabbed by the stinger. Oh yeah, shit! So he no, has the, a tail. The, 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 uh, yeah. Grab the tail. And, and he's like this. I will sting you if I put you down. Will you stay Five, here? Not four, fly. Three. Grab the tail. Two. Do you want my blood or not? One and a half. Do you want my blood? Do you want to make zero point five? Do you want soul? Yes, I do. Then put me down. I will stay here and negotiate with you. Okay. You are a devil's word. Or whatever you Down are. now. Okay. And he like he starts flapping away, and he hits your head as he's flapping away, uh, and uh, uh, goes back on the branch. Uh, okay, I'm ready to hear the offer with the souls. Okay, so I have a big family. I can you turn on a light? You are talking the wrong way. Oh, can we? You already caught him once. Sure. Do we have any more lights? Uh, of course, I have. Any Every one of you has ten torches, and her has. She has like 
10,000 ways of lighting up the whole fort. Okay, me. let's burn this place down. You're not... I really don't know. Okay, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, so the the the, the torch um, flares up, and you can see this little creature uh, between yourselves. Actually, everyone else roll a nature check. Including Nisa me. can roll. Oh no, Nisa already. I already roll a nature check. Should I roll in me? Yeah. It's a ten only. Natural twenty five. Oh. Natural oh. twenty five. <laughs> Oh, not bad either. Uh, dirty 20. Okay, Bernie uh, and Vodrum, you Vodrum, you know that this is an imp, a lesser, lesser de devil. Uh, it's clearly an imp, like 100%, no doubt. Uh, you even recognize the fact that it has a very poisonous stinger that does a lot of damage. Uh, as you can see from uh, Nisa, who is trying to get functionality back into her arm, that is very numb and it hurts, and she has uh, tears coming out of her eyes from the pain that is. Uh, it's just my other feet. Yeah. Okay. So you, you do see this little guy sitting on a branch and very, being very happy. Okay. Swords. Let's discuss uh, swords. Okay. Uh, I have four sons, a grandmother that's still alive. God bless them. Uh, my wife's family. My wife. Nephews, grand nephews, and a whole shenanigans. Oh, I see, I see. You can have all of them mm -hmm. if you work for me. We're gonna bring down some people. I'm gonna get some uh, reputation, things like that. All right. I will give you one year of service per soul. One year per soul? Oh my. Sure. What can go wrong? Wait, 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 wait. So, four nephews, one wife, one grandma. How many? So, let's say each son, son has two, has two kids, yeah. so eight. 20 years of service. Yeah, minimum. Like the, the wife's family, so it's minimum two people, so yeah. you can call it a family. So nephews. Nephews, let's say another four. My wife's uh, family. And, uh, My wife. Uh, it's um, 20. 20. At least. Ooh, 20 souls. At least. Let me write that down. Let's say 25. Yeah. And uh, he uh, he starts writing on a piece of paper and comes down and you see that it's written in your blood Ooh. that uh, he still has on his uh, little claw. And uh, he shows you the, the, the thing and it's there's some writing in a language that does anyone speak Inferno? Uh, I think I do, but I don't know. <laughs> <it's> so, <laughs> that would be so exactly. cool if you did. But I, I know I, when I made my first character, I know I did. Okay, speak. let's let's see. I don't know if I do now. Uh, he, I'm rooting for you to speak in for now. Intermission. Proficiency is a language. And the perception. Inferno! Okay. Inferno! Okay, so you do see that there are two uh, clauses written, one in Inferno and one in Common. They both say the same thing exactly, and they say that um, the entity named as um, Milfiz. Mil Mil Milfiz. Milf. Milf. <laughs> wow. Milfiz. Welcome Milf. to Milfiz. <laughs> Population oh, you. You know, I, I have to uh, ah. slur check every name in every campaign. Every <laughs> I, I understand <laughs> you. I really get you. Yeah, I, I, I know you. problem. But Warm is a very nice name. <laughs> yeah, Moran. it's Moram, not Moran. Moron. Oh, that's Moron. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Milfiz. That milf is such a troublemaker. Uh, I like okay. the milfies. Okay. And, uh, he claims that um, for you uh, providing access and uh, helping in killing uh, 20 uh, members of your family. At least. Uh, <laughs> no, he, he says 20. Uh, 20 okay. Uh, well, you are I'm, fine. I'm fine with that. There so were 20 was the number words. when you were discussing. <laughs> the I'm minimum. Fine. He specifies ex the exam number, not minimum, I'm maximum. And uh, he will provide uh, one year of service doing whatever evil deed you want. 
for each soul. For each soul. How about one year? Good deeds? Hmm? How about the good deeds? <laughs> good deeds. Good deeds. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> Sign your name right here. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> Agony is a journey. Okay, and uh, he releases the, the, the piece of paper and, and it disappears. And you, you see him like joyfully um, you know, hopping around. He's saying, You are a psychopath. I know. I love you. <laughs> you can't die, right? Oh, I just reappear. That is fine. As my first question, because we want to kill someone, even. Can you show us the way to the winery? To the vineyard. 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 Where the wine is made for... Kill Lola. Uh, the the raven's blood. Raven's blood. Mm. They there is a field with grapes. Oh, no, I think that must be it. Uh, in the adjacent building to the field of grapes, where they make the juice. Um, I have not been there. It's the best way, best time to go. Come with us. It's something new. Maybe you find other people to soak the soul. But wait, what right. are you doing in this forest? Well, there is residual magic here that sustains me. Mm. Uh, I have a problem. I've been banned from Avernus and... <laughs> I do not wish to talk about it, but... I love it! <laughs> My god, that's me in heaven. I love you so much! Love is in the air in the family. Oh, man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and um, I am here feeding on whatever I can. I have found no souls to trade back for my freedom there. How many souls do you need to go to the. I, I didn't get any so far, so. But how. How many? How will. Uh, at what number they would accept you back? I don't know. I'll try with my best. A tent of souls. I, 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 I'll I gather and go, and then if they don't want me, I will gather some more. <laughs> I'll tell you one better. I'll give you one free soul. After we finish this. A man named Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> I will take it. <laughs> it's free out of charge. <laughs> Uh, it's to make a great deal with him. I see. <laughs> well, um, I, I think I can help you out. Okay. Up until one point. Yeah. Until which point? Um, no, not, not specifically that. Uh, I, I have not been able to leave the forest. <laughs> uh, how do you go in, How are you going to make the keys? Oh, I didn't get that far. Uh, now I see why they kicked you out. <laughs> but, but I can I can help with navigating it. Okay. Y you know, you know where you are right now. No. no. It's in a crappy forest. Yes, surrounded um, by shrubs that move. Thirty feet that way. There's a wedding. I know. Uh, no, wait. thirty feet. Only thirty Only feet. Only thirty feet. What? I've been watching you for hours going in circles. It was quite fun, I might say. That mother... Uh, Two souls. Two souls. Uh, we're going to give you the soul of... Um, What's his name? Uh, Boregar. Boregar. But wait, maybe he didn't? No, he said that he We'll didn't. give you the souls of every damn member of that wedding. Yeah, they're not ours. Uh, I'm not promising anything. But I we can't give you cake. Uh, not even that. I really love the cake. I don't like sharing. Well, um, I, I'm, I'm up for taking more souls. Nice. What are you gonna do about this? And I yeah. wave my lippy hand. <laughs> Could you I wait? can wave back if you want. No, no, wave I back. I can wave back I need if a functional want. hand. It hurts well, so you bad. You want me to give you a hand? <laughs> There's no way I can do that. You did this. You, you can do it. Hmm? 
You did this, you undo it. No, -uh. You didn't see me do it. <laughs> okay, please. He actually does that. Yeah. <laughs> do it. Yeah. As a what? Help her. Yes, an olive branch towards me. How can I help her? But not that will get better in time. But not totally. I heard that. Oh, no. No. Oh, if you provide a little bit of the poison of this thing to this wonderful yeah. mere alchemist, maybe he can make a, a cure. Yes, yes, just the cure. Um, there's no need for a cure. It will pass in time. But well, I, we don't have time. What do you mean? Oh, it's so you, I'm I just going to so do the, this myself. There was a sharp pain. Your hand went numb and slowly it's your regain, you're oh, regaining functionality. Oh, okay. it, it, your hand was not permanently paralyzed by any means. Even, even after you were stung, you could move it. You could it barely hurt. touch stuff. It was because of the intense that pain. So, Milfis, how do we... <laughs> <laughs> Please, no. How do we reach... I love um, the Milfis. Why the winery, right? Oh, that, that's easy. Uh, I, I can guide you. I'll just dart in and out of the canopy that started going like this when you all entered the forest. And uh, I'll show you. It's not very far away, but you you have just been going around in circles. Yeah. Meow. Who's that? <laughs> meow. Uh, meow. Okay. Lead us the way. Show us the way. Please. Can you please keep a light? You know, there aren't anything, any things that are very dangerous around here. Oh. Well, well if, if you're a loser and can fly, yes, sometimes the vine grasps you, but all the forest here has this very yummy liquid that is inside. Have you drank it? Oh, yes, it sustains me. It does make me a bit uh, dizzy when I try to leave. Eh. And something, something, please help me with the curse. I cannot leave the forest, but... Because you drank the liquid? Mm -hmm. eh. and oh. The liquid is maybe made from the wine. You are but an alchemist. Why can't he leave? Oh, but uh, Nisa is also an alchemist. <laughs> I I'm, didn't just, know that. I'm just learning. I wouldn't. So count this is them. why it's so strong chemistry between. Oh my god! Ah. Oh ah. no! <laughs> nice, nice. Can I try to make something? I can try to. What help are you trying you? to make it specifically? Uh, oh, uh, let's see this one. Let's free them uh, from the the evil so, and from the forest. You yeah, from the evil forest. <laughs> I have this, uh, uh, I have experimental elixir and I can spend the sp spell slot um, and I can create an elixir of boldness. It doesn't have anything to do with... Uh, no. <clears throat> like, what would you like, like, without using mechanics specifically, what would you like to accomplish? To give him the courage to get out. It's not, he explained to you, it's not about the courage. There is some sort of, of thing curse, him. something affects him when he tries to leave the forest. Greater restoration. I have nothing. Uh, I know a lot about the curses, it sucks. But that's. It easy. does? Yes. I mean, that. The sap is pretty good, but. Stop no, drinking stop. it. And I can stop. Uh, Try. You want to leave the forest or stop drinking the juice? You have two options, I see. I want to leave the forest if there's souls outside, but. Uh, look, uh, to, now you uh, have a reason anywhere. to quit the juice. It's not good for you, I mean. You it's have the souls. Me, yeah, but you have souls, I mean. Mm. What's fair, fair point? Try what are you doing here you. anyway? We uh, need to get to the winery. Please show us the way. Well, you are whining a lot, so I'll show you the way. <laughs> um, do keep a light though, because you'll yeah. lose me. Okay. And you'll talk like you did for the first 10 minutes when we met. Yeah. And we'll make I another deal. I'm so. keeping an eye on you. Oh. You did give them a hand with spotting me, didn't you? <laughs> I was about to give you some vegetables. No more. Maybe we should just uh, get out without him. He'll find a way eventually. Or yeah, you will. Look at him. I mean, this is an okay dude. Is he though? 
Yeah. And I point I, to I, the phone in, in my at hand. At this point, you see uh, it, its forked tongue trying to lick his own eye. <laughs> That's class. Hey. I think. That's crass, honestly. Yes. So, let's go. Okay. I don't like this one bit. But what I choice do we have? Not. You heard him. We've been going hey. around in circles. You know, I if, knew that trouble. If you guys kissed, it would help a lot. But uh, who should it? What? Nothing. Oh no! Did you hear that? No. We oh, know no. they're fake. But I want to I show you. I spent There's too much. Current that goes on into a leaf and produces that. Okay. Okay. Well, okay I so guess it's we can part just... of the tour. <laughs> Well, sure. I guess we can just go to the vineyard. Thank you. You are not welcome. Let's go. And uh, you see Muff is like um, flying in front and uh, uh, from time to time we see him you know, going up into the canopy and then diving back down and switching direction a, a, a quite a number of times. Very weirdly. I mean, you cannot really keep track of where uh, uh, he's going at all times. And um, after about two hours of walking in, in, into the woods, you start seeing rays of light that are uh, piercing through the, the, the canopy. Yes? I'm just laughing, thinking we got out of the forest because the evil dude that is with us made a soul-binding contract with a, a <laughs> name. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I saw absolutely no reason not to yeah. accept that was a, a very yeah, basic solution. solution. I have to make yeah. a deal, so... <laughs> I know! I, in the Q&A, we will discuss yeah. the, the imp, okay, and the forest. But okay, let's wait until then. Perfect. Until then, you do see that, uh, maybe unexpectedly, uh, expectingly from, from some of you, uh, the imp does appear to lead you to uh, an, an exit from the forest. And... Uh, <laughs> it's the exit sign. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> searched for exit signs. Yeah. So you, you do see them. Uh, you, you don't see them, goddamn. You, you, you do the see uh, the, the rays of light uh, as you approach. And your eyes uh, take a bit to uh, adjust to the light, and in front of you, you see this. Um, build these couple of buildings these uh, wooden buildings and rows upon rows of great pla great plants that grow around the place and um, you see uh, also a sign that uh, uh, has a raven made out of wicker next to a gate mm. question very similar wait, very similar to the label of the raven's yeah. blood wine what time it is I right mean, now it is late afternoon. Oh, because I thought we were there like 8 a.m. 8 p.m. No. And that's why no, it was, it was like a day when you know you oh, okay. early noon, and that's when you got oh, to yeah, the. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> as as uh, all all of you just uh, exit this uh, this uh, forest and uh, approach the the vineyard, you see milfies that is uh, like biting on a tree and sucking uh, on, on some sap. Hey, 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 hey what did I told you? Stop. Drinking that. He's an addict. You need some rehabilitation, my He man. looks like like that, and and and, and quickly uh, bites down a bit more, and uh, and just psh, it, it flies off into the forest to say, "I'm waiting for for you to get me out of here too." Okay, okay. And we'll this try. is where we will take a break. Oh my oh God! My God. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, Oh no. It's before the vineyard. <laughs> yeah. Okay, see you after our break. See you. Ciao. See you. Bye. Bye. Free.
back after the break. Last oh, time our heroes have uh, um, heroes. gone through the... Sorry? Heroes. Heroes. Uh, well, uh, our heroes and Ebenezer uh, have uh, gone through the forest that was uh, magically inclined against them so that they will not find the vineyard of Kalola Queen. And uh, as they went into this dark, twisted forest, uh, every uh, every creature, every uh, plant has done something to stop them, who, uh, even if it was like manifesting fake monsters, fake tracks, uh, grasping at them and pulling them into the ground. It has tried everything to uh, stop them, and uh, it would have succeeded were it not for um, a Milphys, a uh, totally not friendly imp that they have found in the forest, and they have stricken a deal. Uh, a blood pact, to be certain. Uh, Ebenezer, the anti, actually, oh. the villain, the, villain. <laughs> the, the true the villain of the villain. story, yeah, the uh, anti-hero, the the Stop. anti. That you know, that's just uh, uh, saying that he's better than he was. Yeah. Uh, he actually traded uh, the souls of his family members all and his, uh, yeah, all of them uh, even the for. Uh, sorry. Even the grandma. Even the grandma. Even the children. <laughs> Not only the women, but the children too. Oh, no. um, he traded their souls to uh, Milphys in order to secure his Milfis. loyalty and... Hmm? Milphys? Milphys. 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 Oh, Milphys. 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 Uh, sorry. One point of exhaustion. You know we are children. <laughs> Yes, I, I should have please. named him uh, Imp underscore one. Yeah. <laughs> untitled Imp. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Un untitled uh, uh, NPC name. From Avernus. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, and uh, they have secured his loyalty and uh, he has bless claimed you. the fact that... Bless you. <laughs> but non mechanically you do not get the default. Yeah. <laughs> um, they have secured his loyalty in order to safeguard them through the forest and he has done so by picking over the canopy and... Um, after a very long trek, uh, at the edge of dusk, our heroes are approaching the vineyard. And uh, they have identified it as being the one belonging to Killa Queen by the symbol at the edges. So, in front of you, you have this uh, multitude rows of, of planted grapes. And um, at the other side of it, uh, there are uh, there appear to be a few wooden buildings. And this is everything that you see from this distance. From the dimensions. Which mm -hmm. one would be the main? Uh, well, from the dimensions you'll notice that it's not actually very big buildings. Oh. It's a, a, a shockingly small operation based on what you've heard. Mm. Uh, because they are supposed to produce a lot of the buildings named the Raven's Blood. And uh, maybe there's some other location, but there are two buildings. One appears to be like maybe a three room type of building, and the other is slightly be bigger than a shed. Uh, we should investigate it that way. It's I... an underground operation, I tell you. Yeah. I believe you. That's what I do. Also, um, guys, how would you like to approach this? Hit them hard and heavy? No. Or, you, know, uh, you have other option. No, I mean, Still usually when me. raiding, uh, we just... Huh. Yeah. No, um, but... I'm up to what, what you said. Into? Oh, uh, it's been fine so far, apart from your sting. It will pass. Uh, now is the perfect moment to kiss it better. You with the kiss. I'm, I'm telling you, it's not going to work. <gasps> it's happening. Oh. Oh. See, it's still here. <laughs> it's uh, not. No. Uh, mierda. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Look who's talking shit. <laughs> Literally. Okay, we need to be quiet. Especially. I, I, I say we go through the graves, but not to damage them, they look so pretty. And then let's take the smaller house first, I think. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing you're sneaking through the 
the the grape plantations, okay? The mm-hmm. Scooby Doo style. Scooby Doo. Okay. <laughs> Scooby Doo Papa. I, I'm tempted to pick a grape and to actually eat wow. it. Wait, right, let me describe this. So first of all, doing this kind of sneaking, uh, you ha- we would have a lot of cover from approaching the buildings doing this because it's basically walls of of um, of vegetation. Um, you would have advantage on your stealth check. Please help me here. Have a technical. What's happening? No, the door. Oh. Okay. So everyone, please roll stealth checks with Ooh. advantage. Hey. Oh. Mm-hmm. Two doors. With uh, with advantage. <laughs> Come on, it will be great. With advantage, a natural it's one advantage, and yeah. a four. It's the best. And he's a row, it's a total of 30 at least anyway. Do we still have the plus 10? No, I think no. so. No way. No. Uh, pass without trace lasts for one hour. One hour, yeah. And it has long been gone. Yeah. 13. I, I got have a 10. I got a 6. 19. I got. How much did you roll? A fourteen plus a fourteen. I, I thought you rolled a four and you ended no, up no, 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 no. Why well, believe it when no, I rolled? No, no. <laughs> no, I rolled a four. Ah, okay. Uh, dirty twenty. Okay. So, uh, everyone apart from uh, Bernie and Ebenezer, you are sneaking through the through the uh, grapevines, and at a certain point, you cause the the three of you. Um, uh, Ovodrun, Nisa, and uh, Imhava. You cause you you uh, trip on one of the grapevines and you cause it to fall down on top of the tree of you and make like this big ruckus as this is happening. And uh, um, Bernie and Ebenezer are watching from the sides, clearly knowing that whatever it may have been here would have been alerted. But as that happens, as as that burst of sound happens, you also notice that. A magical pulse emanating from your location spreads around. This this faint magical energy, you just see it going around and uh, dissipating into the the distance, the horizon. Dispel magic. I'm joking, I don't have that. <laughs> so, stealth is out of the way. I'm sorry. Hey. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Pulling right. leaves out of my hair and oh, look a grape. <laughs> oh, the grape okay, <laughs> you, do you want to look at the grapes? Yes, I want to examine them mm-hmm. okay. since they're mushed on myself. Yeah, okay, you can examine or roll a nature check. Well, it's natural one. I am not even going to, and that's a three total. It's a. It's grapes. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, do you also grow fruit? Yes. Uh, then I will give you advantage because this is like literally your backstory of being a farmer and. Uh... Okay. Thank you. Okay, this is slightly better to support you. Okay, so um. You, uh, you inspect this this type of grape and uh, you see that it's a pretty uh, rare combination because um, this is a, a pretty hilly uh, terrain with a lot of rock and uh, it, it needs a particular strain of, of grapes that uh, need to grow here and, and be efficient. Uh, and they look very healthy, very well kept, like unnaturally so. But the last time you've seen something like this would have been your blessed crops. So. It's not exactly, it's definitely not your type of crops, but they do seem to have a bit of magical enhancement that they, they're staying so healthy. Or the, also, they have a lot of, of uh, pulp on them and they are very, very sweet. They definitely remind you of the wine that you drank. Okay. Ah. These taste exactly like the wine. You want some? Sure. <laughs> I think that you have one on you, like, let me... Oh, okay. Um, the one that was pulsating. If I take just uh, one uh, grape thingy uh, mm-hmm. and um, squeeze it and then smell it, do I get the same s- weird artificial smell as well? No, you do not. Okay. You do not at all. 
Is there anything poking from the ground? Like I draw a hand? A dead one? <laughs> no, there isn't, uh, but... but, it's but, but, but people. You do notice that uh, as you knock over the, the grapevine, uh, and you spend a bit of time there uh, waiting for uh, uh, Nisa to, to taste it and uh, burning to investigate it, you see it like very slowly, it's trying to move up and correct its position. Uh, let's help it uh, put it back and then run to the houses. I don't think we should stick around to help it, but I, I think it's got itself. We've cover. tried helping uh, twigs mm. before or something. So yeah, I'm not. I'm not touching. Okay. Anything that moves. Uh, should. Bye bye. <laughs> yes, let's go to the house. We okay. rush. You rush to the house. Yeah. Okay. You reach it and uh, you see two buildings. One that appears to be pretty newly built and uh, it's made out of like less decayed materials and the other next to it it's, it seems to be a pretty raggedy shack that is barely uh, standing up and uh, it's also uh, both both places appear to be locked with a padlock but one thing strikes you as, as very weird at the architecture uh, it contains like a, instead of cement that would hold on that would hold the bricks and uh, the wooden poles you see that there are vines coming from the ground and are embedded into the construction materials and they appear to be actually holding the building up. Oh, no. uh, the old or the new? The big or the small? Well, we were going yeah. for the small. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they tried to cover up what's in the old one by building the new one and people would be tempted to go into the new one because it looks better. So the small and the old. Let's go. Yeah. The old. Okay. Well, you are looking at the door. Uh, it's again. It, it's a pretty rackety shack. It's so it's locked. You say. And can I? Can we kick op open the door? I was about to say. Yes, that. you may attempt to do so. You want me to just uh, yeah. shoulder bash it? I, maybe there is a better way to I mean, do it. I started it. Like it. but I have. I was waiting. <laughs> I, yeah, I just start uh, bashing. Okay. <laughs> Let him bash it. Um, you have the what? I uh, the shoulder <laughs> press into it. Do you okay. like uh, force a running start or just from? Uh, let me tell you the thing. Uh, having a running start would give you extra power, but would yeah. make way more noise. Yeah, definitely. Okay. <laughs> so in that case, I would like you to roll me an athletics with advantage. All right. It is 18 total. Okay, so Bernie takes a few steps back, starts running forward, shoulder first, and he hits the door that almost does not slow him at all. And he continues his stumble <laughs> inside of the shack and he falls face down into a bed of uh, dry grass. Did it! You see like... Poof. As he as he loudly hits it, you you see that there are some uh, hay and uh, some dry plants that are like going up into the air, and the whole place is dusty oh, and oh, hard no. to breathe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah. Um. Should I try the next one just to open it? Uh, let's uh, investigate this one. Okay. And afterwards, we move on to the. New and big one. I, I okay. can barely stay inside. Then stay outside. Jesus. Do you want me to burn all the hay? Keep a watch. If anyone it's very dry. Approach. This building is very dry. Uh, looks unused for quite some time. It would burn so easily. Don't burn it, just maybe when we leave. Bernie? <laughs> no, no, don't burn it. No, you're uh, Bernie. Uh, well. Uh, okay. okay, let's try it. What Maybe do we see? I wrap my handkerchief, I'm not gonna stay with it on my hands. Mm -hmm. but... Okay. Put on my eyes. Okay, yeah. In, yeah. Inside, uh, you see this uh, makeshift bed that uh, Bernie has landed on and now destroyed. Uh, you see a few cooking utensils, like very old pots and pans. Uh, they look in bad condition, like rusted, uh, with holes in them, unusable. There's a lot of dust, like this place clearly has been abandoned for a long time. And you also see a uh, wooden chest that does not appear to have a lock, and it's made out of very simplistic materials like planks that are nailed together. Can I check it for traps? 
Hey. Yes, in my own <laughs> investigation. Also, tell me how exactly are you checking this for traps? I'm looking at it. I'm <laughs> turning it around. And I'm using my this. mind with of a very corrupt man <laughs> who's really paranoid hey. to see if, I don't know. Check it for a fake bottle. Tickle it. I will do none of these things. <laughs> for um, a fake bottle, like a hidden yes, uh, chamber. Yes, I will give him uh, guidance. Mm -hmm. And also because he has uh, proficiency with tips tools, maybe he'd have uh, additional insight. Mm, it's just gonna be, it's him checking Extreme. for traps, not disarming the trap. Can I, uh, in the meantime, can I investigate the, the room, the rest of the room? No, I would do the same as well. I would have. 19. Okay, so you, you look at the, 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 the box and uh, you turn it uh, all over and look at it and it it's clearly a very crude contraption that you, you're you pretty sure that the, you know, Yeah, you open it and uh, as you open it, one of the you're rusty like, hinges even breaks. Oh no. And inside... Oh honey. Hmm? Oh, honey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor chest. Yeah. Inside, uh, there are a few wicker dolls. Wow. Very crudely made. Like the, something made from a, by a child. And some drawings with coal on some parchment that is almost all broken up. I will not touch them. What do they depict? Hmm? Like, what do they depict? What the, What are the, those... Uh... They depict... Um, they depict... Uh, th there are three dolls, actually. One is a small... Yes. Human. Small human. Looking like resembling... Not a humanoid. Okay. Okay, another is a medium-sized one. There is a bit one that is taller. Do they look like a, what was the name? The oh, they the are Miss very Green. crude. The Miss Green and okay, crude. And the drawings? The drawings are uh, of a um, of a little girl that appears to be in the woods. The Kelola girl. It's. It's definitely not. You cannot identify who this person is. It's, can, it's a stick man. <laughs> yes, we, it's basically a stick man. Can hair. we tell how long ago it was drawn? No. Does it have a this date? Like of foreign, huh? Maria. What, there what is no name. name. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. A date, a name, a signature. No. Is drawn. the paper old? <laughs> yes, it, it's pretty old. Oh. That was a and uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's also broken up and it's uh, covered in a bit of moss and it's decayed. It's kept in bad condition. You can barely look at it and do they have turn. arrows like pointing and saying me plus mom plus dad playing in the? You try. Mm. There is also a drawing that seems to be way more exaggerated. And it looks like it's. Um, a group of people, and there's some sort of fire. Have you been and it before? looks like uh, this drawing is uh, it has been done with a, a charcoal that has broken a bit the paper. In the woods is the fire, or it's in the Sorry? is is the fire in the woods, or is it in the? Um... It's not clear. There isn't like a backdrop to the to the scene. Okay. Mm. Um, maybe we will figure this out later when we're about to die of some. You said you wanted to inspect the room for uh, other yes. things. Uh, please draw me a perception check. <coughs> uh, I rolled. I would have uh, probably done the same as well. Uh, so well. if it's a perception, it's a dirty twenty. Okay, and Bernie. It's uh, I think a fifteen or a sixteen, so you have higher anyway. Uh, perception, yeah, 50. Okay. Um, you managed to find um, vial that was hidden somewhere uh, behind, uh, somewhere inside the, the uh, different vegetations that made up the bed that Bernie destroyed. It is a pretty nice looking vial and it's made out of uh, grayish glass. Not out of, not grayish because of usage. That's what the glass looks like. It looks pretty 
shiny and new considering the the whole uh, situation and uh, on the vial there are some markings that uh, are very difficult to like you don't really recognize the symbols on it it's like some sentences maybe it's another language yeah. uh, look what i found uh, <laughs> bless you oh, I, I found them between the hay but look it's pretty great do we but I don't do we recognize the language I don't yeah, we? But, no. none of you do it's very weird symbols. Also, he knows Primordial. I do. Um, it... Give it to my best friend here. He seems to be able to identify and make best uh, drinks and potions and... Uh, I, you know this? Well, you know if what you, you can to... tell holding it? First, the first thing that comes to you. This is a very, very expensive piece of alchemy equipment. It is used to concoct potions that um, uh, can be used as spells, as substitute for spells. It's that kind of flask. It's an arcane flask. Okay. Mm. At I'm least it's one. very expensive. I would have probably got that. Like hundreds <laughs> of gold worth of, equi of equipment, just only this flask. Wow. The only that weird much. thing is the symbols. They don't really have those symbols. Uh, they have. They don't. No. They don't usually. They do not have those symbols that you guys could not recognize. I see. And the vial is full. Uh, there's something in it, or is just a vial? It's empty. It's empty. It's empty. Uh, okay. So it appears that uh, this is an attempt of alchemy and magic. Mm. I wonder if I wait. I'm keeping give, this. Give, no, give it, give it, give it, give it. I want to to oh, cast shit. detect magic. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> on the vial. Uh, it's the uh, magic is around you. Okay, yeah. So you just cast the tech magic. I, I'm gonna cast the tech magic because this is. Uh, Are you inside the shack? Yes. Yeah. Because okay. you found the vial. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. As do you cast it as a ritual or using a spell slot? A ritual takes you ten minutes. Spell slot instantly. <laughs> I'm gonna cast it as ritual mm -hmm. and try to make, uh, try to push like the piles of the, of the hay so they're not so close to me. And okay, Vodrun, sit here, keep it still, and I try to concentrate over it. But I like. Okay. It takes me a few attempts because I keep sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I, after focusing enough and and uh, feeling that you have successfully casted the spell detect magic. You get a bunch of, of magical auras around the place. The, yeah. Does the shack have windows? No, it does not. Mm. Oh, great. See, this is why I'm Did sneezing. we let the door open? Uh, no, the door is facing out towards the vineyard. Uh, it works because it's broken. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, no, it's, it's there, fine. It's there's fine. no door to be left open. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, so you, you <laughs> feel <laughs> different types of, of auras. First of all, the floor is lava. just blinding you with lava. Ha -ha, oh, you are no. into lava. <laughs> you cannot have lava combat with lava. Lava wins every time. I love this joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Um, the vial okay. itself uh, has a multitude of auras around it. You cannot even figure it out. It looks like a general magical item that might substitute itself for different types of, uh, of magic. The floor has an aura of abjuration and illusion. A very strong aura of abjuration and illusion. It's the entire floor. Oh, <laughs> you were right that it is an underground uh, right. enterprise. Oh, I've never been right in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, I smash the there. floor now. <laughs> <laughs> With your head. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> right, <laughs> 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 we burn Five. <laughs> We can burn it. But I think it would burn everything and like collapse it on ourselves and we don't want that. Okay. 
We, we af after we leave this place, you can burn it and the explosions and everything, and we don't look at it because we're cool. And with the great excitement, start just hitting the floor hard. <laughs> okay. Oh, and that strength saving throw. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Let the body axe hit the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Electricity goes through your body. <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, 14. <laughs> 14, okay. So, gather all your strength and hit the floor with your axe, which causes a cacophonous sound of, of metal hitting on what appears to be either brick or metal. It, you see that it, you all duck as chippings of steel fly away from his axe that also gets uh, violently repulsed by this out of he, your hands and flying and embedding itself into the wall. You feel an immense pain in your hands from, from this hit. Uh, you will take five points of bludgeoning damage. All right. And like you feel like you, you've uh, done some damage to, to your hands in general by yeah. hitting something that was unnaturally solid. But, okay, okay. Um, the thing is the floor, was it wooden or... Uh... It appeared to be wooden. And I hit something metal. Maybe. Yes, you did. You, you definitely. I mean, you, you okay. cannot really figure out what you hit. What I've hit, but it's yeah, okay. Okay, it's definitely. You did not hit the rickety wood that it looked yeah, to be okay. initially. Yeah, you hit oh, definitely oh, something else. Um, <laughs> so I think my my head would show the ricochet, uh, shake a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's when, like like when if you hit yeah. like with a sledgehammer, you would hit like a solid block yeah, of steel. Exactly, exactly. All of yeah. the impact force goes within your hands. Yeah, and exactly. And I still shake. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely not wood, but uh, some stone underneath or something. Uh. The the wood itself is not even chipped. Oh. That looks like a hands-on terrible experience. It's fine. I've had worse. Well, can no worries. Dispel this thing. No, oh. but they have to have a way of getting downstairs. So maybe there's. Maybe the something. carpet. Maybe the maybe adjacent the uh, house. You can go underneath. Like a stair or something. But then why protect this area in particular? Maybe they, it's a hole. Are they uh, joined? Are they I'm next sorry. to each other? Uh, the two buildings are not next to each other, no. Okay. Maybe there's a lever somewhere. Okay, mm, let's... Maybe. Maybe the bed. Maybe Volume? let's knock on the floor until we get not a clinkety clanky the wooden... Not okay. wooden, the stony something. Kelola? 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 Kelola, Kelola, Kelola. Okay. Oh, oh, I think I know what you mean, yes. But how large is this? Uh... Oh, it's pretty small. It's 10 it's feet by 10 small. feet. Oh. Okay, divided so we're by, five. Yeah. yeah, we get two so feet. We already have two feet. Yes. Yes. So, mm. <laughs> so everyone gets a corner and some of us stay in the middle. Keep it in. I'm so glad I'm sitting next to him this time. <laughs> Uh, you get the corner, you get the corner, you get the corner, I get the corner, and you're in the middle. Uh, except you. So we're the middle. Except you in the middle, yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now let's talk. Yeah, I take out a small hammer. Uh, as you are hitting the surface, it not only it does not sound like wood, it kind of hurts hitting it. it you, you feel like it's not even you hitting something completely solid. It's basically some of your energy gets redirected back to you. But we hit it like this. Like I, I know, it's not hurting you. I'm just saying that you feel like a stronger feedback effect from, from hitting the surface. It's It feels very unnatural. And no trapdoor. Why is the floor fighting that? There does not appear to be any kind of trapdoor here. The floor is so, evil. Uh, evil floor. We had this dude in our village. It's called the Einstein. And the, every reaction has a reaction. Uh, <laughs> No, here's my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I think you meant Newton. Is sorry. No, no. We're in a fantasy world. It can be called whatever he wants. I'm sorry, it's from from Newton here as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I guess so, it's the next house. Then. Who found the door? Oh. Nobody, no. Nobody found the door. And I, as you, you know, as you hit it with your hammer, it like flies off a bit more than uh, you'd expect. It's, again, from your conclusion, especially as an artificer, 
it's a hundred percent some sort of reflective magical surface that uh, outputs more force than it receives or oh, this would be great to study <laughs> it, it would be it is something that kind of gives you an innate uh, potential energy advantage in physics so it's even better than perpetuum mobile <laughs> yeah yeah exactly you it outputs the... more energy into the world than it yeah, than absorbs it receives oh what? Oh my. Physics is cool. <laughs> if you're a oh, dwarf, stop, <laughs> stop bullying me. You're dead. Rocks, the uh, rocks fall on you, and, and your imp is gone. No, not my imp. Not Milfy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Milfies. Milfies. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Now your imp really is gone. <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking when you named him? <laughs> well, I, I expected a, 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 a bit, a bit of maturity, but it <laughs> <all> just. <laughs> Oh, 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 sorry. Had you, did you meet us today? I thought you had a moment like Milfield. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I assure you, I would have done the same if any of you were the DM and I was the player. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we know. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, what do we do? The floor does not seem to work. I have also ideas. I'll go, I'll go to the next house. Wood is not appropriate. Okay. Can I move the bed? Maybe the bed can be moved. Yes. To go okay. To the next house. It's, uh, underneath it is. There is isn't anything. No. It, it was only the flask that was stashed. Uh. That I found. Yeah. Uh, so there's nothing on the walls that no. we can pull. No. No. You have no. It's it's clearly not. Uh, there isn't anything hidden. Like imagine it's made out of planks. Uneven blanks. It's a very bad looking yeah. uh, structure. Shabby yeah. yes. But how would we know if anything from the other house triggers something in here so the floor is no longer here? We can have the fate or we can burn it to the ground. Yeah, but whatever is this, this is not wood, definitely. It will not burn. I mean, we can definitely try, sure. While they argue, I would take the magical flask and put it in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's constructive uh, debating or whatever. Yes. Yeah, sure. Conversation. <laughs> I vote to burn this down. I stay. Okay, let's try to go in the next house, not burn this yet. If we don't find anything in the next house, then we burn it. We burn both of them. Sounds reasonable. Right? Yeah. I knew you would agree with me. <laughs> yeah, brute forcing the puzzles. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is that what we're doing? <laughs> no. Burning it, hitting it with instruments. Um, we did search it. <laughs> did you try glitching to the floor? <laughs> oh, up, crouch, up, crouch, up, crouch. <laughs> space, 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 yeah, space, 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 yeah. space. Do the drawings have anything to do with the floor? The what? The drawings. Uh, no. Or the I mean, figurines and the chest. Did we try moving the chest? No. Nope. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. no, you did. You did. It's just it's not that big. Maybe if we do around. this, like. <laughs> it will open. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Oh, right. Open the puzzle. Open the puzzle. Open the puzzle. puzzle. <laughs> open the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. no? We tried. Oh, well, you almost convinced me, but no. Oh. Open says me. <laughs> Not says me. Says me. Says me. Open says me. There are two ways of opening this door. The first was not making fun of the ink whatsoever. The second was Let me in. something else. <laughs> well, we failed. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Okay, so the next house. There's clearly nothing here. Nothing to see. Nothing. <laughs> we are to put cool. in. And you can see the desperation on the DM's <laughs> face. <laughs> no, I spent this hours actually. on this puzzle. <laughs> Why is yeah. it gonna kill us? Hmm? Is it gonna kill us? Why would I enjoy that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> ah, Why would I do this? Yes. Yes. <laughs> don't listen to him. I've been with the uh, at the LARP with him, and he tried to kill me. So um. <gasps> Ha ha! Jackie! You know, there's always the next time when I can try. 
Today. So, I will try to pick the oven lock. The what? Oven lock. I just said oven lock. And uh, the oven lock. What is the oven? And I said ever lock. <laughs> <laughs> and I find ever smile. Oh my. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. Please do, kind sir. Uh, you should draw a dexterity check with proficiency okay. or expertise in case you have expertise with team tools. I have proficiency. If, not. if oh, I so. whisper in uh, his ear, uh, because I also I'm also proficient with, in, with yeah. opening lock picks, would that give him advantage or disadvantage? <laughs> what are you telling me, big boy? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong! No, uh, a lot of the other hole, a lot of spit in his ear hole, but... Oh, <laughs> oh, no. oh no! You failed the attempt automatically, no. Uh, uh, unless you have, like, a, a way to help him in, that actually makes sense. Guidance, other, okay. Yep. Guidance would definitely I help him. I give him a small, yeah. strong potion. 70! <laughs> like a flask. 70. You have guidance as well. Oh, okay. Uh, one yes. One yeah. uh, oh no, it's a one. Uh, so eighteen. Okay. So eighteen was the DC. <laughs> so as you Four. fumble with with the with the lock, you almost break your lock pick. But then in a moment of inspiration, hits you and you, you stop and then you turn the other way and there's a satisfying click. You do realize that this would have been a particularly hard to open lock. Uh -oh. Some mo a moment of inspiration really oh. saved you. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Teamwork. Teamwork. Power okay. friendship. So power you, power you friend. open the door. <laughs> uh, In the power of love. Love, eh? Oh my love. Okay, let's see what's inside. Inside, you see that uh, there is what appears to be uh, an office. Uh, there are like uh, some cabinets and some uh, very nice looking padded chairs. <laughs> And um, there are, there's two, two of them each, and uh, but the room is not that. It, it's about uh, twenty feet uh, uh, long and ten feet wide. It's a small uh, an office on the smaller side, and there's two uh, desks and writing instruments. What's the? And floor? also there's a door that leads out of this room. What's the floor made of? Uh, it's it's made out of the stone that is the foundation of the second. I touch the floor. Is it made of stone? It does seem so. Okay. At least from a simple touch. Okay. Uh, how much does your dispel ma uh, detect magic last? Ten minutes. Yeah, I think ten minutes. Okay. Yes, ten minutes. As you enter this building together with uh, Ebenezer, you do not feel any kind of magic from this room. No, no. Flying bags. Yeah, no. no. Guys, the other house was more magical than this one. <coughs> Can I investigate the table? The, well, the first or the second one? The first. Okay, yeah, uh, you don't need to roll for it. You are there and looking at the things. Uh, you find a lot of logs that um, detail expenses and uh, shipments of wine. And uh, you draw some conclusions as being a, a lord yourself and uh, knowing about the uh, export <laughs> of this uh, more... Uh, Luxury goods. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of wine production for how big this vineyard is. You also see a bit of distribution costs of uh, some people, but it's very low. You conclude that there's no way whoever runs this place would have gotten away with such low distribution costs, like the, the, the manpower to carry it out and uh, to, to sell it. Um, that's about it. There are very few expenses. Okay. Uh, there's almost all profit. Um, can I, uh, I don't know, smell if something is different in this room? I mean, I always use yeah. my smell if, like, anything. Uh, you can know. roll a perception check for smell. Yeah, exactly. I What's doing the one. smell? It's um. Is he a it's the smell is it smells a bit of ink. Oh, okay. There appear to be uh, ink bottles in this room, uh -huh. and uh, they are some of them are used. Like right. even the, at the desk yeah. that you're looking at, they are pretty freshly used. Might not like it just used, yeah. but uh, it's an active desk. Um, you also said you wanted to look at the second one. Uh, this one has different types of coloring ink, and there is a stack of. Uh, <clears throat> Labels for wine bottles, mm. and they resemble. I mean, from a distance, they kind of resemble the one that you've seen with the the raven made out of wicker and the the red eyes. 
up and from close up. And from close up. Roll an investigation. A natural one for a total of two. Seven. Can I also take a look? Yes. Can I take a sip from my luck potion? Exactly. Can I take a sip from my luck potion? Yes, you may guide yourself. I want to see too. Everybody's there. Um, this looks was it investigation? It was investigation. Yes. Natural thirty. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no. that, that's that's so, uh, number dirty one. Dirty twelve thirty. No, it's a natural twenty plus seven plus three. That holy. <laughs> so it's a total what? thirty. <laughs> you see wow. the f you you. What? <laughs> Just give him the prize. Oh, <laughs> Just tell him he won the He won the campaign. <laughs> How do you feel, Chuck? I won the D. You won the D. Whoa. Okay. I, I did it, mom and dad. I did it. I won the D. So, from afar, it would look like a normal label that you you, you wouldn't really notice it, but. With a very thorough investigation, do you have any kind of monocle or magnifying device? I have uh, my uh, several uh, uh, toolkits on myself. So uh, let's see. Do you have see. tinkers? Um, <laughs> tinkers, they're the only ones that I did not get. What? You have oh. one tool that you did not get. Doesn't matter. As an artificer, <laughs> uh, being given the fact that you can actually craft magic items, I would say you'd have at least a magnifying glass. Okay. Right. Uh, it makes sense. You have in that. In the alchemist tool. tool, I use a, a, a bezoar upside down. And I <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go with that. It's more thematic. So, doing that, we instinctively start analyzing it in very great detail. You notice that the paper itself has some uh, indentations mm -hmm. that actually represent some symbols. And you recognize it's the symbols on the flask. Not only that, but you also manage to, like by very close uh, lookup, you manage to find an equivalent of your the normal common alphabet mm -hmm. in the very fine indentations of the paper that is used as a... Uh, I have to write this down. This is the Rosetta Stone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I, I mean, you, you, I'm not gonna tell it to you like okay. line by line, but you are pretty sure that you could decipher what was written on the flask by using this uh, this paper as a reference. Good thing I have it with me. It was a very <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it, it was a very obscure detail. It would have taken someone a lot of time to figure this out, and also only the first paper had this detail. It was almost wow. indistinguishable to the other one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Yeah. Wow. Look at okay. Silvrim. <laughs> so, would you like to spend like 10 minutes to decipher? I help, yes. I help. And then I will uh, uh, read it uh, loud, aloud. Yeah, you, you, uh, it kind of, it's not kind of the thing you can help. He's like as he's bringing up the, the flask, he just needs a bit of time to be able to compose yeah. a message. You have about ten minutes to do something you, else until during uh, this ten minutes. I'll probably just stay watch like by the door or something. Make sure okay. nobody. There's another door going out. away from this office building. Yeah, but just keep an eye. Okay. Uh, were there some um, cabinets also? No. Oh uh, no, there were just desks. This. 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 Okay. Okay. So everyone is staying in this room. Yes, yeah. I want to sit on a chair and just. It's pretty comfy. Is it the swirly? Huh? It's not the swirly. Yeah. However, um, probably an intelligence check. Oh no. <laughs> the chair is a <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it Maybe it's a massage chair, you don't know. Yeah, you have to insert the gold coin too. Uh, so it's a check not a savior? Yeah. It's a natural one. Oh, honey. 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 Does anyone else sit on the chair? It's comfy, you like it, you feel important. Does anyone else do the check? That's my chair. I would also <laughs> like to sit on the chair, only to roll also a natural one, because I've been rolling mierda all day. Oh my okay. god, let's, let's, let's go with one. Do you want to get them out of your system? Natural 20! Oh I like my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! So, intelligence, wow. you told me. Yes. So it's gonna be a mirrored image. <laughs> 21. Only different. Okay. <laughs> You have, you do recognize the fabric from this chair. Human skin. It's from Norman Foster. 
Not Ooh. pink. <laughs> from the, no, no. The fabric from this chair is the same that you've seen um, Peregrine and Carola sitting in at the wedding. Is the same fabric the Peregrine and Keola set in the wedding. Hmm. Really? Yes. It's just comfy to me. Is it the magical? It's uh, your your de your detect magic is about to expire. By the way, it's, no, there's anything and there isn't anything magical in this place. They're asking me to pay for it, and I'm like, I'm not gonna prolong it. Okay, so do you wait for uh, uh, <laughs> no for uh, Vodrun to finish yeah. translating? Okay. Um, is it human skin? <laughs> Who? No, it's not human is it skin. The, is it velvet? Uh, it's yes, it is. Uh, no, it's actually uh, a very fine silk. Is it the yellow silk? Yellow mm -hmm. silk. What is uh, the color? What, it is red. A uh, the red silk. Okay. Ruby red. Like like a. The ruby red. Okay, so um, Vodrum finishes the translation. And uh, you uh, uh, take a look at the paper that you finished write, uh, writing on, and you read the following. It's actually four sentences, mm. and it says the following. There are the following sentences. Mm. Would you like to write it down? Oh, yes. I guess yes. I would okay. like. Yes. Oh, okay. This is actually worth writing down. <laughs> really? <laughs> the blood of. <laughs> <laughs> What's wow. that? Oh no. The blood of Tell man me. soaks the ground is the first sentence. The blood of man? Yes. The second one is the ground feeds new life. N the, f the third one new life rises to touch the sky. God, the snow down! <laughs> uh, the ground, like the ground new what? Life new life rises new. to touch the sky. Ground is it? Oh my god. Touch. How did so, you survive through college? Uh, wait, the what? <laughs> New life. <laughs> Fourth one. The charisma. <laughs> <laughs> did anyone? Did everyone write the second and third one? No. Yes. yes. Okay. And the, the, the ground fourth? feeds new life. Okay. New life rises to touch, touch the, the sky. sky. Yes. Whisper carried by the wind. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I was about to write whisper. I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna be first. Whisper. Essence of the sky is imbued into the vintage. So hey. <laughs> I, I will read the four sentences again now that everyone has gotten uh, them written down. The blood of the man soaks the ground. The ground feeds new life. New life rises to touch the sky. Essence of the sky is imbued into the vintage. <laughs> there are many dead people in the ground. <laughs> it's a recipe for the wine, that, how sir? the wine is made. Uh, the blood of the man that is killed feeds the ground outside. Uh, the ground uh, feeds the new life, which is the roots and the vine and the plants that mm -hmm. make the grapes. Um, and they grow up in the sky. And then the sky in the essence of the sky, which is, I don't know if the grapes rain. explode in the rain of grapes or something, but it's imbued into the wine. So, killing men in, uh, or people in uh, the vineyard makes it better, makes the wine. Or you yes. kill the people and bring the blood to feed the vineyard. You should definitely, Vodun, you should definitely uh, send your TV to uh, Kerola's vineyard. <laughs> 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 uh, Especially after that, after that 30 roll. <laughs> yeah. well, um, and after this I'll say, well, is this enough proof to bring back to Mr. Peregrine? Uh, no. 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 Okay. We well. still have to figure out what's going on in the other house. Do you do you think? Do you have a knife? Uh, I, I don't have to. Dance. I don't want to uh, ruin your party, but there's a door over there. We can open it. There was another door. Yes. I mentioned it. Okay, times. sorry. Yes. That goes outside, right? No. No. no on this side, in this room. Oh, no. And we haven't checked. No, the that goes. 
No, mm -hmm. yes, two total yes, yes, second yes, yes, desks, yes. yes. The first desk was about uh, finance logs, the second desk was regarding the labels. And the labels, okay. yes. Okay, I see. Uh, you check the door. I check the door. Mm -hmm. Is it locked? Uh, check it for traps. It has like a handle. <laughs> you like can handle it. it. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah. I will check it for traps. Mm -hmm. Roll an investigation, please. While we root for you, sitting uh, in the comfy chairs. 16. It does not really appear trapped. I open the door. Open as you push open the door. Inside, there is a room that is... Uh, it, it's about... Um, it has the same length of 20 feet and uh, the same width of 10 feet. It's symmetrical. Yeah. Inside, there are barrels of... Uh, like, mm -hmm. caskets of wine that are stacked all around the place. And uh, there's another door that leads into another room from this one. Uh, no, uh, from your uh, glass, no. Before... There's no light here, like it's already getting like pretty hard to see. Before you go in, can I take that knife, cut my hand, pour it onto the ground in the other room and That's see... That's what I wanted to do! I... Yeah, can I wow. cut you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. Yeah, yeah. I wish you had asked sooner. <laughs> You're weird. So, okay, we do that. Okay, so you cut your hand with yeah. a knife. Please take it. one point of piercing damage. <laughs> and yes. I pour it onto the... Floor. On the shabby shack. On the shabby shack floor. Okay. The not wooden floor. There is no effect. However, um, you notice that the the blood does not seep through the cracks that might be in the floor. It's unnaturally staying afloat and not. Uh, Put it on the vineyard. The blood. Nah, man, no. <laughs> Go outside and do that. Yeah. It there's no effect. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How about if um, we take him to the uh, larger uh, house and uh, do the same? He does the same in that uh, on that. He, you're still drawing on blood. That floor bits. Well, so, I, we sque squeeze his hand so he can drop a few. <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on, come on. take another point of damage. What the floor you. is? Oh my god! And yes, you do start <laughs> blooding the floor, and uh, there is no effect. Look at me trying to help. Um, Maybe it's not enough let's, blood. <laughs> let's, uh, oh, yeah. Hold him, please. Let's you do the, the cute soon to be couple, check the barrels. <laughs> uh, the barrels. Because yeah. you are both very expert with the liquids and the potions and all the uh, dorky stuff. We should check if uh, it's did the you, same wine. Did she call us dorks? I think so. Did you call us dorks? No. Dwarfs. My accent is not very good, I don't speak English, so... <laughs> okay, so... Okay. Yeah, so... Okay, I go by phonetically. You check the barrels, the caskets, actually. There are caskets. Yeah, we, we check to see if uh, it's a uh, spoiled uh, wine or... Uh, or like the one that, that we've got. Do they, they have taps this. or...? They do have taps, yes. Okay. If you are in need of somebody to take in the alcohol and okay. test it, I'm, uh, I'm up for it, of lay, course. Lay down I'm... and I will just... Uh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but maybe it's the blood that you have to spill on the ground and all that dress it. And the casket. Right. Well, don't see. put it in his mouth. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want to drink the blood of strangers? How about uh, you take out no. the vial and we'll just put a sample? In the vial, and maybe that's a bit better. Okay. So you uh, you um, uh, empty a bit of wine from one of the caskets in in a vial. Yeah. And uh, in what vial? In the vial with the writing on it, or in a random vial? <laughs> I wanted to do something like that with the other one, but uh, no, just an ordinary vial. For okay. Now. Yes. It, the the wine pours and. Uh, Smells kind of similar to the one that that you've had uh, at the wedding. Okay. Question. There's no discernible differences between the two. Yes. Do we still uh, are in love with the Kero Ke Ke Lola? Funnily enough, you're still a bit tipsy from the wine. But we love her. Ah uh, no, we you do not her. love her. A However, little bit. there's a bit of doubt in your uh, mind that what you're doing right now is. 
right? Right, and uh, I mean, she definitely looks like she's a very nice woman. Uh, okay. You are happy for Peregrine. Uh, Try putting some of the wine as well in the fancy flask. See what right. happens, you right. know. So I do that. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you drink it and you see if you fell uh, more in love with your Lola or not. Well, okay. Well, some that option. <laughs> this isn't so, dangerous. I you don't pour know. some wine into the vial. Love isn't dangerous. I love danger. <laughs> As you put some wine in the vial and it flows inside, you see it like flowing on the bottom of the vial and as if it's swirling by itself there and you feel like a slight magical resonance of the vial. <gasps> they guess. <laughs> wow. Exclaiming. <laughs> hmm. So what do you think it means? Well it's well actually as an artificer you will know that if maybe one of the these arcane flasks has been tuned to creating a spell or creating a, a magical effect, usually when it has a recipe recipe of uh, of uh, reagents. When an actual reagent gets poured that is attuned to the recipe that it has, it might react with the uh, with the vial. Oh, next one needs blood. Hey. I know, it's okay. I'll, I'll cut myself this time. No, put him. He made the pack with the Del Diablo, it's okay. He needs all the blood. No, he's old. Look at his mouth. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> he barely has any blood. He's dead, my blood. <laughs> blood. He looks a bit pale, it though. He is the only <laughs> way to win. Okay. He's is old and evil. Oh, <laughs> you've hurt me one point of the match. Oh, it hurts so much. <laughs> It's too brute. It's too brute. Can we put Ebenezer out of his misery? Can <laughs> <laughs> you kill? Okay. <laughs> Twenty stabs it took to kill poor Ebenezer. I'm sorry. Do you age ten years every time you took one? Every time I speak. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I am five hundred years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I am five hundred years old. I'm a okay, mummy. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so you put some blood from him in, in the vial. As that happens, you notice that uh, on the... Actually, no, it does have a reaction. On the, the, the four corners of the, the label that has been inscribed in the vial, uh, you see that there's a faint glow in the first and fourth corner. <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> We put only half of the ingredients. Oh. Let's try to enjoy your next. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe oh we need so some dirt. soil. Yes. Some so fertile soil. And some water. The ground, the, grapes. the gray. And some sky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm just... From I'm just brainstorming you know. here. <laughs> it's it's why I I got shifted. And I just good at following orders. Yes. If you keep the storming part, we're keeping the brain part. Okay. <laughs> good. Okay. Good. You're great at that. You're the best. Mm. <laughs> they flex. <laughs> <laughs> we have to flex, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, uh, <laughs> first and fourth. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope I don't choke. That's what oh, she said. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Moving on to uh, the first and fourth room. Them rooms. So I mean they're yeah. shiny, yeah. We've added <laughs> the flood. <laughs> and then the essence of the sky. Which is water. <laughs> yes, is the rain water. Uh, and, and then the ground. <laughs> the ground. Uh, <laughs> oh no, your accent. <laughs> Which is dirt. <laughs> that was not my place. <laughs> 
Do you like take yeah. any type of dirt? In the outside from the vineyard. The dirt. Okay. <laughs> because this this place is kind of dirty. Too. No. Oh. Okay, so outside. Let's go outside. Okay. So you will sprinkle a bit of uh, dirt from, from outside, from the ground. Yes. Outside. Do you go? The... Do you go and pick some some dirt uh, <laughs> from uh, <laughs> next to the to the grape vines? Yes. Or just like some random dirt? dirt. No, it, from the grape vines. Okay. As you you put some some dirt from the grape vines, uh, you see it mixing with the other uh, elements there, and um, the second rune lights up. <gasps> Oh, now, doing do we have any <laughs> rainwater, like lake, uh, like uh, Balto? <laughs> Puddle. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Translations. Uh, yeah. <laughs> would it, yeah. would it work if I make the a firebolt out of water? Eh? What? <laughs> what? magical fireball. I don't me. know. I guess. <laughs> I'm asking. You're the brain. But wouldn't it work if we just put like a bit of regular water? I don't know. I mean, we have. Uh, I have a flask. Wait. Can you can you try? You have water skins if you want water. Yeah. You want to put water inside? Okay. Um, Do you think we're gonna ruin it? Yep. Yeah. But we can try again, We right? can start on so. over, he looks fine. <laughs> 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 I've got nine months to live, it's fine. <laughs> All we need to add now is the new life. I suppose that would be me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <your> old life. <laughs> I'm with me, Ebenezer. <laughs> I'm with me. So, uh, maybe a bit of the plant. Uh, the plant or the water? What is water, yeah. I vote water. So water, you put water. 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 Okay. El agua. Okay. El agua. You, you put a bit of water inside the, the vial and as you put it in, there's a fizzle and oh, no. the water disappears. However, the rest of the mixture stays there and it looks like it's swirling in by itself. And the free rooms are still lit. Yes, the, the third one is not. Okay. Uh, the plant. The plant. Looking at the plant, what part specifically do you pick? Um, the embryo. The um, a grape. Just a grape. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as you put the grape inside, there's another fizzle, and uh, the the ingredients. <sighs> No. Or the bulb. Maybe it's the swirly. Uh, I don't know the, anything about the plants. Well, I would know it. How do you can't we put <gasps> the grape because the grape is sweet and it makes the vintage? He just, he just put, put the grape. grape. But what about the sap? That's the sap. sweet. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. that's very good. I like it. Wait, I take my dagger out and I just cut. Mm -hmm. It's it still the grape sap. sap. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, come here. Put, put the vial here. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, you're doing such a good job. There's again the fizzle and nothing happens. No. Oh. It was not the roots. Try spitting in it. Uh, can someone no. make it rain, but not with money, like the water? <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to put a bit of uh, a, a, part, a cut leaf, just a, a regular leaf from the um, vine. <gasps> put the eh, put the one that change the color. That you have from the wedding. I think he brew those. And not all of them. Uh, all of them? You, you puke in the flask. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like. Oh <laughs> my god! Do we have a crow? A uh, raven? No. A raven? <gasps> Essence of the sky makes the vintage, the vintage is called raven. raven. There mm. might be some birds around and. Any ravens. I'm not killing balls. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> what, what if we. I mean, maybe if you spend a bit of time here. Or maybe look for a feather or something like that. Yeah. Drop ears. I could try looking for a feather. I okay. Can throw axes at rape. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a solution for everything. Please roll survival checks. Who wants to look for? Uh, I'll help. So straight roll. Yep. That's not it. So <laughs> it's a forty exploded. Chaos. Chaos uh, in shoes. I am a twenty-three. Okay. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, 10. 22. 
Oh my god! Both of you tell! You rolled only 20! You manage to find actually the feather of a raven while you find the feather of a different bird. It's something smaller, maybe a sparrow or or such. There are a few birds flying around, but it's it would be difficult to catch one. Maybe okay. at least without without killing it, it would be nice. Also. No, <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. fine. Okay. We we need to see if this works because we we already have the blood of man, and it doesn't say anything about the blood of a raven or exactly. Okay, it so is the new life. A baby. So I guess we'll try the raven feather, then the sparrow feather, and then a raven. Uh, sapling from uh, the glowing... So uh, the first thing is you try a raven feather. Yes. Okay. As you place the raven feather uh, in, inside the bottle, like it immediately starts shaking a bit and all of the catalysts mix together. Woo! And it produces this uh, glowing substance. I'm a that fucking genius, bruh. <laughs> that has a very similar aura to uh, the abjuration one that you felt, that you, you felt from uh, the whole floor back earlier when you had the tech magic. Mm. Mm. Oh, look what we did! Can we... What do we do with it? Uh, maybe if we pour it on the floor a little bit? That's all we drink it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what we... Uh, what if we turn... I'm like not drinking concrete. We, we don't have concrete evidence right now. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Psychic damage! Psychic yeah. damage! <laughs> I can't afford it! In Pennsylvania, there should be a new type of damage. Pun damage. Oh, oh yes! yes. Yeah. Pun cheat damage! Line damage! Oh, 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 oh. TPK. So TPK by jokes, but too many puns. Yeah. Yeah. IRL TPK. Okay, so, so what do you do? <laughs> So, do we drink it? Do we pour it? Uh, let's try to pour it first because yeah. it can't hurt us, I think. Uh, then we can make a new one. So. Yeah, now that we know how to. I mean, there, there's bound to be feathers like all over and blood. We still have a bit of blood. I mean. Yeah, a lot. If needed more, you can punch me in the face and I can have a good boy. It's fine, it's in not the, like the, the first the, time, you know. If, if we punch you in the face, the blood stays behind the face. But I spit. They just saliva. First he snorts and then Oh, no. We need to hold oh. your face. If we punch you in the face, ah, we hurt I ourselves. To, I, I took a, a glass of a drink of juice I should not have at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> we all have to the caffeine. You, right. you win the TM dice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go to the shabby shack. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, shabby shack. Okay. Yes. And okay, we tried to pour a bit of. Uh, As a few drops from your vial touch the floor, it immediately starts becoming see-through more and more. It almost fades away until you can barely see it being transparent, revealing a set of stairs that go down below into an area that appears to be unlit. But can I see a Yes, yes, you, you do see that it's about one and a half floors down and then there's a uh, wooden floor that you can see beneath. Okay, so there's something, there's definitely something down there. I can see a bit of a ground, but I can't see much, so let's approach. Torch. Cautionally, yes, with torches, definitely, because I will not be carrying you this time. Okay. We don't want this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but... Before you go, go. Fireball on. <laughs> okay, so what's your marching order going down? Uh, Second. Yeah, yeah, let's listen. One, two, um, yeah. Bernie first. I can go third. Ebenezer, go fourth. Nisa, Bodrum, and Nisa. Yeah, but the last one. Okay. <laughs> so all <laughs> of you <laughs> go okay. down. Exciting. Into the, the room below with, uh, with torches. And the I burnt go out with batch. just the match. <laughs> and controlling the flame like this. <laughs> All we need are for okay. now. And uh, <laughs> I, I <laughs> do... <laughs> Sorry? Pitchforks? Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Frank and, is uh, dying. As you are going down, 
I would uh, ask for your help to reveal a bit what I have oh, here. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, it's coming. By the very next day, you gave it away. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> to see me, friend, I give it to someone. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, <laughs> as you go down, Is that you those? enter a room with very cool props. Mm -hmm. Here. Out rolling hills, crowding. Yeah. yeah. That the okay. table, table looks awesome. They are yes, amazing. It does. Look at this. Look at the parents. Oh, oh, so do we have a crown? A crown. I have okay. yeah. Yeah. to take the uh, crown. <coughs> I don't have a crown. Oh, no. A crown? No. Je, je oh, what what initiative, man? What <laughs> yeah, the yeah, I I hey, children, children. Okay. Let's uh, focus here a bit. So as you enter the the room, you see that uh, first of all there are a bunch of of chairs around that uh, replicate the ones with the red uh, silk. Uh, that were also upstairs. You see that this room appears to be a pretty big lab that contains a bunch of, uh, of caches of reagent and um, a, a, a table with, uh, uh, with wine bottles on it and a pretty sophisticated looking alchemy bench nearby. Oh! Que bonita! What would you like to do? Okay. Uh, drink the wine and throw a party. Wait. But I'm going to keep watch as my wind blows and gets this back on track. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, no, ghost! <laughs> yeah. uh, let's inspection. Yes. Okay. So, what I would you like to inspect? Yeah, okay, my table. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Uh, we both go to that. Now we have table. interactive. Uh, I'm going to go to the other side. Oh, that's yours. Yes. It looks a lot more fierce. On this side? Uh, yes, or on the other table, what is it? Wine bottles. Okay, I will inspect Where the will wine bottles. I'll probably just uh, stay around uh, like one of the doors like uh, further here and just uh, try probably to listen what's beyond the other door. And yeah, me too. Too. I'll try to keep an eye out. Okay. What is this here? Uh, that appears to be uh, an uh, anvil on top of a barrel. Ooh. Might be useful for something. And then there are two containers. Yes. Okay. Is it a golden anvil? It is not a golden anvil. It's oh, a pretty regular looking bad. anvil. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll try to listen beyond the door if anything. Okay, so Bernie and Ebenezer first. Uh, you can roll perception checks both. <laughs> Eighteen. Eleven. Okay. Neither of you can hear any kinds of sound kind of sounds coming in from the door beyond. Right. Now let's get back a bit to the other investigations. Um in how about? Uh, investigation, yes. It's an eleven. Okay. Um looking around you see that it's it looks like a, a sampling desk of different types of, of wine. Um, you notice they have different colors to them, and uh, there is a bit of, of a smell of something that is uh, unnatural, that is uh, artific uh, artificial, and it, it's different from each bottle. Uh, all the bottles here are unmarked, but there are a bunch of labels that are set down near. The bottles do resemble the ones of Ravenblood. Uh, okay, I will uh, complain about this to those two out loud. Okay. What's going on? Uh, there's something unnatural about these bottles of wine, which is a sample of the Raven Blood uh, wine. Did you try I, tasting? Uh, I'm not gonna taste it. Do I look like uh, the ones with the chiki chiki, the chiki bone that you experiment on? No. I do. <laughs> you, you, yeah, try to try on them. <laughs> but okay. before that, Nisa and uh, Vodrum. So I take a bit of my uh, luck potion uh, to give me guidance. 
Do, do I this is you just motivate the fact that uh, you have a drinking problem. Yeah. <laughs> no. Lack potion. I guide myself. <laughs> I I've been trying to make him to get him to quit, but honestly. I've been trying to get a friend that can do that as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, do you want to inspect the alchemy lab? Uh, yes, we we both like to do it together. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, I would say that Vodrun uh, will do an investigation check with uh, advantage, advantage, and I will give him expertise in this case as well. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. There's, there's different. It's literally his subclass. I mean, yeah. You cannot get more fit, f more fitting to do also this. Also for the thirty. Yeah. Let's see if we can beat that thirty. Do you want to roll the dice? No, I've been rolling for your night. Okay. <laughs> I think this is... Oh, look at this guy. Uh, I have so no idea see. what I'm doing. 12, uh, 16, and 23. 23. 23. Okay, so, Just a um, you notice <laughs> that uh, on this alchemy lab, there's a bunch of supplies uh, that are used to distill, that are using distillation of magical energy, like turning the actual power from a source of magic into some sort of reagent you can apply to other concoctions. You are very certain of um, the type of, of uh, reagents that are created because there are a bunch of scrolls of charm person faded and depleted onto the table. And there is different types of, of flasks containing a liquid that very strongly resembles what uh, Bernie has been looking for all this time. It's very clear that uh, what's produced here is some sort of, of, um, <coughs> of, of, of an addition to be added to another type of drink to produce a level of... of uh, um, Infatuation. Not really. It's actually a, a level of charm person that would work more like a, an enhancement of the drink or the potion. Or whatever you apply it to, and uh, judging by uh, Imhaba's uh, remarks, her table contains different types of experimentations with levels of this substance being added to uh, wine. Hey. So this is our proof. We should take this paper bag. This is definitely proof. Let's bag everything. As yes. you are bagging stuff and investigating. Yes you hear some faint footsteps that are only almost barely audible coming from the door that you have just used to enter this laboratory. Let's hide. As you don't really no have time. time. <laughs> no, it's actually you, you just hear a footsteps and the door opening. And uh, no. uh, in the doorway, there is no. Kelora. <gasps> uh, <looking>. No! <laughs> <laughs> Unexpected, huh? There is Kelola that uh, enters uh, the room, looks around. How dare you trespass? Kelola, my How dare microphone. you violate my. Sorry? I found my microphone. No. Do you actually do that? No, because it has to first raise it and then shut Do you actually pull out a weapon? Don't I have it? Like, it's a. No. But you need to, yeah, like, yeah, unshield yeah. it then. Oh, you okay, unshield your no, weapon. No, 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 no. Okay, it's too long. Like, uh, unless you, you plan to just yeah. try to surprise the tiger. Well, I mean, she's looking at you. No, I fine. think she was the surprise. <laughs> yeah. Well, she was a surprise for you, but uh, yeah. I'm just telling you that uh, she's stepping inside. Uh, she continues like, uh, how dare you violate my domicile? Well, what gives I, you the right? I'll, I'll be honest with you, the party was quite boring. Like, no dancings on the tables, no jolly music and such. No no offense, I'm not accustomed to this. So, um, yeah, we Let want to make another... it up for you. Another, I can provide adventure. more suitable entertainment if you wish. And uh, she <laughs> raises her hand and uh, you see that uh, from the ground behind her, um, two vines burst in and... and uh, 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 intertwine. Intertwine and block the door, and uh, oh, suddenly no. you, you see her uh, eyes going black, and uh, her uh, like like a veil of illusion from herself uh, retracts, and uh, you see that beneath it uh, lies a, uh, a a creature with the proof. yes the proof we're gonna be having it here mm -hmm. lies a creature with uh, green skin. 
um, multiple uh, strands of 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 roots and bark that are are jutting out of her and a uh, <laughs> and a uh, a sword that is made out of of a long uh, vine with spikes and uh, she as she cracks her neck I'll show you what happens to intruders here and this is her oh uh, and we will roll for initiative right after the raid <laughs>
and we're back. Bye. Last time we left it off before the break, as our heroes have uh, uncovered uh, Kelora's hideout in which she was producing her um, signature wine, the Raven's Blood, and imbuing it with uh, enchantment magic that has corrupted the people around her that have consumed the wine. Oh no. And I am very happy to announce that uh, the players at the table who have drank the actual physical wine will be affected by the mechanics that I have planned for today. No! Crap! <laughs> yes, that's all of us! Yes, you tricked yes us. I was watching each and every one of them. Does it count how much? Uh, no, it does not. You tricked us with the wine, that's... That's uh, wholesome on one side then. Yeah. Are you also affected because you also drank? Ah. Yes, I get more powerful from it. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Well, nice. that's great. So, <laughs> well, uh, anyway, uh, they have discovered her secret underground laboratory, and as they have made their conclusions that uh, she's actually doing this, she has stepped into the room, has blocked the door, has faced them and has promised that she will show them what she does with intruders that trespass. Let's roll initiative! Yeah! <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Okay, I forgot to roll. Okay. I hope this is my lucky... Lucky... Okay. Okay, everyone rolled? Yes. yes. Okay, in turn. Vodrun. 19. Uh, Nisa. 13. Uh, Bernie. Uh, 6. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I always roll for it. Uh, in Hava. I have a 10. And last but not least, 22! Even is oh. oh! Yes, you're big enough to block all of us. Hey, what was your name? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. So. She has entered the door, conjured up the vines that block the, the exit path. And uh, as she faces you, she charges up some sort of, of, of spell that uh, uh, makes her eyes go green. And there's some green energy in her hands. But before that, Ebenezer, you may act before. I will take my two-handed crossbow that is made of gold and has two dragons on it mm -hmm. and fire upon her. Two dragons. Two dragons. Two dragons. Okay. Golden dragons. Uh, there's 17 hits. 17, like you, you see her, that there's these um, barky tendrils that are around her and they try to block one of the bolts, but it shoots through and hits her. Yes! For, oh no, uh, uh, 9 points of damage. Okay, yeah, okay, so your bolt just pierces her uh, uh, her um, defenses and, and hits her and there's a small scream behind her as she gets hit. Would you like to do anything else? Mm, where am I? Back there. Um, where is the... Thank you. Can I go, like, around there? Yes, you may. Right here? Okay. Yeah. Hiding under Inhaba. Very good. <laughs> and I'll not hide because she can clear see me. And that's it. Okay. It's going to be um, kind of her turn. Um, oh, kind no. of. Kind of. She says, you are here posing as judge and jury, but I will be your executioner. Mm -hmm. Oh. I sense an aura upon you. Enough. Let's see how that works. Everyone make a wisdom saving throw. Oh. So, why it has to be wisdom? Oh, oh. This is a straight roll. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I need to roll my oh, dice so again. <laughs> why do I look so shitty? <laughs> Um, yeah, it's gonna be bad. Oh. I'm gonna. Oh From no! Oh no! Oh no! No, so. no, 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 no! Everyone rolled it? Yes. Okay, Vodrum. 
a uh, natural 20 for a 22. Oh, <laughs> oh my what? god! Hey. You should rub the dice. Please play with my dice. <laughs> Please play with my dice. <laughs> okay. Um, Nisa. 18. It's a 9. Then I can't believe it because I have a plus 5. Okay, and how about? I also have a 9. <laughs> Bernie? I have a 10. Oh, oh great! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ebenezer. Free. I'm fucking back. Okay. You all start hearing some whispers and mumbles in your head, which will clear up as we reach your turns. Oh, no. Oh, I feel But first, no. uh, Vodrun. You manage to shrug off, even though you are a bit hazy, and uh, the effect that has been uh, that has been upon you since you have drank drank the wine is a bit um, present. You manage to power through that, and you may act on your turn normally. He doesn't really pay attention to anybody. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. So. I think I will uh, grab a flask, okay. uh, one with alcohol, <laughs> and of course, I infuse the magic of a spell slot in it, okay. and I chug it, and uh, I would move to Bunny and give it to him. Chug it to him, uh, give it to... putting it on his belt, on his... in his open palm. You whatever. may freely, as an action, may freely stash the potion that you have created uh, in Bernie's uh, uh, belt, like one of the letter statues. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. For, for easy access. In his gapy mouth. Uh, <laughs> and he'll bite uh, the flask with the glass yes. and swallow it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the screw and everything. You may also they feed can. Bernie a potion as an action if you wish. Oh, can I? Okay. Yes, you may. If Bernie is... Okay. Yes, don't want his foot. I mean, what? he's already my best friend. He gave me alcohol yeah. before, so yeah, yeah sure. Go this ahead. is alcohol too. Good one. Good. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> okay, so you feed the uh, Bernie oh, the potion. Yes. What potion do you actually feed him? A boldness potion. Oh. You can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to every attack roll and saving throw you make for the next minute. For the next wow. minute. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Nice. okay, nice. Wow. Would you do, like to do anything else? Uh, no, that takes out... Uh, takes yeah. um, Movement, everything. would you like to stay there? Side um, okay, of your I head guess I would off. go back to Nisa and stay um, here in front of her, trying to provide cover. And that would be my turn. Okay. So dreamy. A D4. D4. To save and yeah. attacks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. It is going to be uh, Kelora's turn. Again? Okay. Yeah. Was, that wasn't her turn. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Okay. So, um, no. Oh, she oh, will oh, finish oh. focusing up the, the spell she was, she was preparing. And as she uh, extends her hand forward, uh, this uh, poisonous wave just uh, uh, ripples out and uh, actually she will do, come here and do it and uh, everyone except Bernie, please make a constitution saving throw. Can uh, we use the shield as a reaction? No, it's okay. not an attack. Okay, I just tried it. Oh god, yes. Oh, it's good. <laughs> Enough. I'm going to buy this. I will call them. I'll call you out uh, individually, Vodron. Um, this is the same die that I use in Iceras, by the way. And if you want me to change it, I will change it. I, I don't okay. want you to change it. It's fine. It's a twenty-one. Okay, twenty-one. <laughs> you will take seven points of poison damage. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Nisa. It's a natural one. Oh. You will take fourteen points of poison oh. damage. Oh. In Haba. 18. I am. They take 7 points of poison down, damage. Almost done, guys. They, they chocolate. Ebenezer. 22. 7 points of poison damage. Oh my god. I love how you copy my accent. I know, it's like a virus. And she will have a virus. <laughs> virus, virus, virus. It's contagious. <laughs> Do you think you are going to escape this place? Escape with my I secret. So. <laughs> <laughs> and next up. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. 
Next up is going to be uh, Nisa. Yeah. I am very badly wounded, so this last hit uh, made me just fall down. I crouch underneath the table and I'm trying to get covered. I will use my potion, which I think is... Oh, it's a greater healing potion. The wow. <laughs> oh, you got a big one! Oh, I got the oh, big God. one! So the way you use them, like the really fancy, fancy potions, you just yes. pour out yes. the D force. That's how you oh. roll them. Oh no, yes, I but I, I think two of them are I stuck. <laughs> hey, he, he, let me help no. you. No, it's stuck. It's stuck. No, it's not. No, no, it's not. Oh my God, they're, they're so pretty. Okay, oh, please no. help me. I've been rolling ones all night. I, I'm sure Diana's magic will help you. Yes. No I, dice. <laughs> It a four, a four, a three. Oh my god, so it's. Oh, double three. Three, four, 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 Plus, uh, plus two, right? Plus four. Oh, plus, plus four, which is a set. Oh, wow, that's that's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, okay, so I catch my breath uh, because this is. Catching. <laughs> okay. And I'm, I'm definitely. You still have an actual left. What? Wait, because there. What? 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 There's an error in Candy Beyond. An error? What hey, I don't, I, don't what what? I don't know what it is. What? I don't know. Wait, did something yeah. crash? Candy Beyond also <laughs> fell <laughs> one. Pretty fresh. Pretty fresh. Uh, stop using the name. What is the Beyond Let's and all that? Figure it out later and tell me your action <laughs> that you would have wanted to do. Um. Okay, so, so I are all good. I'm going to get up. Uh, I'm quite angry. I'm gonna cast Frostbite on uh, on her. Okay, roll me so, a d10 before you do that. A d10? Oh Four no, I forgot time. about that. Uh, can you play with my d10 as well, <laughs> Sildrim? How much? What's wrong with me? It's a one. Oh okay. no, no, I mean... <laughs> I don't, it's, it, I mean, you will it's cast not. that Thank on you. Bernie instead. <gasps> oh! I no! Oh, yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I missed the cold for <laughs> up north. Freeze! <laughs> <laughs> you need to roll me a con save. Yeah. No, I just need the cold. You need to roll me a con save. Con save. Oh, no. Plus a d4. That's good. That's good. That's Plus good. a d4, yes. Yeah. Uh, no, that's that's the fault. Please roll the fault. Uh, okay. So. Uh, 60. Yes! Okay, it was a third you do not take the, the the damage. However, your turn is over. Would you like to move? Anywhere? I will stay under the fucking table. So after that, I will be like, Thank you, Nisa. The gentle, cold breeze of my homelands well, reinvigorates me. Be cool uh, about it, okay? All right. <laughs> okay. It was so cold, my hair is not white. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, your uh, your turn has ended. Uh, in Haba, what would you like to do? Um, in Haba, we'll look the Kelola in the eyes and say, Kaya de la boca, el diablo bruja, and I will hex her. I understand. Uh, what would you like to do after the hex? Uh, the, uh, I would like to do, use the firebolt. I understand. Please roll me a d10. Uh, okay. okay. It's a two. Okay. Why are you laughing? <laughs> oh, one, two, the next one will be a three. On her, like your image shifts before you and you, you, you call out this insult and instead you hex Ebenezer. Oh. And you cast Firebolt at him. God dang it! Um, I'm sorry. How much damage? Hey, please, uh, roll. you roll an attack. Uh, I need, you need to, I need to roll to attack. Oh, I try, to, I will use the other die that I roll. Actually, with. you will roll with disadvantage since you are in melee with Ebenezer. Hey, oh. I love it. Uh, it's a 3 plus a 7, it's a, no, it's a plus a, yes, a 7, it's a 10. Okay. So as um, Imhaba turns towards you like with, with a very crazy look in her eyes and she prepares firebolt, you uh, realize at the last second what's happening and you just dodge it and the firebolt 
Uh, also for hex, I have to use a ability check to. Yes, uh, what we, what you have used? Uh, not the wisdom, of course. Uh, it's, okay. <laughs> it's ability checks, not saves. I know. Uh, okay, it's a uh, uh, charisma. Okay, charisma. That seems a bit meta gaming, but I'll allow it. Mm, okay. Any, anything <laughs> else? Would you like to move? No. Uh, no, no. I would like to uh, move around the table. Where exactly? This is uh, a wall. Hide behind the Venice. Okay. So here, clumped up. Uh, yes. I understand. Okay. Oh, she's going to move on the table. Uh, this is it. Okay. Bernie, what would you like to do? Right? Um, Save us. I told you guys we should have chopped all the trees now, so chop, chop! And uh, I'll just take the great axe and just charge towards her with a swing. Okay, please roll me a d10. Oh no. Uh, six. I understand. Yes, you manage, like, even though your vision is blurred and you, you feel yourself, like, almost getting stopped by, like, another uh, entity in your head uh, as there are whispers of, 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 of um, restraint and, and uh, uh, that you are not doing the right thing. You manage to actually go towards her, charge at her, and make your attack as normal. The cold help! Oh, right. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Never bothered you anyway, huh? <laughs> and now we've got before as well. Uh, so, uh, give me a second. All right. So, wait, no. Uh, oh, here. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's good. That's like I don't know. A hundred. Twenty-seven. It might hit. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, so. Max damage as well, so that's a uh, 16 points of so We are so damage. lucky to have the bear and the John Oates in our uh, party. Okay, so um, you, you, you swing your axe at Kilola again, she, she tries to block with the vine. Your axe cuts through the vine and, and into her chest. And uh, you, you do notice, like, as she, she uh, uh, pulls back in pain, uh, your axe did not really. I mean, for, for you to hit a human like this, it would definitely have put, put uh, the human down. But she looks like she's definitely a kind of supernatural being and resistant to this Not kind that. of... Uh, okay, okay. Okay? Uh, um, anyway, she did appear to be very damaged okay. by... Uh, and as you pull back, you notice her uh, clutching the wound she has, and there is this grayish liquid, the same that you have seen in the forest, falling out mm. instead of blood. Anything else that you would like to do? So that was my action plus movement. Yeah, by the way, I moved her face. Her yes, face. Yes, you, you are like right in melee with her. Okay. Okay, anything else? And uh, I just... Uh, this axe is not good at chopping this tree missed out. So Maybe just, uh, my description was a bit wrong. Uh, she is not did not appear to be resistant to physical damage. She just appeared to be very tough. Yeah, okay. But uh, still, do? yeah. Okay. I'll... Uh, I have a better solution, and I just throw the uh, axe down. Okay. And um, as a bonus action, then I will rage. And uh, as I rage, I just uh, don't be scared. And I'll just uh, huff and puff. And uh, as I do this, I crawl <laughs> a little bit. And uh, again, muscles start growing. The shirt t-shirt i have i had on me just rips apart it hulks as, out it hulks out exactly <laughs> as i grow tiny little bit in size and yeah, i grow um, uh, brown fur all over my uh, oh no uh, <laughs> my, my um, skin and uh, even the face slightly contorts a bit with uh, the now the such uh, yes and i transform wow. into sort of a we bear we have prepared the, for this oh, oh, specifically oh, 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 even wider oh. and I'm like really uh, pretty. <laughs> I'll just rip it apart. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I'm guessing you are done with your turn. Yeah, I'm. Ebenezer. <laughs> I will look at her. I will close my eyes and I prefer to take a disadvantage than shoot someone else. So I'll try to shoot at her with my eyes closed. <laughs> Okay. Will well, that negate the, the 
I will tell you if you choose to pursue this action. I will go with this action. <laughs> okay, so you, you close your eyes and just shoot at her. Uh, you also notice that there is... Uh, yeah, yeah no, you would have line of sight, so it's fine. Um, roll me a d10 before that. <laughs> One. Oh no. And I'll go with the disadvantage, right? A1. You will actually uh, close your eyes and uh, as you, you, you turn towards her, uh, you hear a voice in your head. No. More to the right. More. And you like feel yourself being driven by a magical force and you turn around and you shoot towards uh, Vodrun. Ooh, with disadvantage. So it's a nine. No. Nine. Two. Anything else? No. Okay. So, um, as as uh, you see that that uh, Bernie is transformed into this uh, uh, half human, half uh, bear hybrid, and roars at uh, at uh, Kilala, she uh, uh, takes a step back, and then suddenly. Pff, there's a puff of smoke in front. And she disappears. Oh no. Oh no. And you hear another puff somewhere nearby in the complex. It appears in another place. Vodrun! Okay, I will go look for her. Where? Uh, and I say that loudly. Uh, you have two options. Opening a door will not be an action. Okay, okay. So then I will go in the room behind me. Here? Yes. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. That's what's gonna take you to reach this room. And looking inside, you see it is empty. At least nothing apparent. Okay. Uh, I'll shout. Not even the props, we see. Well, yes, you will see a bunch of, of uh, barrels and baskets of ingredients and wine bottles. Which are very pretty. Yes. yes. Uh, but uh, other than that, uh, you do not see Kelona. I shout back, she's not here. And, she's in the barrel. Uh, <laughs> however, I have uh, left off the, my 30 feet speed. I'll uh, move towards uh, that. That is a wall. There's That's no a wall. Door. Yes, okay. I'm sorry. There's no you door have towards to go that, back. that room. Um, then I will just stand in the doorway with uh, the door open. Can I do that? You would block the door. Wait. Yes, you may. You may reach up until here to stand in the doorway per se. <coughs> but uh, you would block the door. I mean, no, nah, you wouldn't even. You wouldn't even block the door. Okay. Your allies can go diagonally through it. It's a big door. Um, do I have any movement left? No. Okay. Then. Um, then I will uh, uh, double dash. Dash. Thank you. Okay. Yes. I will you will dash. dash. You have and six more squares of movement. And I go one, two, three, four, five, six. You can barely be in front of this door, but you'd have to pass through it so that it opens. Oh, so I can just open it and... Uh, no, that's, that's like just standing in front of it and opening it. Like, I, I'm okay with you, like, okay. going to the door and opening it just with your normal movement. But then you actually picking inside would be... An action. Okay. Do you then move there? You might, there might be something if you see. Uh, you're you're not sure. Just, I, I'm just saying that you would not be able to even... To, wouldn't have time to just look inside and inspect okay. the room. Uh, would you do so? Yes. Would I block the door? No, oh, I, I'm guessing your allies can go past you. Okay. It's fine. I'll do that. As you go here, you do notice that some uh, tree beams of, of, of something go flying towards you. It is scorching ray. <laughs> With the ray. So, uh, as you stand there, you, you suddenly, you actually get a glance of, of Kelola that is uh, firing some spells at you. And uh, two of them, the beams actually hit you, even though you are covered by the door. They are very accurate. And uh, you take five points of poison damage from the first one, and three points of poison damage from the second. 
Um, Fire Dream Free. Ok. Yeah. Nisa. I yell uh, that she's in here. Uh, your allies can clearly see that you went to the door and uh, yeah. as you peeked inside you got attacked and like uh, pulled back like being hit with uh, this and, and coughing and having this this uh, sizzling spots on you. Bonus action? Uh, yes, let's do it. Ooh, yes! The potions are too pretty not to use them as a bonus action. Yeah. I had to use it. So it's um, 6 plus 2, 8 healing. Okay. Wait, did, were you have a full health before this? Uh, without one hit point. Oh, you may not use it in that case because uh, you were damaged after your turn ended. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, she had already. Yeah. No, she actually did her turn, but you had yeah. nothing else oh, left. Okay, I see. I see. That's right. Put them back. Uh, put them back. Can use them again. Yeah. I'll put them back in the pocket. Scoop it back again. <laughs> yeah. I'm not mad. I get to use it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Nisa. Okay, uh, how what much would you like it to do? Uh, take me to get to... One, two, three, four, five, six. From here, you might be able to pick inside. Okay, that's uh, that's perfect. Yeah, uh, take me there. Uh, I see what... You do see, you do see Kelona inside. She has a bit of cover. Okay, um, first, are you hurt? I'm okay. You're okay. okay. He looks a bit hurt. Not a lot, but a bit. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm worse than you at this point. Um, if I do see her, am I, let's say, 60 feet away from her? Yes, you are closer than 60 feet. Closer than 60 feet, okay. Specifically, I can tell exactly how close. You are, oh, one, two, three, four, six. You are 30, 35 feet away from her. Okay, that's perfect. But she has I... a bit of cover from the door. Wait. Okay. Um... I will try to cast Ice Knife. Okay, so you cast Ice Knife, you first have to see if you hit her, but then regardless, she'll make a save to see if she, uh, like, she charts, explodes uh, near her anyway. Yeah. So first of all, roll to see if you hit her. I Actually, really before that, do a d10. Do a d10 before I really... Oh 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 oh. I'm right there. <laughs> 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 I forgot about it. <laughs> We all did. <laughs> hey, at least if you hit me, it's with disadvantage. It's a six. You manage to focus enough that you cast the ice knife at her. As you see her, you see her image blurring for a second, but you concentrate, and when it lines up, you pew, fire the ice knife. <sighs> okay, and. Wait, uh, can I. I can't use guidance as a bonus action, right? The guidance will not help you either way. Yeah. And it's an action, it's a cantrip, and it, it's just yeah. for ability checks. I thought so. I was trying. You're thinking of True Strike, the worst cantrip in oh. game. <laughs> How much? No. You know? It's a two plus, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, so you fire the ice knife and uh, she just pulls a bit away, like it, 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 it flies next to her, but at that moment poof, it explodes in different shards and she has to make a dexterity saving throw, yes. am I right? She will make it. Does she still take damage? Uh, it's, if a she... spell. it's a what? Uh, I rolled a 17. Uh, I'm guessing it passes. It passes. But does, it, she, does it, she take half damage in that case? She might. Because usually spells are like that, like first level spells. Uh, not actually. Uh, or take to see the two d six of cold damage. It doesn't say you. Uh, okay. Oh, so, so as yeah. the ice knife explodes near her, uh, again one of the vines just raises up from the ground and uh, choo -choo -choo, he gets attacked by the the tree uh, shards of ice that has have uh, come from the ice knife and uh, she just dismisses the the vine falls on the ground and she takes no damage. Anything else? I don't have movement anymore. Right? No, you do not. No, okay, I'm gonna. Okay, in Haba. Cry. Uh, I would like to go through the uh, door as much as I can with my 30 feet of movement. So I can have a chance to shoot. You might stand in the door if you want. 
Either that or at the door just to fire through it here. Okay, if I fired... Uh... In that place, I would say, since the door was already open, okay. and that, you would have normal line of sight to her. Like, no penalty. I would like to use the scorching ray on her. I understand. Please roll me a d10. Oh my. It's a two. Is it two? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's on you, I think. Um, it's going to... You are going to fire... Uh, you know what, roll me two other d10s. Oh, 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 no. oh, no! Can I have another d10? Yes. Let's I see where you're going with this. Yeah. It's a five and a five. Okay. Oh, we're going to fire two of the scorching rays at uh, uh, at uh, Kelora, and then when you fire the third one, you like do not manage to focus, and it, it flies up into the ceiling erratically, going towards Bernie. So make an attack, two attacks against Kelora. You're gonna yeah, burn yeah. him. <laughs> uh, it's a, a seventeen. Uh, to hit. Yes, that actually, like, well, when, again, she, she is covered by this, this uh, uh, appendages, and when you fire it, like, it barely scratches one and it hits her. Roll damage. Oh. Uh, okay. 16 hits. I would like to use a meta magic empowered spell to reroll okay. uh, uh, five dice. Can I reroll the others? No. Like, no, okay, just these two. two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, an 8 damage. 8 is just 2d6 plus nothing, no? Yeah. 8. 8. And then again. Uh, another attack, yeah. yeah. See if you it's a 21. Okay, sir. 21. It's an 11. Damage. Yeah, nice. Okay. <laughs> yes, uh, again, like two of the spells, like just. Uh, fire spell. damage. Yes, uh, it doesn't appear that fire damage hurts her particularly, but your spell, like she, she appears to be have scorch marks and the 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 the, the vines around her just uh, move and, erratically. And now I'm gonna roll the, the bad one. Yeah, the bad one. It's a one natural one. Yes. Oh, yeah. And the third scorch <laughs> ray just flies off into the ceiling. Through the roof. Without any roof. effect. Oh no! Anything I will else? be one collapse. The roof. Um, uh, is on fire. Fire. <laughs> uh, I have no other bonus action, just the hex I cannot use. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Convert the source. That's it. Okay, Bernie, it's your turn. I'm more than 30 feet away from her, right? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Then um, you'd have like a 1, 2, 3, sword, 4, 5, 6. Yeah. This is the best you could reach. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, without, while using your melee weapons, yeah. you might throw an axe. That would count as, even as an attack. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, so, yeah, as uh, um, I start to rushing, I'll go on all four paws and uh, just. <laughs> And uh, so I'll go as much as my movement allows. Before that, not. roll me a d10. Oh, because then I would, yeah, wanted to take a hand axe and throw it. But, uh, okay. Wait, wait. It's, uh, it's he has a DM d10. A nine. Yeah, wow. it, it uh, goes. How much movement speed do you have? Thirty. Ah, oh, thirty. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Here? And yeah, as I rush through the door, then yeah, just uh, take it out and throw it. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, you should make an attack against it. Range. Uh, it's range, so it's using my dex. No, it's gonna be using your strength. Range does not oh. use your dex. Yeah, uh, it's Unless yeah. it's a finesse weapon. Yeah. yeah. For a thrown weapon. Yeah, Actually, correct. throwing you your crossbow at an enemy, the actual crossbow would be a strong. <laughs> uh, okay, then. Um, I would like to throw plus a d4, back. right? Yes. Mm. This doesn't count. It's all for the night. Okay, so it should that. Have counted. <laughs> yeah, I know, but. Uh, okay, so. Uh, um, Let's see. Um, yeah, it's just a uh, 40. Okay, so uh, as you throw it at her, immediately you see her swinging her sword from in, in an, a downward to upward motion and deflecting the axe, which loudly clinks as it falls down the warehouse for the rock. Anything else? 
Don't worry, I've got another one. <laughs> <laughs> I still maintain your rage because you didn't make another one. Yeah, yeah. Ebenezer. I would like to bonus action hide. Okay. Oh. And then go into that room over there. I understand. And hold an action to shoot her when I see her. D5. Okay. okay. Uh, please roll me a D10. The cowardly but approach. Firing the D1. <laughs> A1. A1. Yes. Ebenezer will take a hide action, go into this room, yeah. and firing stealthily upon. Oh no! <laughs> what? Vodrun. A roll of attack with advantage. Oh, and sneak, sneak attack. attack. <laughs> yeah, be because he's attack. hidden. Yeah. Oh no! Um, oh no! <laughs> 16. Meets. Oh, Don't no, no, be no. a sneak attack. Yes, sneak attack. Prepare your bomb bomb. Oh, it hits? Yes. You it meets, it hits. Okay, so 2d6 plus my d8. Oh, uh, wait. The old one. No. Uh, 11. First, and the D6. Oh! <laughs> <man>. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 21 damage. <laughs> oh, no, maximum. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you dead? Are you okay? Are you okay? So, um, yeah, something pierces my bum bum from behind and <laughs> I'm getting paralyzed. Oh, I'm you down. Are, you are down. I'm down. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm next. I'm also next to him. Yes. Uh, but my round is anything else? <laughs> no. Like in, in a, like a confusion, you you look and you see in the other room you just see Kerola yeah. and you have this this uh, vantage point exactly like as the door is hidden, nobody sees you and you fire oh. and in reality you do shoot at Vodrun right in in his small back and uh, he grabs it and, and just falls <laughs> down on the floor <laughs> unconscious. It was actually Kelola somehow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And after you have shot, you just your vision returns to normal and you do see that you've hit Vodrun uh, very fuck. badly. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> it's okay. Vodrun. Right. Uh, yeah, so, um, right now, everyone's resolve is going to be uh, retested on how uh, the, the charm is going to affect them. Everyone roll a wisdom saving uh, throw. Hopefully. I don't so have to. Oh, you when I yes. <laughs> yes, you do not, actually. <laughs> I will skip you for this one. Oh, <laughs> Ebenezer. 18. Okay. Am I uh, still... Nisa. 13. 13? Inhaba. 17. Bernie. 4. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. alright, buddy. You notice that uh, as you... as you, uh, this, this uh, potion extends its effect, uh, it's a bit stronger now, as you're being in her presence for a longer time. However, some of you have shaken off the effect entirely. Me as well. Vodrun, roll a death saving throw. And no. Please don't make it a one. No, make it one. It's a one. Um, Natural so 20. It's a, it's a straight D20, right? Yes. Okay, it's a four. You have one failed save. It is going to be Helola's turn, and uh, she will uh, raise her sword, and you see her like riding on top of wave of vines and slashing at you two times. Wow! The once is not. You did not uh, recklessly attack, did you? No. No. Okay. First it was attack. Smart attack. I recklessly attack. Oh, uh, but twenty-two that hits. Yeah. Does a fifteen hit you? Just hit, yeah. Sorry, okay, for the first one. It's fine. You will take 10 points of piercing damage. Half. So, five. The second one would be a 16 points of piercing damage. That means eight. Yeah. 
Okay, Lisa, what would you like to do? Okay, so I see Vodron uh, yeah. on the floor. Uh, I go to him. Okay, where did you put it? G- give me, give me the. Before you do that, oh. roll me a bit. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am sorry for what oh, I am about to do. <laughs> hey guys, I, I feel like I'm drinking I... some wine. You know, you can. <laughs> Yes. I brought you wine for everyone. I'll just go backstage and drink. Me, me <laughs> pouring the water. the potion down his uh, the health potion uh, would have been a bonus or a free action. It would have been an action to actually feed oh, someone yeah. a potion. Oh, but okay. before you actually attempt that. Yeah, sure. It's a seven. Eight, eight. You actually managed to do it. Oh, oh. To focus enough oh. that you do it. Oh. However, you hear you hear voices from the other room. Help me. Shut the okay. fuck up, bitch! <laughs> 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 uh, Birch! <laughs> uh, it's just a four. Plus two? Four plus two? Uh, four six. plus two, six. Okay! Yay! Yes. Woohoo! <laughs> Vodrun regains consciousness. Even though on the floor and prone, <laughs> you are no longer in risk of death. And yeah, that on your back. <laughs> Oh. Now is the moment yes. to kiss him. I'm right in front of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one. Kiss him. <laughs> the script says you kiss. <laughs> Do it now. I don't see it. <laughs> what is that? Wait, I'm not supposed to kiss. Let me see the script. <laughs> Waking up is just like I'm still in the dream. Yes. yes. Imagine I see like an angel. stars and imagine hearts and you see the, uh, an angel. An angel. <laughs> yes, an angel. Just imagine is the Snow White and kiss him already. Oh, oh that was me. Oh, oh. Wait, wait. He I painted made, again. I made, oh. I made the this especially for the kiss. What? <laughs> <laughs> I would like, like, from the bottom of my black DM heart, I would like to uh, award each and every one of you a D4 for the kiss of hit points. Oh! I'm sorry, but like, this is a campaign about love, and love conquers all. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. And the damage, uh, hey, good job. Uh, <laughs> okay. Dios mio, why? That would be the moment, why? I, I won't even. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I mean, Hava, you will get an inspiration. Oh. It's something very rare here, but hey, you will I get an inspiration. I will use it in the right time. Okay. okay. <laughs> meanwhile, well, actually, turn. meanwhile, it is your turn, Hava. Let's go. Um, I will, I will uh, use the scorching ray as I see it's uh, very effective. Uh, let me see. Uh, from this point where you are, you will need to get into the room to have I a I will get into side. the room. It's okay. Where, which side would you like to be in? Uh, this one? The, Yes. You would have. Um, and also, um, can I assess without maybe using a bonus action uh, if she has um, maybe, a, you know, like um, a vulnerability or immunity to some type of damage? That's... Okay, I try. Well, maybe. <laughs> um, it's um, pretty obvious she uses a lot of poison type spells. Maybe those were not would not be effective against her. Okay. So I use the scorching ray as I know it. With the flames. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, okay. So I and still roll the, the the three attacks. The the ten? No, you are no longer charmed. <gasps> I yeah. love it. But no, it's a, it's a nine. It's a nine. nine to hit, no. First misses. It's a six. Sixteen. <laughs> what? Uh, wow! What a roller coaster. <laughs> 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 six. 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 No, 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 no. I said sixteen. It's okay. <laughs> a sixteen. Yeah, it's uh, it's Valentine. It's fine. It's okay. Sixteen hits. Yeah. Okay. So um. Sixteen. But you have three, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Eight damage. 
So wait, the third one? The second one. Wait, uh, okay. Never mind. Eight damage. Yes. Okay. And now, and a natural one. Oh. Can I use the the empower spell is only for damage? No. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You may use your inspiration if you wish to. Uh, in advantage and roll another d20 here. Okay. Okay. It's a uh, fifteen. That barely misses. You see that it, like the third no. scorching ray hits uh, her vines and they burn it almost entirely, but it does not have enough power to actually uh, hurt her. As and well. I will go behind the bear and uh, do like a slight crouch. So okay. I would have some cover. Burning. Oh, um, you would like to attack her, With right? my claws, yeah, just and rip, try to rip barks and stuff out of her. But Roll me a yeah. detail. Come on, 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 I'm saying come on for Kilola. Huh? Three. Oh. Play with my die. Now, what happens is that you see her suddenly like taking a defensive stance in front of you and... My dear, I have been hurt. It is the one behind you. Help me, protect me. And as that happens uh, in Havan, you see that Bernie, like in his bishop form, turns around towards you. I use the shield. We have to wait. Yeah, okay. You have to wait. <laughs> you have to wait. <laughs> shield you can use as a reaction when you are actually attacked. Don't attack me, I will murder your family. I will murder you. <laughs> I only <laughs> hear, I only, Bernie at this point uh, only hears in his mind, yes, I will bear your children and bring forth the new, <laughs> the new age of the clan. <laughs> Oh, no. And Bernie anyway. will also recklessly attack. Oh! oh. Can I shield now? Oh. No. Oh, yeah. You oh. have to be hit by an attack. First attack. You have to attack. Oh, okay. Uh, first one, it's... Uh, uh, wait, I still have... Eight. Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a... 17, first one. It hits. It hits. Wait. Now, if you want, you can use shield as a reaction and yes. cause it to fail. Okay. okay. So you're you're a uh, uh, you cast shield. It uh, it blocks his attack, right? What's your AC now? It's uh, plus five. Your normal it's, AC. It's uh, my AC is uh, fifteen. Now your AC is 20. Twenty. Twenty. Yeah. Yeah. So first one misses. Not your DM rolls. Natural 20. Oh, oh my yeah. god! Oh, oh, no. Plus no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I think it went like that. Okay, so it's... Yeah, that was it's not the good. Double the dice. Yeah, it's not gonna be good. Oh, yeah. where is it? Uh, I need to see the damage. Me, hormonal men with the berry the children. <laughs> 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 this charm is just unbearable. <laughs> <laughs> We can always count on the damage. Not that um, great on the damage. Uh, so that's okay. That's, that's yeah, yeah, exactly. That's exactly. Uh, <laughs> ideal. So that's uh, 13. Yes, wow. very low. Now, please, um, Imhawa, please roll a constitution saving throw for the hex. I have no longer hex. Hey, I have it on him. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I mean, I you could drop it if you want at any point. Because it's on him, you, you would be aware that it's not on the right person. Uh, also, I use the something with the cons I do dragon breath. No, I no, drop no. it from Ebenezer. Yeah. Oh, okay, then there's no need. You just take 13 points of damage. Yes. And, uh, Stop hitting yourselves. Stop hitting <laughs> yeah, yourselves. That's my damage. That's my damage. Oh, my, 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 my damage. Damage me. Okay. <laughs> the uh, am I am I now aware after? This? Yes, you like you regain I'm consciousness. Like, uh, Mortified. Sorry! Uh, apologies, uh, lady. I, I'll fix it somehow. Fine. Every loser. Am I still hidden? Uh, yeah, but you actually... Uh, then I'll fire at that bitch. Even though I get to... Uh, you have no line of sight with her. Shit. This is a wall. This is a then wall. I'll, so. I'll go... Maybe just read your action. You will not be able to... Yeah, if yeah. you dash, you might get into the room with her, or you might trade an action but for that. But if I room. dash, I it's a bonus action for him, right? Yeah. No, you will not be. No, of course. Is there anyone with, in melee with her? Yes, there is. Yeah, I would be. And uh, even though charm, he counts as an ally for you. Okay, sure. I'll dash. Would you like to dash? Yeah. That means spells square, right? Yeah. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. You might reach here. Eleven to eight, but here. Oh, right there. Would you like here? Yeah. That's no, right. No. Yeah. And I'll shoot her. Okay. No. It's a ten. No. 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 Okay. Oh man. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. On her turn, she will look around and see the situation again. A puff of uh, poison will uh, go on, will, uh, uh, go on around her, and all three in Haba, Ebenezer, and Bernie making a constitution saving. Throw. Oh man. No, oh, that's. So Ebenezer, five. <laughs> Inhaba? Okay, nine. Ernie? Uh, twelve. Okay, all three of you will take seven points of damage and she will disappear from line of sight. No! It's what kind of... Poison. It's poison. It's poison. I am very Vodum. bloody. Um, you can hear that. the people that your uh, party members from that other room that they are where did she go? She, they are wondering where she went. Mm -hmm. So it's a fair assumption that she is no longer in that room with us. Yeah. I hope she died, the bitch. <laughs> I hope she's falling into a wall. Have it one room, in the other room. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I will get myself up. Mm -hmm. uh, she's not in the room uh, with me. If she's not in this room, your party members kind—you can kind of hear them that they're confused about her disappearing from that room. I yell to them. Uh, she's not here either. And I will. Uh, yeah, I uh, won't have uh, much movement. You have uh, 15 feet of movement. Yeah, I'll go to the middle of the room uh, with that movement. Here? Yes. Going here, let me just readjust this door. The door opens, you guys. Hey, you actually see that oh. she is hiding be behind the wine racks and it's in the third room. How does she look? Uh, she looks a bit hurt. Not a lot, but... Yeah. Uh, so that whole section is a wall, right? Yes. yes. Okay. So this is a wall, yeah. this is a wall, there's a door here, okay. wall and a door here. Hmm. Oh, I found her! She's... You would, they should have quite some cover, being that the door is half open and she also has the pyrex, but she's targetable by yourself. Mm. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do that. Okay. So what would you do? I will attack her with a um, ray of sickness. Okay, you have to make an attack, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. A range spell attack. So that is... Uh, okay. No. Natural one. Ooh. Oh. Misses entirely. Anything mm -hmm. else? Um, with a bonus action, no, that's nothing, that's nothing else I want to know. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, from this other room, uh, you see that one of her vines lifts her up and places her here, like to have a better line of sight for, for the room, and um, you see that uh, f from, the, from herself, this line of, of poison cloud just poof, goes straight up into the other room. Um, Nisa and Vodrun, please make a constitution saving throw. Uh, it's a 17. It's a 19. Oh, okay, nice. Um, both of you take two points of poison damage and start coughing and quickly covering up your mouths and uh, uh, avoiding most of these effects. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. I've been used to it my whole life. Yes. Nisa, it's your turn. It's my turn. Yes. I uh, move up towards Vodrun. Uh, <laughs> How many? Uh, I, I try to get a bit in front of him because I know he's... Uh, 
he's damaged. Or five, six. You have two more from here. Uh, do I have at least sixty feet uh, yes. until her? Okay. Yes. Yes. Easily. Uh, I see. Vodrun, back away. You're in no condition to do this. Uh, and I cast uh, frostbite. Uh, I, I have clear line. Uh, frostbite does not even require clear line. Okay. Okay. You just have to see a bit of her. Uh, she fails it. She fails it. Okay. Uh, she takes one d six. Perfect. It was a bonus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so she, she takes three. five cold damage, and she has um, disadvantage on the next two weapon attack. Yeah, piece. that is correct. Okay. Anything else? Um. Will it be an action to just uh, like try this to an action. push? Uh, um, yeah, it would be a shot. Okay, okay. It's an um, yeah. I try to. Well, no, I I stay there because if, if I get out of sight, then she will have clear shot at Vodron. Okay, Inhaba. Uh, Inhaba will go through the door. Uh, to, enough to see in the room, enough to see the the evil Bruja. Here would be a good way to die. She would have a I bit of cover from... I don't need line of sight okay. because I'm going to use the magic missile. Oh. Okay. Um, nice. Uh, and it has 120 feet. Okay, so like you, you shoot out these darts of pure energy and when they reach the door, like they yes. just go uh, exactly. behind it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Wow. Exactly. And if I roll bad, for example, I choose to re-roll the one and the two uh, with empowered uh, spell. Yes. Hopefully, I'm gonna roll the four. Uh, still the one. Uh, it's eight plus the three. It's eleven damage. Uh, force damage. Okay. So, uh, as the, the darts come into the room, uh, she immediately raises some vines that would block the darts. But then, they, at the last second, they just go up into the ceiling and uh, pierce her from above. And you see that <laughs> there's a bit of, of the Grayish blood splattering, and she starts to look wounded. And then, as a bonus action, you know, I will do the movement back into the door. Or you have, have you have uh, all of your movement. All Maybe, my movement. Well, if you want to be here you, to shoot Raj, you missile could have. She would have had more cover yes. from that. And you have two uh, squares left, ten feet. And uh, so move back. If it's two squares feet. Two. Uh, like behind the door? Uh, it mu as much as I can, so she you doesn't... You kind of block the door a bit, right? Uh, there. Okay, in maybe uh, here. Maybe there... Uh, maybe even here, yes. take some cover be behind the seat. Yes, I yeah. try to scoot okay. a bit underneath the seat. And uh, as a bonus action, I will drink the potion from Diana, which I love so much, I love it. Uh, and it tastes like um, sangria, and uh, <laughs> I will... That's a canon now, it, all, all the potions yeah. taste like sangria. <laughs> and it's a uh, 4 plus the 2, it's a 6 healing point. Thank you, okay. Rolling Hills, for the beverages. <laughs> okay, anything else? You're done, right? Yes. Okay, uh, Bernie. Yeah. Um, so roll me at least d10. I will... Oh, okay. I'm alone with the maniac. Okay. Another three. <laughs> okay. Oh. Am I nice? Hey, buddy, sir. Hey, Baba. Hey, no. Hey, no. Hey, see. Hey, shield. Wait, 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 wait for it. Okay. Again. What, what, wait, what gives you two attacks, boy? It's uh, the claws. Uh, okay, so yeah, with, with claws you have two attacks. Yes, I okay. Can. You will make two attacks against um, uh, Inhaba. However, you do notice that the effect of the charm is slowly fading. Uh, you can make them normal attacks. Oh, in this case. Still have the push. <laughs> so, um, first one. It's a 17. It's a shield. Okay, okay so you shield the first one and the second one. It's a 20. One. Okay. Yeah, the other one is gonna be 21. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I can't take it. Just roll the ones on the damage and we'll be fine. <laughs> this is a plus 6. G. 
It's uh, 12. I am down. No! Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, oh my god. <coughs> okay. Afterwards. Oh, yeah, actually. Would you like to go towards the room? No. With your left? Okay. I mean, after I swipe there and I uh, see that I've attacked the wrong person. Again. <laughs> they say. Um, Sorry, I'm dead. I, I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna be like. No! I'm I done! Get out of my head! <laughs> and then I'll probably just. Because, uh, again, I can't uh, um, uh, use it yet. But I'm just gonna prepare uh, uh, the healing potion I have. Oh, yeah. And just okay. get ready. Okay. Ebenezer. I will bonus action hide. And use my movement to get out of this room. Well, it yeah, but a... hide has to make sense. In the oh, it has to. But I'm alone, right? So. Okay, what do, what do you want to do? You're forever alone. I want to go out and <laughs> to, um, get some line of sight on her. This so I can... Be, be a, <laughs> this would be here, but it would be a pretty okay, bad line of sight. She has a bit of cover. So How it's cover. a straight roll. Yeah. Okay. Like this, it would not really mean you're hiding. Yeah. Like you're literally going into line of sight with her. Oh, okay. No. No. Oh, man. And bonus action, I will check this. Oh, uh, no. Because I said I was hiding. Mm hmm. Okay, so. Uh, Vodrun, it's your turn. Yes. So, I would move next to Inhaba. Uh, turn my head towards uh, Barney. Uh, look at his potion and say, save it for later. And I will use my last spell slot. I like the commitment here. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I wanted to do. <laughs> and I will um, create um, water. Some alcohol, some sangria. Yeah. <laughs> ah, sangria. <laughs> and does he uh, have a gorak? <laughs> 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 And I will chug it. Yeah, they fresh Sunday. So, uh, <laughs> this one here is for uh, 2d4 plus my intelligence modifier. Cinco minutos más. So mama. that's 10 HP. <laughs> no. Oh my God. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? Um, yes, I would like to uh, move to the corner. Uh, oh, wait, I have this. No. No, 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 no party mode. <laughs> okay. I would like to move here so uh, I can be safe uh, and covered. Yes, you would be. You would have a lot of cover. And that's my turn. That's you and it's the going water. to be first. Okay, turn. At this point, all of you start uh, uh, like not really feeling the effects of the, the charm as much. And uh, you feel like uh, the voice in your head has kind of settled down. You see uh, uh, Kerala exiting uh, pretty wounded from this room and uh, uh, you see, like with a look of desperation on her face. And, Why can't you mind your own business? Why can't you leave me alone? And uh, she casts a, a spell that produces some rays of, of energy. One on Vodrun, one on Nisa and one on Bernie. So Vodrun. This one actually should not notice Vodrun there. No, the other one is on e Ebenezer. So on Ebenezer, the first one, she shoots it and you duck it uh, under it and it, it, it hits the, the ceiling. Uh, then on Nisa, it, it just like, uh, she's not careful when she's aiming it and just completely fails. And uh, the one on Bernie does a 13 hit. No. It also hits the wall. Nisa. <laughs> <laughs> None of them hit you. Man, she's close. Um, I did not expect this. So it's prepared for <laughs> a totally different thing. Um, actually, no, how uh, far away is she from me? She is 10 feet away from you. And uh, how far is she from Vodron? She is 15 feet away from Vodron. Okay. If I want to cast Ice Knife, can I cast it like yes. behind her? Uh, no, but it will not hit Vodrum. Uh, or me? No, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a 5 feet radius, by the way. 
I can't. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wanted to make sure that it's uh, as far away from us as possible. Uh, and I cast second level. Okay, so roll an attack. Uh, upcasting it only increases the AOE damage, right? Uh, yes, it does not uh, increase the initial one damage. Initial, uh, okay, so make yes. an attack. So it was wait because it's a ranged spell attack. Yes, I have a, I have a cheat sheet. <laughs> I think it's a plus five. Okay, it's uh seventeen. That is yes. finally the rolls. He may be dead. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. So we have a one d ten. Or at least main. Uh, which is Badly. just a three. Seriously, main. A three? A three. Okay. Uh, yes, okay. and I should have... Wait, I should have three d6s. Uh, sorry? I should have three d6s. Uh, well, she has to make a uh, dexterity saving throw, yes. which she has failed. It's a 9, plus the 10, 11, plus okay. the 3 before, yeah. So you chuck the, the ice light, it embeds in her, and she tries grasping at it, and then it explodes in her face, like fully uh, damaging her, and uh, she, she does a, a few steps back and tries to clean herself, and you see that she is pretty wounded looking, like there's all kinds of, of, of this uh, grey goo, like... Uh, uh, coming out of her indicating like it's kind of her blood. She looks pretty bad. So revenge. Yes. Anything else? Uh, I would like to take a few steps back, like towards uh, towards the others. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, and that's it. Okay, Nisa, being the person with the highest perception, you hear some kind of commotion outside, like footsteps or a horse galloping. Her husband. He's their husband. We need to finish this? In what Haba. he will. Uh, in Hava will finish it, uh, try to finish it. Uh, she will rise up and say, that was a very good sangria. And uh, she will uh, put the hands like this. And she Habit. will cast the burning hands. I think you need to be closer. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. 15 feet it's... Mm -hmm. okay. I moved you 15 feet, uh, so uh, that you are in, in range with her. Yes, and I also don't want to hit the others like... Yes, others. of course, uh, you can definitely only target her with this. Uh, just, I think uh, she has to make a saving throw. Yes, it's against uh, 15. Okay, fantastic. Uh, can I borrow a D6? D6. Uh, yes. You want the blood die? Is this a... Uh, what's this, a tray? Three. Tres. Tres. It's another tres. Can I use meta magic on top of meta magic, like the empower? Before the meta magic. No, no. I don't, know. I don't think it doesn't matter. Um, in 11 plus, it's a 14 damage. 14 oh, damage. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. oh my god. Okay, so uh, you see Hava like uh, putting her hands together and this wave of fire uh, hits uh, uh, Kelora, which doesn't even have the, the, the strength to defend herself with uh, uh, the, the vines and uh, as that happens you see her scorching and trying to put herself out and uh, she stumbles and falls to the ground and as that happens um, you, uh, Nisa, you hear the rest of the the commotion outside that you had the, the, the first beams of uh, unfold a bit. Let me just give me a second. Don't we have one? Guys, I think we have company. Can I uh, use a bonus action? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. So, um, from all of this. Uh, 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 ruckus. Uh, ruckus of combat, thank you. Ruckus of combat. You hear uh, uh, like a smashing sound from the door, and suddenly um, the doors burst open, and the vines that have been blocking them uh, also get cut down. And uh, from there, you see Lord Peregrine dressed in a hastily fastened armor with a sword. And as he looks desperately left to right, he looks at you and he looks at Killer Lion. He yells, stop this madness at once! What are you doing? And uh, slowly as he points his sword towards all of you, he positions himself next to Kelora, which is like very badly wounded. 
What is the meaning of this? What are you doing here? You don't understand. She's tricking you. Yes. You see all these bottles that are here? It's a trick. They're potions. She's charming you. She doesn't love you. She just wants to use you. As that happens, he looks down at her. She and, doesn't. Uh, she looks up at him. And then uh, she looks at you and... There was never any trick. The trick was never for Peregrine. And uh, he like lowers a bit his guard and and uh, rests his sword. Yes, that is true. I was aware of the wine and what has transpired here. It was our agreement. <laughs> And then she continues from from down, like uh, he helps her up a bit and she's like really wounded and uh, there's uh, a, a lot of, of the battle marks that you have all inflicted upon her. And she says, I have never done anything against Peregrine. I actually met him on a hunting trip where I have saved his life, cared for him. And that's why we're together. Why, why did you come here? Why did you have to ruin all of this? Such a lovely couple. First of all, let me congratulate you on your true love. <laughs> and it was not a fake. And the second she attacked us, she blocked the door with the vine and started doing stuff to, to one another. And we start to hit one another and he, she played the trick on us. She what attacked would, first. So it's self-defense. What would you do if I broke into your house? Well, maybe and talk start first? It. Yes. Talk first. When, when someone breaks into your house, your property... We are investigating. Investigating? Oh, on whose authority are you investigating me? No one's. No what? one's. A, so you are breaking into my property, into my house, into everything I have, in, into my secret that allows me to be with the, with the one I love. And you claim that I have no right of self-defense against this? It's not the same thing. Feel free to intervene now. May I insight? Uh, yes, you may roll insight check. Because I really don't trust We don't no owe anything one. to the butler, so we can uh, <laughs> definitely... <laughs> <laughs> sure, that's an option. Uh, 15. What was the name of the Okay, uh, so, um, Ebenezer, you like really follow her movements and... Uh, for the first time you see her like stop being... Uh, having this cold look and like... Uh, uh, really, uh, like the the heartless gaze, and she seems a bit afraid and a bit desperate. There was uh, uh, an intonation in her uh, words that uh, really uh, or truthful. show that yeah, you you believe her to be truthful. I mean, I know you believe that uh, truth sayers are suckers, yeah. but she seems to be a sucker at this point. Uh -huh. Okay, so we were at the wedding, you gave us the weird wine that made us love you, we were falling a little bit in love with you, and is this bottler that you have, that his name he says is Boregard, but we don't know fish for sure, he didn't have like a and she looks nine. at Peregrine and said, yes. I have told Boregard nothing, it's, it's exactly. our secret and... That was the problem, okay. he has known you for all your life, and you haven't told him about this, and he was... Definitely Super suspicious, Super because he cares about you. That damned fool, that old damned loyal fool. Yes, he is loyal to a fault to you, and that's why he asked us to investigate. We nearly lost our lives in that damn forest, trying to get out. To save and, and you, you. say that, you see that killer eyes, like, like uh, interjecting it. Lo losing your life? What do you mean, losing your life? We couldn't find our way out. We could have. We might. What did you attempt? What did you attempt it? To do realize that a place like this has to be kept secret. Let me ask you something, especially you. Yes. When you were little, <laughs> what were the stories that your parents would tell you that you find under the bed so that you would be nice? Uh, the, the humans are mean and uh, they also make a good snack. Oh. It's the truth, if I keep my teeth clean and my paws clean. <laughs> you should be confused. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, what? I... 
I wish to impart with you what tells they they say in these lands. They say to watch out for witches and hags. I was n I didn't choose to be born like this. Look, and she shows a hand that's like dripping with. This is hex blood. I only wanted to be left alone. I was I only found a, a place of happiness here, and the only way to keep out all of this murdering savages that would not uh, understand this, and she points towards her and Peregrine, w was to have some sort of disguise in the open so we have a semblance of normal life. It does not do anything to them, just makes, the bit, uh, makes them a bit more complacent. They don't ask as many questions about me. Was it that wrong that I, I wanted to have this in peace? No. I've got a question. I'm super sorry that I burned you. <laughs> if I were to be, I don't know, cursed to not leave that forest over there, how could I break that curse? Sorry? If I were cursed me to not be able to leave the forest that's right over there, in the, that in which we got lost, yes. how would you break that curse? You mean that idiot gremlin, the no. little small one, no. that gnaws on the roots? No. <laughs> yeah, look what it did to my hair! I'm just asking. I'm still upset about that. Well, if you give me a more concrete example, I might be able to help. Hmm, let's see, it's not a gremlin, it's an imp. He is useful as a deterrence to the place. Mm. I I just wanted to be kept safe. Mm. Um. Okay. All, all this time, uh, Bernie, like after uh, he uh, finished his rage as such, like he's still uh, like um, over there just looking uh, uh, at his well now hands pause previously, um, but they they have uh, uh, blood on on them from the slashing. Both blood and uh, meat. Yeah. And uh, this In gray suit that is. Uh, it's yeah. bronze. And. Um, <laughs> brass, sorry. Brass scale. Uh, and I'll be like. <sighs> You've made me hurt my friends. Give me a good reason to forgive you. Because yeah. I know this lady won't forgive me. You went into my house. Unraveled my secrets. Butchered. I've seen you butchered my my childhood home. The chest where I kept what little possessions I had when moving from place to place as a kid were just thrown around all over the place and destroyed. Yeah. Tell me that you weren't the ones who did that. And you ask me why I have defended myself. Is that good reason for yeah. murder? I, so. I know them for a day and I would like to apologize because I can see and appreciate after all this time spent here the true love between the humans. And is there any way I can make up for the destruction? Maybe a ceremony of sorts? No, leave us alone. Tell no one about this. Promise to tell no one about this. We will give you some property and you can be on your way and go far. Do not ever return here. I don't need no property. Your yeah, secret is kept I, uh, safe I need a promise from each of you in one of this. Bernie is still uh, filled with some anger. He will kind of let go. He will pick up his great axe and he'll just leave like pissed off. Just go upstairs. And I will take only this good bottle of wine and I will go. Bye. <laughs> but still. Cheers to you and to your wife. No, please. And also, Peregrine interjects. Wait. We need some sort of guarantee. We have to go on the run if you will go and expose all of this. I promise I won't tell a soul. Thank you. How about. How about your friend? Can anyone talk some sense into him? I still think it, it would have been easier if he just told us that story from the beginning instead of straight up attacking us. Yes, we were snooping around. We are sorry for for that, but there was clearly something wrong with that wine. And honestly, if he was smart enough to know it, maybe some other people will figure it out. No offense. You mean I should have told you my story and everything here as you are ransacking 
my secret. We could have stopped you... ransacking. Instead, we burned, almost burned down the place. How would why, I have known your why intentions? Why is violence the first choice? Please. Violence is what you use to get into this place. Are the doors no. not battered and the whole place destroyed? They are Even the whole place Are my destroyed. spells not... When you first came here, you activated the spell that has alerted me. What would have happened if my love Peregrine would have not stormed in here? Hey. You might have been dead. Yeah, but so uh, my one of us... I mean, the two of them all were already on the brink of okay. dying. And we were only defending ourselves because we thought you were the bad guy, just as you thought we were the bad guys. It's a whole misunderstanding. Instead of just sitting down to talk, if you hadn't attacked us, maybe we hadn't, we wouldn't have attacked either. If you hadn't gone in and destroyed my property and meddled into my business with no invitation or no warning whatsoever, I would not have attacked you. I'm not the one who provoked this, you are. And the Peregrine says, well, that is true. Basically, you provoked the conflict. Yeah. Because you started mean? attacking. If you were safe, because why was the wine, the wine meddled with? Yeah. Why do you use blood to hide this place? There's no blood. There is blood. Show her the flask. Oh, come on. I take it out. We found this in the it other. It uses blood, human blood. Yes. Uh, remnants of ravens, dirt from this place. So why do you, you why do you use violence <laughs> to in vials? Peregrine raises his hand, and you see there are some cuts on his hand. Uh, I think that me personally, she I, says she lowers her. Thank you. I was in the wrong, and I apologize and uh, I don't know how to fix it better, and people are entitled to their secrets. Everyone has their secrets, you know, you know. Uh, and to answer your question, we are only safe because of the mild, very mild enchantment we have put in the wine so that we will not be hunted down with pitches and, to and, for and forks by the ones who do not understand this. That would have acted exactly like you have acted. That's why there was safety. And yeah. that's why we had a peaceful life and we wanted the semblance of happiness. Now, if you want to make do or to make peace with this, please go after your friend. Which one? Make him this. the one, the, the savage one, and make him promise that he, the would fairy keep, one. <laughs> that he would keep the secret. Okay. I won't promise to keep your secret. I will think he promised. Because now I have what I came here for. So, good evening. And I'll leave. As Before you say you that, go. you see Peregrine unsheathing his sword and standing in front of you. Uh, I will go Lose out. Is using violence. I will go out to announce the. the furry one. <laughs> Bye. I do not <laughs> wish to use violence as you have. On Coming into this place. Did I use violence? Me personally. On whom? Um. <laughs> you can't. No, lower your, your hand. Did you, uh, wait, did you ever hit Kerala with an attack? Who? Kerala. Uh, <laughs> yep, yeah, after she attacked us, so. Basically. All of you have used violence to get get in here and to. No, you have not so hit her. I don't think you have hit her. Hit her. Huh? You, I don't think yeah. you've hit her with your No, weapon. I hit her once. But you did try. Yes, mm. you did shoot her. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Is it gold that you want, says Peregrine? No. What is it? Name your price. I don't have a price. He does have one. <laughs> Give him the imp. Or that. You want me to stay silent? The what? And he'll be killer. The imp. Oh, you don't know about the imp. I know about the imp. Oh. You. Yes, you can have the imp. Thanks. Then I'll shut up. I will concoct something that you should give him. And stop, for Christ's try sake, stop him from eating the sap for five days and he will be fine. <laughs> oh, so I was right about that too. <laughs> My god. <laughs> we'll have to tie him. Uh, yeah. And uh, you, you see that uh, Pepper Green uh, approaches you and extends a hand. If we give you the imp, 
will be going to see on it. Just take my word for it. Please. It would make me feel better if Just you would... Just take my word for it. He doesn't look okay. handshakes very well. You don't know where... <laughs> they have <laughs> been. Yes. I know, they've been. I mean. It's a bit unhealthy. Okay. Uh, how about the two of you? I have a name. We are really sorry for this whole misunderstanding. I'm never the one to choose violence, although this whole experience has made me so angry I almost understand the, the furry looking creature. Was he a bear? I don't understand the transformed. Yes, we won't say anything. I understand the need to live peacefully. If there's only one request is that you continue the trades with my family and nothing changes. I, we did not wish for anything to change. We just wanted everything to stay the same. Maybe begin a, a new chapter, a happier one. But can I ask something? Of course. When I, when I gave you the basket of vegetables, I think I saw Kilola, or can I call you Kilola? Queen. Thank you. Yes, Mrs. I think I saw it with the corner of my eye that you just shuddered when... Uh, our, excuse me, but our vegetables are... I know about pure. your vegetables. Certain aspects of my magic make me allergic to other types of magic. Oh my god, me too! <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, allergic to a them. bunch of stuff. <laughs> I still couldn't find a cure. How do you handle it? I do not touch them. I did so by mistake. Avoidance is good enough. Yeah. Uh, how about you, sir? Can oh, we count on you? Speaks. I understand. I also tried to hide my monstrous nature. And that also uh, only took me to another monstrous nature. I don't think you look monstrous. We accepted you for who you were. I also did it out of love. <gasps> I am the outside. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't give you uh, more of a promise than this. And I take the thousands of uh, gold pieces flask and put it on the ground and leave without it. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! Okay. Wow! 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 I see. Okay. Wow! Wow! <laughs> and uh, you, yeah. like whispering, uh, only Anissa would hear it. That uh, Kilora like looks at Peregrine and she says, "It was already mine." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, as this is happening, uh, in Westland, like you see that uh, Peregrine also uh, uh, helping Kilora up, and she's limping, and they're going up the stairs. What are you talking about? I would be outside and at this point is it still day? It is dusk. The dusk. Okay. I um, I sort of just uh, take a breather and uh, I kind of uh, still piss but you know, looking in the distance in the horizon. I come <laughs> next to the bear, put my hand on the fair. I'm no longer uh, like okay um, on the man and the leather jacket or whatever. I I the okay. shirt ripped when I whatever it is. <laughs> I, put, I, I put on the thing. <laughs> yeah. And tell you what a beautiful sunset. <sighs> you know I learned about love and what was between those two people. Even that it was the cuckoo and the crazy, it was true love. Yes. We should donor it and keep the secret. I understand. I forgive yeah. you for quoting me. Do you know? Yes. There is going to be a lot of, uh, from me at least, um, to make up for all of this. I never hurt a friend. Of course we do it up north, but it's friendly. <laughs> uh, we can we... say it was friendly here. So let's make a pinky promise. Uh, we can be sparring bodies. Sparring bodies. Sparring. Yeah, I'm... You know what I mean. Sorry, I mean... 
of everyone. I um, I didn't want to hurt you, at least. Uh, I will kind of, uh, <laughs> you know, like um, out of everyone, uh, I was hoping uh, you'd come out of this unharmed. But um, look at I'm, me, I'm unharmed and very powerful. The stone is gray. The I mean, not gonna lie, there's a, there's a very bad scar over there by your chest. There are it's still gaping wounds at this point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are claws. There are claws. Yeah. Um, I heal super but, uh, fast. Um, how about uh, um, I uh, make it up to you, beautiful lady, if. Uh, we return back to the um, to the party afterwards, and I show you some traditional dances hey. from up north. That's one of the dances. Do we join them in the meantime? In the world, uh, actually, everyone has uh, gotten up the stairs. Uh, Kilora and Peregrine are the slowest, but they yeah. are actually near, and they're witnessing this conversation from a distance. Hey, sure. Uh, uh, like here. Good. I don't think we're welcome to the party anymore. And oh, I no. turn, I, I turn to Kilula <laughs> and uh, say, oh, no. uh, <laughs> here, uh, just to see that we don't oh, mean wait. any harm. Wait. wait. Yes, yes, you are. But afterwards, please do not linger. I don't want. To I don't want to linger. I just want. I put my uh, my hand on her and I cast your wounds. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you do so, you see like some of her wounds like this. They stop actually bleeding. Um, but well, this is a little bit away from their conversation. Yeah. Uh, not in trouble. <laughs> That's all. Just maybe, why not, if nothing else happens? <laughs> and I have no other plans. Good! I, maybe we can find you a partner. Of course! You okay. See that Peregrine is just uh, watching from uh, from behind and looking at you and saying, uh, "Mr. Rutsk, I I know you to be an honorable man. Would you please reconsider keeping this a secret and not um, ruining everything?" Um, I understand. Uh, excuse me, I let the rage take me over for a moment there, but. Uh, it's true. I do care about a lot of about uh, of my people and my tribe. You know, when you're in a smaller community, it tends to be more uh, f friendly and familiar one with another. But um, again, uh, my chieftain Ivor always uh, said you are a good man deep deep down. So uh, and I do. Okay, and I do believe uh, the words of my chieftain, so I'll forgive you as well. And promise not to tell anyone. Thank you, honorable warrior, and he shakes your hand. So much forgiveness. Well, just uh, <clears throat> shake firmly. And also, as you're looking up, uh, Kerala looks towards you and says, uh, like whispering, uh, I also thank you for facilitating all of this. I judged you wrongly and I am also sorry for what I did. I am done. also super sorry for standing in the way of your happiness. Okay. And, and as you say that, and like everyone is like heading slowly towards uh, the, the forest to return everywhere, uh, suddenly um, there's a small sparkle of something that's uh, happening uh, near. Um, uh, near where they were talking with uh, with Bernie, uh, actually looking at it, you see that uh, Imhaba has like these sparks of magic around her, and uh, suddenly she starts glowing, and in a sparkle of everything, oh! you see that her form changes. It's something unknown. There's this great ball of light, and as the light fades down, you see that in her stead there is. A large brass dragon that is down there. And she we says, Hola, my name is Bronzella. <laughs> wow! Hey. Hey. I, I was a dragon all along, and I was cursed by an evil bruja, eh, the devil, eh, to be a shape of a human and facilitate. 100 acts of good, of, uh, of true love. I'm sorry, I'm uh, emotional. 
and, and I learned a lot about human love. So thank you. And she crawls and outstretches its wings and takes fly. But you promised me to find someone. <laughs> well, as that was a waste of as time. Bron <laughs> as Bronzella takes flight uh, uh, upon the horizon in the sunset, in the sunset. Yeah. and everyone is slowly walking towards the forest, uh, you see that um, Kirala looks towards Ebenezer and says, Let's get your fucking imp. Same. And thank you for watching Nightingale's <laughs> Valentine's Whoa! episode. Whoa! Whoa! I hope this was a bit wholesome. I have a surprise for the players because they did not know about that. <laughs> the twist at the end. And I um, hope you enjoyed everything. And uh, we'll be waiting for you with more one shots. For the moment, hey. that's uh, the guys. campaign, the serious campaign. campaign, you guys. And yeah. everything, like even more alongside that. Yeah, many um, surprises. Sure. Yes. Well, thank you guys. Um, For the time being, uh, have a good night. Good day, good night. night. And, and don't forget to have Empire Spies! Goodbye. Arrivederci! Arrivederci! Lona! <laughs> 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 <laughs>